Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is Sunday, Crow Day, and damn, a lot of crow to go around, man. Uh, Arthur Better Beef, or as I like to call him, the better beast in the division, truly showed that this weekend, handling Alexander Usyk. That is the highlight of the weekend, and just the hysteria. A lot of Canelo fans out here jumping ship all of a sudden nervous all of a sudden you know there are they are afraid they think that canelo is scared to take on the challenge that is or to better beef if he is successful on november 2nd with sergey kovalev the wbo light heavyweight champion will canelo attempt to stay in that division after watching what he's seen in that unification match with Arthur Betterbeef. After watching it, that man's power just carries late. Two fights in a row now. A lot to talk about on ESPN. A lot of our young prospects we've been teaching you about in action. We finally get to see our good friend, Kudratilo. Abdul Karab no I, I I practiced this. Hold on. It's definitely cool. <laughs> it's definitely Kudratilo. So I, I can pronounce that like it's Spanish. Now the last name is different. It's Abdul No Abdul Ka Abdul Kahara. Something like that. Um I'm not gonna say that I'm sold on him, but I'll give you details later. Julian Rodriguez, shout out New Jersey, stand the fuck up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's right. Uh, what is he? 2016 TBV Appreciation Night attendee. You know, um, did us the favor of coming to our Appreciation Night and just, you know, showing some love to all our fans and listeners that were on hand, signing autographs, just doing things uh, the way a young champ should. Happy to see him back. You know, just want to remind you guys, he is uh, managed by James Prince. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we'll be talking uh, Julian Rodriguez a little later. Jeremy Ardono. Uh-oh. Yo, Puerto Ricans invading boxing all of a sudden. PA Philadelphia stand up. The Adorno brothers doing their thing. Uh, we'll talk about both of those two young up-and-coming prospects. Sign the top rank. Really shining Friday night. Josue Vargas. I don't know. What did you think? We'll talk about it as well. And my man, your man, the best jab in the division. The best jab in the heavyweight division, not named Tyson Fury. I mean, that's what he says. Sonny Canto. Oh, yeah, me Canto in the building as well. Got a nice stoppage. But I'll, I'll give you the details, man. I've seen some things. I'll let you know what you may not know about our friend, Stephen Lyons. Uh, but, yeah, man, so much more to talk about. Don't want to hog the airwaves. You know the number to call in. one 569 Press 1. One time. Voice your opinion. Let us know. A. Canelo versus Kovalev winner is next for Better Beef. B, Dimitri Bivol, the WBA light heavyweight champion. Is it going to be a third unification giving Better Beef three belts? Or is it C, other? I don't know. Who could it be? Who could other be? Is it maybe, I don't know, a guy like Badu Jack? Or should I tell you my guy, not Jalal Zhang, but his little brother. They ain't real brothers, but his little brother, Fei Long. Something like that. Brother. May Fei Long or something. But we'll, we'll put you on it because I've been telling y'all about him. I told y'all he was going to get his shot. And voila. Remember, rest in peace, Pat Dre, Patrick Day. But I put y'all on Patrick Day once upon a time and we all got filthy rich if we would have bet real money. I mean, we all played with Monopoly money. So we still sitting here on our day jobs. But look, had we bet the bank, we would have had the bank is all I'm saying. And could it be? We ought to better be this time. Do, do, what do I know about this Chinese light heavyweight that ought to better be doesn't know? 
Uh, that is the question. But yeah, man, let me get on out to uh, our co-host. Let's get this thing started. Uh, I'm happy to be here, obviously. Great week in the box. And even the zone card, man. Even the zone card. The Sandman didn't put me to sleep. But let's do it. Boxingvoice.com. So when I stop here, y'all gonna say he was too weak. Oh my mic. He say that my mic is not. A man can stand up for what he believes in, and when you stand up for what you believe in, you accept whatever consequences come behind it. Boxingvoice.com. Yo, 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 yo. What up? What up? What up to everybody out there in the TBV universe? Back with another one. Sunday flagship crow day. And a lot of minds have changed, man. A lot of guys have been out here saying, if Canelo wins, he's the best in the division. Then Friday night comes along, and you see a guy like Arthur better be. The guy that I was telling you guys about, the guy that I said would do what I said he was going to do, stop him. Not win, but stop him. John got those that, you know what? I don't even, I, I really don't care if I get his name right anymore. I'm just joking, of course. But those that, People, I think people gave him a little bit too much cachet for the Adonis win, and I'll get more into detail with that. But Jamel Charlo also made the news, calls Demetrius Andre Jenny, says he would love that fight, says why not make a fight with Daniel Jacobs at Barclays Center on Showtime. I mean, lots to talk about, man. But also, man, my guy, well, not my guy, but a guy that I was impressed with this weekend, Ted Cheeseman. Even though you lost, brother, you put on a, Hello, of a performance in the first half of that fight, and also you you showed me a level that I never seen from you. You was you, you wasn't blocking with your face, and you was coming to box. So I was impressed. But Scott Fitzgerald got the win, but I'll pass it on to Doomy. What's going on, man? I guess I'm going to take it. No intro. Nah, I, I, I always misplace it. I thought I put it next to Mike, so this... Oh, I did. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop it. Lynch is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm Alexander. I'm the best ever. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like my punch. I'm from their club. There's no one that can match me. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been Okay, too much Tyson for you, baby. Back Sunday, it was a great weekend of boxing. Um, shit, man, I, I guess I'm going to be serving up, uh, well, excuse me, I'm going to get served up some crow by Chef Mike on this one because I was, uh, you know, one of the ones that picked Vazdik on this one. I, I was trying not to go for the underdog. I was trying to see, you know, go with the boxer. And damn, Beater Beef just proved to be a, a, a just a formidable as a boxer as Vazdik. Just, you know, different styles. Um, Julian, shout out to Julian, hammer hands. Um, I'm impressed with this guy, man. He, ever since he's come back from this injury, he's just sleeping cats. And he, uh, he does it in a very, very sound way, man. He doesn't get overexcited. Uh, them things is just coming because the kid has heavy hands. And, um, yeah, Sonny Kanto beat on Steven Lyons. Um, you know, they got him coming up. Had my man Tyson Fury walk him out. That shit was dope. I know he was souped about that. And um, a couple of other things down here on the docket, man. Uh, I'm just going to let let us get started. Um, let's go. Savannah Marshall. Hmm? Clarissa Shields. Hey, I think I'm interested even more now in that fight, you know, getting to know her more in the ring. I don't know, man. I watched the interview. Hey, hey, whoa, Savannah. whoa. Be before we get into it and y'all start speaking, go and play that fucking crow sound bite because y'all pick both of it. True, true. <laughs> True. I mean, look. We need like a motherfucker, like a cheering sound bite, cause like, like like Mike, you know what I'm saying? Like call it the Mike sound bite, cause it's always gonna be cheers. Mm, you feel me? Mm, mm. So you like you feeling yourself? Mike soup right now. He, he, he soup. He got this. He pick. feeling himself. I mean, I made money on it. I picked Better Beef. I ain't bet a lot, but I did a straight bet on Better Beef and Colazzo. Uh, you know, not in a parlay separately. I, I caught Colazzo almost at a plus five hundred. And we'll get into that, but damn, I almost made money on that too. Um, but let's start with Better Beef, man. Uh, like you said, Doomy, um, you picked the boxer. I also love boxers, always pick them. So I pick uh, Vazdek. 
And, uh, I mean, from the opening round, he was making me proud in my decision to pick him. A um, lot of combination punches, a lot of pivoting, a lot of turning, keeping uh, Better Beef busy. But the biggest issue is that that type of uh, style requires A1 stamina. A1 stamina. And uh, that movement and high activity... Coupled with the fact that Better Beef was landing right hands to the body, really, yeah. really God. slowed down Vaz Deck a lot. Um, the title suggests that Canelo is afraid or scared after witnessing what it was that Archer Better Beef did. I don't think so. I seen a very slow Archer Better Beef. Uh, that first round. He came out very fast, doubling the jab and shooting right hands behind it and almost getting to Vazdek. But then he started pivoting, Vazdek did. He started doubling the jab, keeping his distance. And yeah, Canelo's not as tall or long as Vazdek. But obviously, we seen yesterday, Vazdek not as skilled or the combination puncher of a Canelo. I'm just going to uh, throw that out there. I do not agree with the title. I do not agree with the fight fans that think that Canelo will be afraid um, I seen uh, a very slow better beef, and by the time I don't know, I don't know. I, I hear I don't you. Know enough. By the Come time, on now. by the time Canelo gets to him, better beef would have had two two more fights at least, and be a little bit slower, bro. Nah, two more fights, him being a little slow. You can't bank on that, man. I mean, we know the guy's been in, in a hell of a fights amateur. We know that he's a, uh, you know, he, he's got a lot of uh, mileage, but. Um, he's healthy, bro. He was so much stronger than Gaz Vazdik, man. He was tossing him. I mean, twice he got knocked down, and it was just just the bro, overall. Bro, let's be real. You like him because y'all look alike. Everybody was texting me like, yo, that's Doomy. Yo, that's Doomy. I'm like, hell no, that ain't no fucking Doomy. <laughs> Yeah, man, I keep getting that, that that joke, man. Nah, man, this is what I get for going against my fam. This Going against my cousin on the pick, man. He goes, turns around, and, and and does it in devastating fashion, man. Listen, getting back to it, though, man. In all honesty, um, better be just turned out to be a better boxer than we thought. He turned out to be a better boxer than we thought. We saw different wrinkles. We saw him move differently uh, as the rounds you know, came along, it was just different. It was different. It was a different look. And he was intelligent in coming in. And no matter how much... Man, uh, I'm interrupting, man. I'm interrupting. He ain't the better boxer. He didn't show he was... He showed he was stronger. He well, showed he was stronger. Well, let me tell you stronger. what I mean by better boxer then because, um, you know, a lot of the times when we see, when, when we talk about who's the better boxer, uh, we get this image of, uh, uh, you know, the Philly sh shoulder roll or the, you know, head movement here. And we got a certain, we got a, we got a certain cookie cutout of what a boxer should look like. But um, alluding to what uh, Ida Bidibi did yesterday, man, y'all got to see that there's more to boxing than just slick movement. All right. You could be a good boxer straightforward boxer but still be a good boxer he had good head movement he had good feints and the overall presence that pressure that he was putting you know a lot of the times i was seeing better be just presence you know that pressure just presence he wasn't even throwing much and um Vazdik was just on the back foot i don't know if he was scared of getting punched but it was a type of boxing that i saw that was different but yet effective it was very very effective and he did it with smarts this man, let's just, be uh, real, just... man. It took him to the 12th, man. His power... Is his power there? Or is it the his stamina? His power is definitely there. Is the power there or is it the stamina? It took... A, yo, Vazdek didn't even cut. He didn't even bleed. Like, he looked more exhausted. He... His... Those All knockdowns... Right, so, well, well, those knockdowns was that, more... Those knockdowns was more think? exhaustion. And let's be nah. real. Better be the little right, so dirty the motherfucker. What do you think that right hand to the body was doing? What do you think about those right hands to the top of the head? Three illegal knockdowns that they didn't give him no credit for for his little clubbing ass. He think he a fucking yeah, MMA no, fighter. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Listen, it was like three times they arms wrapped up. You gotta show him the man. You gotta show him the right. Yeah. Can I, can I quick, man? Go ahead, Mike. Jump in. Tag team. But anyway, look, man, he showed him who was the man, who was the bigger man, who was the stronger guy in that fight. Those tactics were just to prove that, hey, remember, in, in the amateurs, when I knocked your ass out, I'm still that dude. But on to uh, Canelo. Look, man, Canelo, we seen Canelo when he came in the first fight against Gennady Golovkin, and some people say he was around like 180. 
this time he, he plans on coming in the fight around 175. So in that fight, you probably can bring some similarities. Just a correction. I don't mean to interrupt you. He said okay. in that interview he's weighing in at 175. He ain't going to be 175 yes. on fight night. Okay, then. That's maybe even more to my uh, to my uh, plan. When we seen Canelo in that fight, it wasn't the, the sleek quickness that we seen in the second fight. It was slower, methodical, and he was paced himself a lot more. So a bigger Canelo is going to mean a slower Canelo. And a slower Canelo against better be what I've seen against Vosdick. You say Vosdick wasn't hurt. Man, please. The guy was running around the motherfucking range to get away from those body shots. He's a he boxer. Was, uh, Okay, he was a boxer. He, he was moving. But when those body shots started landing, you could see his adverse reaction to those body shots. He did not want to be in the fire. He did not want to feel those body shots. Teddy Atlas quit giving him a fucking game plan and started giving him motivational speeches because he knew it was only a matter of time <laughs> that, that those body shots was going to do what they did. Sold his ass down enough to where those right hands was going to land and that hook was going to land Bro, to put his ass down. Yeah, Vazdek, Vazdek <laughs> is, a, is a fucking tip Typical Eastern European fighter, bro. He didn't bring anything special to the ring. Canelo is special is all I'm saying. Look, let's not make it about Canelo. Let's keep it on better beef. He did good. Absolutely. He did good. But what I seen is a dude that kept his mind on the mission and his power got him through the fight. That's just what I seen. For me... What? For me, he was just a heavier puncher. His jabs were studying, but it wasn't two, three jabs like Vazdek. It wasn't one, two, three, four like Vaz. He was just boom, boom. He's just a big, heavy-handed guy because I don't even... Because he had a game plan that you got to understand. Those guys fall in the amateurs. He already knew what kind of fighter Vazdek was. He knew that Vazdek didn't necessarily have have the power to hurt him. We've seen that uh, right hand exchange where both guys landed. Both guys landed. Mm -hmm. Bro, he hurt him. him. He hurt him. You are you are you are wrong. He hurt him. Hold on, hold on. Let me jump in real quick. Hold on, hold on. I just want to. I just want to. Two sentences. He threw a right hand. He hurt Better Beef. Better Beef's left foot went from outside. On the inside, lost his balance. And then I the think second that, that time, was more out then the I second time more... he hit him with the right hand. Boom! Better be's Look, back foot did the let's, same let's fucking thing. Because it's he, not, he not, kept not, coming forward. Yeah, like, them punches. Not, hurt. Not, not punches hurt. Not, not it's those punches getting him off balance, hurt. Mike. It's those punches knocking his ass off balance. Okay, you can be not balanced off a punch, but not 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 It could be both. It could be both. You could be get hit with a nice shot and at the same time be off balance. I mean, we've seen that all the time. But at no point in the fight was better be hurt by Vazdik, man. Vazdik gassed, and once he gassed, his punches meant nothing. Now, let's niggas, let, let, let's be honest. He was successful. He was successful when he was very his successful in the beginning of the fight. He was listening to throughout Teddy instructions. He was coming on the outside. That's what Teddy Atlas wanted him. But what happened? This is what happened. Arthur Better Beef. We got to see the boxer, the adjuster, the adaptations. All right? And he exactly. That. Arturo's right. Vazdik quit, man. You seen it in his face, bro. He quit. He quit, he quit, quit though, bro. Ain't no quit. Ain't, ain't no quit. Ain't, ain't, ain't no quit in Canelo. He he got, one thing that we got to get better be credit for. One thing that we have to get better be credit for is the way that he judges range. He made sure that when he was in range, his shots landed. And when he, when he wasn't punching, he was out of range of Vazdik's shots, bro. And that's all that movement and all those wasted punches and those body shots that better be accumulated? Come on, man. It was only a matter of time. Ho, 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 ho. I had my hand up. I had my hand up, Doomy. Come on, man. Let's go in order. Yo, bullshit. I call bullshit on Mike. Um, better be is mad unaccurate. Yo, even the fucking announcers were saying how his shots kept going over the top. Why you think he hit Vazdik behind the head so fucking much? He ain't accurate. Bruh, listen to me. There's levels to this shit. I know y'all right. over assessing it because these are two two champions fighting each other, but so was Jose Ramirez and Maurice Hooker. That didn't make that unification the level of Earl and Sean's unification. And that don't mean that this unification is the level of Earl and Sean's unification. Maybe their skill. Maybe people be like, Ness, you fucking crazy. Those dudes so got those dudes got spinning, those dudes got six hundred amateur fights together. Those I dudes agree. got way more skill than uh, Earl and I Sean. Agree. Maybe, but not on this pro level. Sean was showing uh, Earl Sean was showing Showing Earl little things in that ring with his feet and everything. And Vazdek, listen, Vazdek did good, man. 
His combination punches was the was the story of he this fight. Good. He just I ain't had he the tank. Do good no more though, Ness. You gotta understand yeah, the yeah, way Better B was attacking that body. It was only a matter of time, and the way he started cutting off that ring, I liked the way what he and was I doing. And I dare somebody to say the Vaz Dick all of a sudden, hey, you know, he wasn't good or he didn't bring this or he didn't bring his oh, he game. the fight. Man, he brought the fight. Brother, he, he, he said himself he ain't bring the A game. He said, now I got two belts. Now I'm going to train hard for real. Oh, what yeah, you talking about? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, no, you no, did no, say no, Vaz no. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. To that fight. He, he started training for real. Nah, nah, I yeah. messed up anyway. He yeah, said Vaz. I got My nigga, I got to commend everybody over there on motherfucking uh, ESPN, and they Russians. Yeah, These nah, motherfuckers no, speak no, English no, bro, good. Hey. They were built like Vodic, a Russian bear. Better be on my Chinko. Now, I don't know about Usyk, you know what I'm saying? He, he's getting better. But these guys are speaking. And, and uh, Gilberto Ramirez, like the English is getting amazing. Bro, they Victor watching Trump the show. Guy. They watching the show. You can't build a fan base without speaking the universal language of the world. Absolutely. It's the world language. Like, people want to act like Americans are on our, I love his on our too, shit. Bro. But I'm, it's I'm just really, the, I'm really, I'm really like... Uh, 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 you know, really, really big on him after this. I got to know him a little bit more. I didn't know, you know, his story. You know, his pops passed away in a car accident at 16. You know, he ends up getting sent off to a program, to a boxing program. I mean, uh, his story is kind of uh, inspirational, man, Arthur Vita. And such a such a humble champion, too, bro. Absolutely. Humble, humble champion. You know, very approachable. Silent killer. That's yeah, like silent him. killer. Silent killer. We got a super chat coming from Ryder. Easy to look like a killer versus a fucking fawn. Oh my God! I mean, so now no, 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 no! Hold on, show. Mike, Mike! Here before go, wait, show. hold on, hold, hold on, on. hold on, show. hold on! My yes, Mike was on here saying, oh, "Mike, he got the better win." Mike, listen he to me. Get Adonis. He knocked out Adonis. Come on, Mike. Yes, make it, make Mike. your mind up, baby. Mike, you, you're not you can't listening. Be that Monday morning quarterback. You're not you listening. Monday morning quarterback. You're not listening. If you watch that episode that we did Thursday morning, where it says who will be the number one. Right? If you watch that episode Thursday morning, who will be the number one in the 175 pound division? I clearly told you what was going to be said today. I said that there could be no number one out of that fight because, hold on, I told you this before the fight. I said there could be no number one out of that fight. And I said the only argument for number one out of that fight would be the Vazdek because he already has the most credible win in Adonis. But hardcore fans. Hardcore fans will look at that win and say, Badu Jack put the mittens on him right before. I don't know how much uh, Vazdek got. Same thing they said on the telecast last night. So now Vazdek loses... And everybody who was already thinking like, damn, was Adonis old? Was Adonis worn out because of Badu Jack? All of a sudden has a reason to believe that. So for better be, this is his only fucking win. This is only win. Callum Johnson is barely a secondary win. Tavares Cloud is barely a secondary win. So like I said, there is no number one from this fight. You can act like it all you want. So Vazdek so getting the number one? Man, Vaz, hell no, Vazdek number one, nigga, he lost. Better no, what be I'm saying is, is Vazdek not a number one win. Like, isn't that a top win? That's a nasty. No, yeah, that's <laughs> that's Arda Betterby's best win. All right, uh, so why are Art we talking about Caleb Johnson and the other guys? Uh, like, you do me, do me. Walk, walk with me. He just made a champion. Walk with Thank me, you. dog. Walk with me. Soft, walk with me because you're not, you're not getting it. Walk with me. Listen to me. That's right. That's his only win. So that doesn't make you number one in the division. You only got one oh, win. Hold on, hold on. But Canelo moving up to one seventy five, getting his only win, one belt makes him the better champion than all the better belts. Beef. You're the best. That's your argument. Do you want me to explain? Yes, sir. I okay. Do. So again, because of where Canelo started from, he's gonna get that number one because he's jumping up. Fuck out of I'm here. keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Fuck that. All right. Walk, That's not walk backwards. Bud is number one right now because he jumped up to 147. Number one is the one we got know the Earl belt, Spence bro. is a unified champion. He is the best in the division That's right the now. He's unified. Mike, he's one. Mike, you know why that doesn't work? Because you said that's like saying Terrence Crawford is number one in the division. You can't say that because he ain't fight nobody. Here's the scenario. Here's Canelo scenario. Here's Canelo scenario. If Mikey would have beat Earl, and, 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 and let's say Mikey would have beat Earl like Earl beat Mikey, we would have been calling him the number one. Because we already, we already, 
We already, the world already Jeez. thought Earl was number one, so you could Jeez. stop that right there. But that's okay. That's, that's my opinion. Come up to that's the my opinion. And beat the guy and expect to be the best. Bro, I just unified with another champion. I yeah. beat him in his prime when he was young. Oh, hey, the, hey, you hey, 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 coming up and trying to fight a dude who just had a fight two months ago? Oh, a, a living round fight that was tough? And you said you number one? Man, get the fuck out of here. Go hit nah, the hand up. I see number it. number one, man. But, but he, you know, he could be top five, maybe. Top three, you know, considering that he's moving up and he's a super champ or whatnot. Bruh, he, 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 bro, the best right now in the light heavyweight division, in my opinion, and according to, like, you know, belts mean something, right? Belts is status, right? Thank you, Doomy. I'm giving it to my man, B to B, man. Get a better B, he man. earned he it. Fosdy ain't old. Fos, Yo, Fos was on a come up. Look, I'm not going. I'm not going to make it a forever argument. Just mark my words. Like I told you to mark my words Thursday morning, and it's all coming to surface. Um, when Canelo beats Kovalev, watch the bigger writers, the bigger publications make him number one. You guys don't understand how boxing works. When a person no. starts at 147, and when a person has three active titles. In three different divisions, no writer in his right mind will not call him number one. But that's okay. You guys could argue that. We'll so just writers, wait. So writers, we'll just wait. Say, yeah. The yeah. The all the stadium. rankings, all the rankings, the BWAs, all those lists that we read, all the websites that we build shows off. Yeah, now we're going to act like they don't matter, even no, though we no, use no, them. No, no, no. I agree with this. For the casual fan, the writers have a big influence. Absolutely. For a guy who just goes to the site to see the Canelo news, absolutely. But for the hardcore fans, we know that he's not the number one in the division. That, that's my argument, and I'm going to stick to it. Unified champion better be stopped the guy on Friday, beat him down, made him quit, like you said. And I, I, boy, I wish Canelo would try to unify with that guy. Canelo ain't going nowhere near that man, bro. That shit. Canelo's man, going please. nowhere near that, man. Y'all yeah, don't know. Y'all don't Canelo, understand Canelo game went plan. up. He did his thing. You know, he's going to do his thing. And, you know, and, and it's still a tough fight for Canelo. So, I'm Absolutely. not even, like, still no sold that he's going to he gonna white no So, no you know, after after that fight, Canelo ain't going back there. Canelo's on a on a, on a, on a tra different trajectory, he man. Yes, he's on a hunt for greatness. For and greatness. better be. Like that ain't good business. Like I, I could probably do do better business with a a a, a, a Gennady three. You know what I'm saying? Or or a fucking Tyron Woodley from the UFC or or a fucking and he would. From the UFC. Who, whoever matters. You know what I'm saying? Canelo about his business right now. And he who's will. Gonna, who's gonna stay in that division? And, and he take, will. Take and he will. Your guys put more wear and tear on my body. More risks. That ain't the way. He taking one calculated risk. He gonna make the most of it. And then he's gonna go back to doing what he do. Beat the guys that are, you know, Yo, beat up the guys in the smaller division. Watch man. watch Canelo fight him after he fights Bivol. He's gonna fight Faye Long, his mandatory. Then he's gonna fight Bivol on ESPN. Bob already said that he's gonna talk to Eddie to try and do that. Um, he and Eddie already done business in the past. I don't see that being an issue. Plus, Bob is going to throw the boat at him because, again, just like uh, the Ramirez fight, he feels he's got the better fighter. Canelo will go on to probably fight Gennady in May. Um, and maybe maybe one other person. The you WBL know? probably give him, a, give him a mandatory if you're going to keep that title. Who? At 175, the, the pro, WBO. Yeah, They'll and you know, like and you know the WBO ain't got nobody in their yeah, rankings. Yeah, some African or something like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? So, so then Canelo will fight better be when he's got the three belts. I don't know. I don't know, see? I mean, let and me just finish. I hear you. Let okay. me just finish. Uh, like I said earlier in the show, when he's got the three belts and he's taking a little bit more punishment, um, like I said, he'll fight Faye Long. Faye Long's going to fight his heart out. If he upsets him, he upsets him. If he doesn't, it's going to be a tough fight, um, regardless of how many lounge, rounds it lasts. Uh, and then he'll fight Bivol in a and big unification, and that's where he'll get his real name from. Because I see people in the chat saying, nah, Canelo going to say he ain't got no name. Now when he got three belts on ESPN, unifying, and the world now knows Canelo got the other belt. They're going to connect. And I got to say, I got to say that the, the Bevel fight, I'm still kind of torn because even though I think Better be is the number one guy in the uh, division, even even though Bevel's smaller, 175er, 
Bivol was a good boxer, man. It shows me that he bites down on, on his gum shield, and he's kind of gritty. And I, I think when the tough get going, he's not going to wither like guy uh, Bosdick. He's going to really try you know, to go for it. I see and them as similar him, punchers, man. Yeah, yeah, and we've seen him have a power to hurt guys like Sullivan Barrera, Joe Smith Jr., uh, even though he hadn't got a stoppage in the last three fights, he he, he did have Joe Smith really gone in the twelfth round, and 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 and, and the bell saved him. So uh, I just think, man, Bilbo, uh, Bilbo's gonna be a tough out for, for for anybody in that division, and better be in Bilbo. Oh my God, man, make that fight for me. Yo, I'm just saying, man. Uh, is it me or does Kovalev have more one punch knockouts? Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, all yeah. these light heavyweights are uh, 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 allegedly big punchers, yet they hitting you with two and three punches. You're not going down. You got to get hit behind the head, all on the ear. Like Kovalev you is the harder puncher. Why you keep saying that he yeah, hit man, him behind the head, man. bro? You need to watch that fight. Was you watching on the phone? Was you watching on the phone? Like they, they, they wasn't on purpose. It, 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 it like. Especially uh, when Vazdik is turning his head too. Exactly, like. exactly. He, he'll he was down getting out muscle. He ain't know where the hell. My to man was clubbing. Head. How you turning your head when my man clubbing? He think he doing hammer fist. This ain't that man, Y'all seen that shit? You can't fucking yeah, hide yeah, that. Yeah, he trying to get. If, if the rep don't say nothing about it and didn't give me one. My man could No, you right. You right. You right. Like. right. That was a house fight. So if the ref the ref won't say nothing, just like the house made sure to make Lomachenko undefeated all of a sudden. They did. They they, hey. they they magically. Hey. They magically yeah, took away the, the Orlando Salido fight that I picked live. I knew he was going to lose that shit. They, they erased it. They the erased that shit. They showed Lomachenko on the, on the cam. They ain't even put his loss. No, he, four, and he, he 14 and 0 now. He ain't got okay. no loss. Why? Because the machine is behind him. That's what I'm talking about. So when, exactly. when Better Beef gets that third belt and they like, yo, Canelo, you ducking me. Oh, Canelo, Canelo. No, you can't hide from ESPN. Bro, Can't that shit in bro I don't know, man. I was seeing Andre Ward like a little thinner, look like he getting in shape, man. Are we gonna get like this pop up fight with with Canelo nah. versus Ward after he fight Kovalev? That might be a big fight for him, but yeah, I mean that's probably the only fight that'll bring Ward out of retirement. I seen the bro looking kind of thinner, man. I don't know. I don't know. Know, I mean, know how Ward do things. He'll probably take a tune up fight in in Oakland, then fight Canelo. Ward was that, Ward was the was the A side when he did that to Kovalev. He ain't the A side now. You either take the Canelo fight I'm offering you now, or you don't take. It. You see what happened to Kovalev, nigga? You want this fight? You fight right after you fight. Matter of fact, I'm cancel cool. your fight. Cool. I mean, okay. No, I, I, I think if, if that's the case, Ward to be on his high high horse and, and not take it. I don't think so. I, I disagree. I, I know Ward is of that caliber. Like, I, f I feel he's a very prideful man and, and strategic and calculated. But, th but this is a lot of money. $14 million was Kovalev's purse. He and, said he and remember, on the table. And remember, right. Kovalev, Kovalev got, like, guaranteed one to fight Ward. Like, bro, they would be offering Ward some real crazy money. I'm telling you, man. Hey, um, if they offering Ward some real crazy money, you think it's... Coming from the zone, so it got to be a multi-fight deal. One has the zone offer somebody a one-fight deal. No, I hear you. I hear you. That does make sense, but, you know, you got to want to fight more than one fight. And then you got to think, like, he with ESPN, too, so, he, so ESPN probably stipulated, man, you got to give us, give us one fight. Then nah, fight nah, nah, nah. Commentating zone. job ain't got nothing to do with fighting, but I will say this. If they get whiff that he's coming back, Bob probably puts together a nice offer for him too. Bob Absolutely. probably puts together an, a nice offer for him too. Yes, yes. Now, but yeah, man. Back to my guy, Better Be. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I picked him, man. A lot of guys, me and Cavs, the only guys picked him on the list. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you guys call in and uh, get your crow. But yeah, man. Uh, it's very, very strong. Very, very determined. Judges range good, and I, I just feel like, man, he's gonna be a tough out. For anybody in the division, and, and I, I highly, highly doubt that the winner of Canelo Kovalev is, is going to look towards his way. All those guys fought in the amateurs, and back in the amateur days, the clear cut number one guy was better be even. It, it's looking like nothing really has changed since, since then. Man, I want to see him with, 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 and you see, Cole. the problem is Jesse Hart ain't that dude, but I need a Jesse Hart. Uh, not Jesse Hart, okay? You fucking sheep. Not Jesse Hart. 
but I need to sit but with I, the man. But I need a Jesse Hart. I need me a slick black fighter that's going to give me some head movement. Vazdek wasn't doing none of that. Man, y'all bugging, man. It's all good, though. Y'all falling in love easy. Uh, you know easy. what, though? But I'm trying to get a sense of the listen, light heavyweight Listen, and don't, division don't right call now. this hating. Who's, who's, who's doing that? Hold on a minute. Don't call this hating. The problem is the show is getting more and more popular with the years, so you're just starting to find me. But I was the same guy that gave Triple G no love up until he beat Curtis Stevens. Like, it takes a lot to impress me. So what? You know, you don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. It takes a lot to impress me, and that's all. And um, I seen chinks in that armor. I seen chinks in that armor, and I see elite level fighters being able to give us a very great fight with better beef. I'm trying to find that slick boxer. Besides, I don't think you know, he Jesse. exists at 175. I mean, Marcus Brown is way too chinny. You um, talking about Badu? Badu is worn, man. He's he's yo Badu. Woof. Man, you seen his fight with, with Marcus and then his fight with, with Adonis? Like, his fight with Lucian Boutte? Like, bro, um, he, he's been in right? battles. Just like, you're, just like you said. Nah, you're nah. To that. I don't think Badu Jack is that slick black fighter. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like Andre, uh, Jesse Hart, even Charlo, I don't think is sl uh, uh, Jamal. I don't think he's slick. Like, he's very tight and compact and... And, and technically sharp, but slick is like Tevin Buasi, Farmer. Maybe? No, nah, Buasi's too young. Slick is Tevin Farmer. Slick is Javante. Um, you know, guys that sometimes could get on their toes and even with their hands down, still move their head Bounce and around. slip shots. You know, that's what I think. That's my definition of a slick fighter. Someone that can slip shots, you know, so in the, the pocket. Not, not an Eastern. A better be. Bobby. Oh, you want a creative player. Bobby, of course. I don't want no fucking Eastern European dude that when he sees the pressure, he just puts his earmuffs on. He says, hit me, hit me until I can spin away. No, I want a dude that's going to pivot. <laughs> I want a dude that's going to fucking move. I want a dude that's going to keep his lead hand out there and hold this fucking man back. I want that. Did y'all see the Bacoli fight with, with, with Kevin Johnson? I know it's different that was skill. That bro. Listen, I know, man. I know. Shout, I, out, to, shout the, out to Kevin Johnson for still boxing at that. But well, man, it was, bro, it they, was they, short they day. Need to start, they, they need to start, you know, knowing when when to say. I mean, look, I can never I mean, he's say 40, no. Doomy, if he's 40, do me. He's 40. trying to collect a paycheck, but damn. Bro. And they got him on short notice, too. He's 40. Yeah, but, he's 40, bro, and he came in on eight days' notice. My man was getting clobbered. But, you know, he was training, though. He was training. He said he was heavy as hell. He got the call, and he started training. I don't know if it was a week or eight days or whatever, but he was training. He lost, like, 30 or 40 pounds. I forgot how many pounds he lost. But he was saying that, you know, he got in shape. He was talking to his mans, and he told him that, hey, man, if you're going to go out, you know, it's going to be your last one or whatnot, go out in style. And then he dropped all this weight. He was looking semi in shape, but he, it didn't show in the, in the fight, man. He looked like a punching bag. And every now and then, he would just let out a, a fucking jab. He, he had me worried. But Coley was very big, and he was – I mean, Pacoli was freaking hitting him in the back of the head. Hit him a lot of times in the <laughs> Yo, back of the head. Yo, did you just call him Capoli? <laughs> But Coley, he, he, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> My Yo. man was clobbering Kevin, man. He was clobbering him, bro. Well, look, Back man, I, I didn't want to get into a full review. I was just using it because he used his lead jab hand to keep Kevin dead. Nah, bro, it was illegalness. He was holding it out there too long. Hey, too man, what, what, the, what, what Mike loves to say is up to the ref to say yeah, something, ref man. ref was wilding. Yo, one of the refs, oh my God, what was the fight? Uh, one of the refs really was like, uh, uh, that I was watching said, um, stop giving them your head. Like, you know. Yeah, was, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. That it, was the Kevin Johnson fight. It was, right? Yeah. Seen so many Yo, people Bacoli, get in the back of the Bacoli, head. Jeremy's, uh, Joseph Adorno's little brother, Jeremy, got hit in the back of the head. Bro, yeah, he no, complained no, a little no, bit too much. Me you know what? You know what? He complained so much, and then right there, I caught myself like, damn, let me shut up because I remember watching the Pritchard Cologne fight, bro. And Man, I'm going to tell y'all how much power Better Beef got. The nigga got so much power, he made the motherfucking guy check pretend like his motherfucking hand was hurting. And walk to the corner and be like, hey, oh, bro, you beat that, right? Bro? Oh, when he got hit with my the head. body shot? Yeah, my head, right? Body, he starts shaking his hand. <laughs> my nigga look like that. Is, is Demi Tate missing or something? That shit was oh, funny. That, listen, shot, that shot traveled listen, to just, his hand. Just remember <laughs> this, man. Just remember this. Before the fight started, Ward told you 
the vibes that wasn't mentally tough. You know, if he could see that shit from the outside, bro, he ain't never sparred with him none. He could see it from the outside. Believe Before me, the man. Fight, I told y'all, I gave y'all an in depth analysis. It's skill, on my it's day. skill levels out here, man. Told y'all the fight prior to Donna Stevenson, he fought a guy, a, a, a Indian guy, not like a Native American, but a guy in India, uh, who who I just moved up. High on this analysis, baby. <laughs> yeah, he just moved up to one twenty-five, and they went ten rounds. And and in that fight, he was hitting, hitting the guy, hitting the guy, and the guy was throwing some some things back, but Vasek wasn't really hurting the guy. Then he moved up. And fight Adonis. Now look, I give Badu Jack a lot of credit. You know what I'm saying? We see how he beat up James Gale, never the same again. And personally, and this is just my I, outside looking in, and, and I've been saying it for like months now. The way Badu Jack was beating Adonis up the second half of that fight, I thought he should have been charged with a, assault. Uh, it was it, it was bad. He was beating him up from from start to finish in the second half of that fight. And, uh, and in my opinion, it took a lot out of Adonis. So when guys that got to him, I just end, you, 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 uh, you got to realize those fights were back to back for Adonis. He didn't get a tune up in between. Vazdek was a mandatory and he fought him right away. And we all know what happened. You know what I'm saying? So I think we all gave Vazdek maybe a little bit too much praise for that win. Not Yo, Ness. <laughs> Not Ness. <laughs> Ness told you Sunday. Everybody was going to be saying this. Everybody was going to say, oh, Badu Jack. Oh, Vazdek, I don't really know. Oh, Adonis was old. Now, they saying it. I'm a fucking genius, bro. Nestradamus. Say Mystic Ness. What you call me then? Yeah, Mystic No, listen, Mike. listen, ah! listen. I, I, and I keep saying it. I'm not I'm not one of them dudes. I'm, I am I consistently give I'm you credit. I'm with you. No, no. I'm I consistently you. give you credit, though. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely, you, man. You, yeah. getting, you getting mad sharp. Like, you on point. Um, I wish I would have listened. I wouldn't have beaten, been eating crow. But I still made money on Better Beef. You know what I mean? Um, me and Bruce was talking heavily on the back. And um, we just felt like he could probably get that knockout. You know what I'm saying? Um, for all the reasons that I said about Badu and, you know, how elite was that win for him? And that's my main reason for saying that I cannot make Better Beef number one in the division. He just got his signature win, a signature win. If Canelo beats Kovalev, that would be what, his 13th signature win? Like, how many world champions has Better Beef beat? Oh, Not one. Not in that division, though. Like, one. He's coming that he, for every other division. Yo, how many world you champions is he beat? He's just coming man. along, Ness. Why are you always How many world champions? Oh, one. How many, oh, yeah, he, how many, how many former? How many former? How many former, guys, world, champs? How many former but, world champs? How many former world champs? Oh, one. Okay, so he's got one current champ and one former champ. Okay. So you're going to tell me a guy with, with one belt is the best guy in the division when we see a guy with two belts? It ain't about belts, man. It ain't about belts. It ain't about belts. It ain't about belts. For me, it ain't. You know, maybe for you it will be. I don't know. For me, it ain't. You know, um, listen, Better Beef. You know, look, years ago I gave him that nickname, Better Beast in the division. He's showing it. Um, you know, Kalajarik gave hella problems to Marcus Brown, dropped him, and he batted him, got him out of there in five. You know, uh Callum Johnson is a durable domestic level dude. He batted him, you know, got him out of there in four. Um that dude, uh, in, in Rico Coyling, he was hanging around undefeated, IBO champ, you know, just, just hanging around. Nobody ever seen him fight. He batted him, you know, and he, he did it in 12. That's where he shows you his power is, 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 is late. Um, but he's still Eastern European to me, bro. He's still straight up and right there to be hit. And if y'all ain't see him getting hit, then you motherfuckers is blind. You blind. Nah, he got, he, he definitely Oh, yeah, he was up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got, got hit. hit. He got the hit. First. He took. He, he took. All right. He got hit by another Eastern European. What's gonna happen when he get hit with with somebody that got a little bit of motherfucking Sasong? Huh? What the but fuck yo, is going on? The same thing. I, that's the same yo. thing I'm yo, calling Vazic. for at, in an African American. Give me a little like bit Vazic of. Give me slick. a little bit of soul in the fucking ring, and let's see what's gonna happen. Nigga, he's not the natural one seventy five. He's a little guy. He can have all that slickness, nigga. It's all about. Can you, you see Canelo can back? Can you take a motherfucking punch from Better B? You see Canelo back? Matters. And we seen when Canelo adds that weight, he slows down a lot. Hey, He's hey, more hey, methodical. Hey, do me. And why? When you slowing down or getting Better Beef, 
Ooh, man, you 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 asked for a Yo, lot, bro. Why, hey, so Mike, so Mike, so Mike, why why Jamal Charlo? I, I can't remember the last the why, why, fight with uh, Gennady Golovkin when he came in all big and hokey looking. Like, remember that shit? Yeah, but well, wait, when big, did you see him slow though? In the he beginning of the fight, in the whole fight, bro. But like, you you fighting the mo- one of the most dangerous punches for the first time. Who the who the fuck is better be then, bro? No, no, what I'm telling you was with Triple G. You're comparing that fight to Triple G and that he what was I'm slow. Saying, like, yo, I still haven't seen Canelo weight, slow dude. down. So where, he, where is he slow? When he adds the weight, bro, he's more methodical. And he's not as fast. What as you mean he's more methodical, bro? Every fight that he fights is a game plan. Every Gennady fight Gennady is methodical. Fight. Yeah, it's a game plan. If you don't know the plan. first Gennady Golovkin fight, then you don't know what I'm talking about. So well, I, I knew I was there. <laughs> okay, then. Then, then you I know. i the fight. Okay. Method- when you say methodical, man, and you talking about the pros, man, every fight is meth- every fight got a game nah, plan. Man. If you look at uh, Gennady, uh, Gennady one, Gennady two, and Daniel Jacobs, Canelo looks totally different than, than he does in that first Gennady fight. You know why he looked totally different? Why? Because he came in small. He he cause, didn't come in he got a hokey. different plan. He didn't come in all hokey. That's why. He realized that the first hokey against Gennady Golovkin wasn't the right way to go. He he didn't, he doesn't have the power to hurt me. You know what I'm saying so he realized that in the second fight and came in more lean and yeah, beat the shit. Fight over I... left. He ain't gonna be no slowing down. Canelo okay, gonna be fast. We'll he gonna, gonna be fast. Big big over left. gonna see how big it look. All right, let's move to the second fight. Uh, Quadratilio Abduka Korov. Um, uh, yo man, Colazo cut off the fucking ring and you would have won the fight. Forget the cutting the Colazzo. ring off. He went back to this Amir Khan game plan that he did in the Amir Khan fight, like blocking punches with the face, ignoring the dude, like, yo, he he can't hurt me, so I'm going to get him out of there. And then for having that mindset, he ruined his bicep. He couldn't even throw the fucking left hand, so he so was... You saw that? He kept jerking his hand? Bruh, he couldn't do nothing after the fifth with that left. I mean, credit to him. What a fucking warrior. I, I mean, bruh, I'm telling you right now, this is not a game. He couldn't use that left hand. And if that was me, I was checking out. I'm just keeping it real. My man was fucking him up, and you <laughs> couldn't use that hand. He could barely raise it to his chin. And 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 every now and then in the flow of things, he'll throw it. But then you'll see then you'll see him trying to throw it downward to like um massage it out or just you just yo, bro man i just felt so bad this fucking guy bro he's such a religious man he don't post nothing that's not fucking religious Good. And, he could have won and that's nigga. what i'm he saying that main body he just needed to win and he had two title shots he oh, could have went God. the he, earl he spence throwing, route he or he could have went he the crawford throwing. route he was he right was- there bro he was more like, like I, like I was saying before, you got the type of pressure in the ring where I like to call that that presence. It's yes. Presence pressure. And that other guy, Quadratillo, yeah, right? Quadratillo didn't know how to handle that. No, like, bro. You did you see his a, mouth? You could see it. You could see it in his mouth. He's like, he up again, Chase. <laughs> Yo, I promise you, I hate to make it sound like I'm self-centered, but all I could think of was myself, bro. Like. He was looking crazy in the ring, like he couldn't handle Colazzo. And Colazzo was just—he was just dip. No, but sometimes Colazzo was just there, like physically, Absolutely. the presence physically being there. Emotional. He was making my man move so much, and I just felt like, yo, Colazzo's gonna get this dude late. But when once that arm was gone, everything was gone. He's thirty-seven now. I think Top Rank got him on a three-fight deal, so hopefully he got that one more fight. They don't Probably drop him. Hopefully they don't drop him because he, now he got the injury. You know they be dropping dudes, man. Um, wasn't that a prior cut too uh, that opened up? Oh, oh man, that was God. another that thing was too. That cut, bro. And, and that's crazy. You see how ESPN does shit? Fury shit was 10 times bigger than that. This one was like, it was big. I'm not taking anything away from this cut, but right away, fight's over. The ninth it round. Highlight, though. I think, I think, I think bruh, Fury shit the was the whole fucking brown. Bruh, 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 I'm not, I'm not defending the the, the Fury cut because I, I feel like it should be stopped and I and I had money on. I'm saying sports. No, but, but that 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 gotta feel crazy, bro. You can stick the, your uh, finger in that. Yeah, like, they put a like, they put a fucking gauze in that. Bro, first of all, eyelid, first of all, are any of you guys like, gonna talk about how they be fucking with? Like, bro, they just cut my eye. Can you stop finger fucking my eye? 
Like, oh yo. Oh, my God, the doctor? <laughs> bro, yeah, everybody. everybody. I seen another yeah. another hand he come from the back. Bro, it was crazy. The doctor had two hands on him. Then another a glove with purple came on. He started fucking with the... I'm like, damn, man. How? And then when, when the fight over, his cut man... And the only reason I remember this because the cut man is so intelligent. I just want to shout him out. That's Daniel Jacobs' cut man, too. Yo, just so intelligent to be that old... I don't know, maybe his grandkids put him on. He made oversized latex gloves that got his social media and, and email. Beautiful. Shout out to that old oh, man. Shout out to that old man. Get that fucking money, champ. Um, But, bro, he was, god damn, he put so much shit in my man. I, I would have been like, look, the fight's over. Fuck that shit. Leave it alone. He stuck tissue, grease. He was fucking putting the, the, <laughs> the, the, the Q-tip. And it's like, yo, the fight's over, bro. You could see Collazo was in pain. Man, I don't know, man. Fighting is hard, bro. Fighting is hard, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. It, it's like I, starting to sit in every day. Like this, I'm just ready to say that. Ness. The Patrick like, lately, Day. Lately, it's been real. No, because it's keep hitting. It keeps hitting me so. Like, yo, I knew Pritchard Cologne so much. Like that was my man. I knew him. Like first Puerto Rican sign fighter from Puerto Rico for Al. Like, there was so much praise. And now nobody don't even talk about this dude. Like, you so quickly forgotten. And that's what I'm saying. We need to cut these 1%s. Cut this check. Like, yo, uh, Better Beef just got a nice check. One, 2% of that shit needs to go to a fund. Pritchard Cologne probably can't even afford the wheelchair he's going to need to get around. He probably can't even control the wheelchair he would need to get around. And, and, and day is gone. Now, there's a story out here. I know the writer. I'm going to keep my... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, now the look, Charlo uh, story? What? Did you, yeah, did you, yeah, did you, yeah. did you, uh, did you uh, do some research? Yeah. I talked to the the, the, the source who, who, who gave it to me. He said the only reason he uh, he rolled with it because he he, he, know, he knows the writer pretty good, so he felt like it was a credible story. But but what is me, the uh, writer? That, the writer's the, not even. I've read that story I know so he much. Told me the history that you got with the writer, and you know a little bit more about. But, him, so but not even that. I, not I, even I that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to bring up that because yeah, people change. I, I, but my I thing is the, the notes, story. It wasn't for a fact. No, I it's, hear it's you. Not for a fact. So I want. I no, I hear you. I hear. I do want to bring it up though because. As a community, maybe we could push that on Charlo. Maybe, maybe he did say that. Um, and if not, Charlo, maybe someone else steps up because it's exactly what we're talking about right now, man. Um, these fighters not having an outlet. Like, I don't even know. Does Patrick Day have children? Like, what happens now? You know what I mean? To find out that this dude's father was a doctor, it's like, dog, you ain't even need this. Shout out to ESPN with the tribute. Um, but that shit ain't enough. That yo, why like this is the story of life. People celebrate you when you die. That's why Wilder's like, yo, love me now. Don't wait till I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we really need to do something. So what we've been talking about indirectly is there is a story on fightnews.com and we're gonna report it. We are not fightnews.com. Um it would be up to them to retract this story, but allegedly Jamel Charlo, not Jamal, um, has come forward and said that he's going to pay for Patrick's Day's funeral, which if if true, would be a very um, a, a wonderful gesture, you know. Very noble. But uh, but it, it shouldn't be up to Charlo. What this situation should cause is for multiple Charlos to step up. Charlo stepped up now. Someone else needs to say, yo, I'm going to match that. And someone else say, I'm going to match that. Because come on, man. My aunt got a funeral thing. Like, you know, you could get a bottom line funeral for 10000 So 10000 ain't shit to these fighters. Everybody start throwing 10000 In case someone else passes, there is fucking funeral home money. In case someone else has an accident where he can no longer come back to the ring and he can no longer do everyday things, like, he could still buy his fucking daughter a gift on her birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, Paul Williams, yeah, I know, I, mean, I, know is, I know, Paul is good. We've been talking about good. that for so long, though, Ness, man. Like, this is, this is something that we've been asking. This is not the first time that we asked for something like this. What's it going to take? Is, is it going to take a, a government or 
or or or you know federal in interruption is it going to take you know an outside source in order to get these things in line absolutely because i mean look i i hate to bring up the, uh the president when i know shit all about politics but i do know that once upon a time he's been at a lot of boxing fights before he turned into a president and uh Maybe he needs to do the same shit he did when he got in the office. Tax the fucking rich. Tax the promoters. Why aren't the promoters, why don't they have to have something in place for this? Why Why don't the promoters take the fucking bill on the, on the funeral? Like, why are the promoters always setting up a GoFundMe to get the fans to pay for it? You the motherfuckers making the money? You the one on got the deals with the networks, site fees with the casinos, broadcasting fees with the networks. Like, come on. Why why you got to make a GoFundMe for, for Davisov when he was signed to the number one promoter in the last 80 years? Bob Aaron's been doing this shit since fucking, what's that dude name on the motorcycle? Evil Knievel. He promoted no, he's Evil Knievel. about Grease and shit. No, 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 doggy. He promoted Evil Knievel. Like you you gonna tell me you ain't got old money? Jay Z talking about spending money from eighty eight. What money is Bob spending, or hasn't spent yet? Money. Or hasn't <laughs> spent yet? So why do we the fans got to go to the fucking GoFundMe? Why? Yeah. I totally agree, brother. Motherfuckers running around here with dog have. choker chains and shit. Everybody in a music video. Well, guess what? They dying in videos too. So yeah, somebody need to do something. You can't put all that on the fighter. Like fighters can't Bruh. go out and buy money and spend Again, money on this. It ain't about no the fighter, man. It's about the check of the fighter. The I, check absolutely. of the fighter. Everybody absolutely. could everybody could dish out a one, two percent. That's but life. At the same time, I don't feel like it should be up to the fighters. You know what I'm saying? If fighters won't come out and, and like Well, let's uh, be real. Uh, who makes who makes can, more money? Who promoters? makes more money? Who makes more money? Is the promoter making more or is AJ making thirty million a fight? Is Canelo making thirty six million a fight? Okay, Did Floyd I, make thirty six million a that. fight? So if they want to get back, bait, then they can. But the responsibility and the well being of the fighter who's on your card, I feel like falls on the network and the promoter. Absolutely agree with you. Absolutely agree oh, with you. Okay, but I okay. still agree that as a fighter, as a fighter, all of us can step up and give up one percent of our check. I mean, if there's no fighters union, then I don't think that plan is a. We plan can that create can it. Action. We can create it as, as a fighter. I, I agree. If I mean, a fighter, I mean, if who, a fighter, who is who is Patrick Day's promoter? If a fighter, if Lou a fight, Lou DeBella. And, if a fighter and, says, "Yo, we," I, if a fighter goes out in the media and says, "Yo, I think, I think every time I fight, just like Vada, Vada wasn't the big deal," and then guys like Nonito Donet was like, "Yo, I'm gonna be on Vada 365 days." And then everybody start ask. doing that. So all I'm saying is that once one fighter say, you know what? Every time I get paid, pe fighters do charities every day. They they give their money to all type of different shit. So they could be like, you know what? After the Patrick Day shit, Matt Davis, so this is the third death this year. You know what? I'm giving up 2%. I'm going I'm to start my own foundation. Don't Daniel Jacobs got a foundation? Somebody got a foundation. You know, and, and, and first of all, um, those are tax-free. What's the, what's the other shit? Um... Charities? Yeah, but it's something else. There's another word for it. Charitable corporations. Are you talking about non-profit? Non-profit. So that's it, bro. It's not that hard. People acting like it's hard. And what's the fighter do it, Mike? Why, why I want the fighter to do it? Because you're right. It's the promoter who got the fucking responsibility. Damn, the network. The network that showed the man right before he fucking died. You showed the world what happened before he died. But you want to go fund me. That's what you're doing. you letting the promoter tell us GoFundMe and put it on your network to show the world where to GoFundMe at. Motherfucker, you know where it's at. You're a billionaire. <clears throat> real you real, real you, quick on the uh, on the super, super chat. chat. Uh, yeah. My man yeah. Andre, he said insurance companies don't underwrite policies professional for professional boxers, but promoters have a uh, general insurance policy for an entire bout. Promoters need to stand up and pay for boxing final arrangements. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely, bro. I mean, Absolutely. at the end of the day, man, I think that when, um, I mean, I don't know if Al Heyman does it like this. I'm assuming that he, you know, he has the mind, you know, to do something like this. But like when, you know, when a boxer comes on to a promotion, they should, you know, they should have that on the table for them. Life insurance, uh, you know, uh, medical insurance, whatever, whatever. They should have these options. Yeah, and uh, as a boxer, you, you should definitely have a life insurance policy. Life insurance is number one, I think, out of all of those, man. Yeah, because you know, at any given day, the issue you, is when you coming up, when you when you Idrick Rosa 
kid flash, mm-hmm. how the fuck do you pay for life insurance? And then well, that's what I'm saying. hold on, they, they hold on. Let me te- let me teach the they listeners. Offer that. Let me they teach the listeners the, something. The people though. that can't afford it, you signing a contract. They should offer that in the beginning. Okay, you can't afford it now. now. But, you understand but, it's a dangerous me. sport. As a boxer, pay us on the back end. You know but but I mean? as a boxer, your insurance policy is not going to be the same as the everyday uh, civilian exactly. because you're, 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 putting you're, yourself, you're, yeah, you're putting yourself, you're putting yourself at a higher risk. risk. So exa- so so so, sure a, so a O and O fighter can't afford the policy because the, the 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 insurance company that's fucking writing policies them shits is sky high because they know you I at risk. O and O fighters are not are not gonna look. I I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know we the don't history. Know. I don't know the total history of the deaths and and when they've happened and what what people's records have looked like. But um, you know, an O and O fighter is is obviously not the biggest investment. You're coming in. Uh, you know, you're 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 just starting. But like, as you go up in competition, you start f- facing these real dangers with these higher skill levels. And yeah, but you can't punchers. you can't say put the yeah, insurance man. on the on the on the upper echelon fight. Ha- no, but it can happen. Anybody could die on any given day. Exactly, That's exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. But, Bro, you could get in there. You could get in there with a dude that you're supposed to beat that throws a wild punch and hits you behind the head, and it's over. Like Pritchard Cologne. That's just the bottom line. It's the bottom line, man. All I'm saying is the fighters could start the way. The fighters, the fighters, boxers could go on strike. They could go on strike. They need a union, bro. Like, they don't need a union. No union. They don't need a union. No Let me tell you something. They don't need a union. All them PC, bro. all them PBC br- uh, fighters are fucking a family over there. If, okay, if Earl, okay, if Earl says, cool. yo, if Earl says, man, fuck that. Yo, guess how much I had to pay right now? And and, and 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 yo, guess what? My I I can't even get my insurance for the car. They, they don't even want to fix the car. You asking fighters to go on strike, and we know fighters. Some fighters can't afford to go on strike. So some nigga, they can. gotta eat. Some can. They gotta top, eat. Top some fight, and, top and, and, and can. some promoter gonna find a big enough star who's gonna want to fight on the car where he, where he can plug it up. Now, look, I don't look, give a fuck. Like, let's be honest. If there's no nah. union in boxing, ain't no let's, organization. He gonna do honest. one thing. He gonna do another. Top fighters, Bruh, top fighters can, can how, definitely How do you start to take something, off. Mike? Just the, because the it's... fighters that are coming up, let me let me get it. Let me get this in here real quick. Fighters that are at the top can definitely take fights off. All right, you've already touched certain exactly. money. You've got investments and stuff like that. You can definitely go on. And strike. they're the ones that need to do it. Somebody to replace you. No, Thank listen, you, they're listen. Paddling in the flesh. You think Dillian Bruh. White going to pass the money? Flesh. Man, fuck so Dillian White, white man. man. You think AJ gonna be like, nah, bro? That's oh, seventy-five million. You guys, that's how you feel. Open, your mind. Oh, open, your, mind. open your 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 mind, man. Y'all fucking thinking like small peons, man. If oh. if Wilder gets on his phone the same way he got on his phone and text AJ and texts AJ and AJ texts Canelo and Canelo, the top man, the fucking top, okay. Fucking Dillian White. Get the fuck out of here. The top. So that when when they say, I'm done, do something. You the promoter. You I ain't doing nothing to the broadcast. What? You, how many publications going to find out that Canelo on strike? That he ain't fighting Kovalev no more? That he feels bad because Patrick Day died. He's tired of boxers not having a way out. Kovalev fight is off. And while the here's that, while the hold on, say, man, hold on, hold on. Contract. No, this is my idea. This is my idea. Hold on. What's your idea? <laughs> hold on. If while the here's the same shit, oh shit, Canelo ain't gonna fight Kovalev. Fuck it, my pay per view's off too. I'm riding with the movement. The same way he was out there parading in Chicago. I'm riding with the movement. He right. Fuck too many Patrick days, and then the next dude do it. They got all they gotta do is get down the top. I ain't talking about anybody. The top, man. The top is gonna make the world stop. They gonna be like, yo, did y'all hear? Every who's not gonna write or talk about it everywhere. Come on, the top Bruh. guys do it. Like it's too many saying, top, it's contractual too many top obligations. How do these top fighters get out of them? If I'm <laughs> Canelo Alvarez and I'm like, uh, all of a sudden I get a text from uh, from the champ Wilder and he's like, yo, man, you down for this? You know, we should do this. Uh, you know what, Wilder man, I got contractual obligations right now, and I can't really do every that. Every fucking this time. teacher, every I teacher that went on strike, contract, every bro. every teacher that went make on money strike for my family, I gotta eat. Fuck all that. Y'all talking about going on strike? I can't afford to go on strike right now. I got no, but bills to pay. Mike, that's what I got who? Say, the top Canelo's going to say that? I got a wife and a girl. Canelo's going to say that? The top guys. Are you saying, saying, are you saying the Canelo? The top guys can do this. Oh, my God. The top guys can take off. But what I'm saying to Ness is, 
What happens when these top guys are in contractual obligations where they can't just go on strike? My, do me. You can't. Are you listening you, to yourself? You, you can say everybody that went on strike had a fucking contract. I can't hear both of you at the same time. <laughs> everybody that went on strike had a contract, champ. Who you talking about? Like that's the whole everybody point. On strike uh, one. You renegotiate, and that's the whole point. You here to renegotiate. You you causing hysteria to change. You causing but change. You cannot ask everybody to do that because everybody's not making the same money. And I never Some said guy, everybody. I never said. I said the top. The, the top. top. It don't matter the top, bro. Like some guys at the top <laughs> not making the same money Canelo's Yo, making my that man. they can just take off. My man, my man think if Canelo. They have investments. Nah. They have businesses to run. They nah, can't if they say screw all of that in the, name, cash, in, the name, in the name of the boxing uh, uh, brothers. Wilder, then, hey, Wilder so put Showtime out of business. He can't take the next fight off. Man, y'all niggas is crazy. I'll bro. tell you what. If it can't happen. There can't be no money without any fighters. That's simple as that. And, you heard what, and we heard Wilder on numerous occasions. He told me personally, Mike, my household is not the only household that I take care of. I take care of five, six, seven households. So you think Wilder's going to take that money up? Come on, bro. You got to understand that. And man. Wilder, like, understand and Wilder told me, me finish, personally. Let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. I understand your passion, and I'm right there with you. But some of these fighters, you cannot ask these guys to quit their cash flow that pays them and puts money in their pocket. I feel you. We need something in place, but there's nothing in place right now. And without a union and without organization, there's nothing going to happen. Bro, it's gonna so happen. Hold to be on, an hold on. I waited my turn, champ. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, this nigga right much, here. Too many black holes in this. You get sucked. You, you know, you try to do something in, in, in one way and you're gonna just meet meet resistance in another way. This has to be an outside source uh uh to come and interrupt, kind of interrupt that. And we've been asking this for this for a long what time. Make, make, make it happen. Congress. If Congress get in, there like they like they got in the baseball when when steroids was hot. And I just want to know when I can say some they... shit. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Cause y'all niggas terrible. Y'all don't give me a second here, but uh. Go ahead, champs. Yeah, nah, man. because it, 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 it's you ridiculous. You said, "Hold on, do me." This, 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 this my idea. This is my idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause he was trying to cut me off. He was trying to cut me over the middle of that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you still out here peddling this ridiculousness about people not being able to fucking take off when Wilder, like you said, he told you personally. Well, he told me personally, and I'm sure you was there. He got many other businesses, many other avenues of money. And I know other fighters, and I ain't going to say no name. They, they told me, and Doomy was there, just on fucking real estate moves they made. They made 600000 bro. Like, don't heavy, tell heavy. me the faces of boxing can't take off to fucking cause change. Bro, okay, it's got to be a boxing brotherhood. Then they got to stand course. together. Of course, a that's million man marching boxing, my nigga. That's all it is. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Let's get it right. If you're a oh, broadcaster, shit. if you're a broadcaster and you fucking using me as flesh, you you the flesh. you peddling the flesh on TV. Then when I die, you don't give a fuck. Well, fuck you. Fuck you. And Canelo can say fuck you and fuck all your contracts because he got it all enough old money. And Wilder can say fuck you when you got Espinosa in an interview two days ago saying, well, we had to pay him that much money. Meanwhile, you fuckers out here saying he ain't get the 20, huh? Huh? You could take off. The faces of boxing could take off. And guess what the secondary dude's going to do? They're going to follow suit because they don't want to be the fucking pieces of shit scum that ain't doing it. That ain't worrying about if they get hit and they die and they daughter ain't got no fucking college fund, no money, no nothing. They're going to follow suit. You don't want to be the scum. Yeah, but all, it's all, all it I'm only stands is, in unity, man. It only stands in unity, bro. All I'm Homie, is everything somebody... that started had dudes drop off, man. Everybody ain't going to roll with it. Everybody ain't going to roll, but you get them faces. You get them faces. And, and each face got a Ryan Garcia. AJ got the fucking Buatzi kid. Canelo got Ryan Garcia. Wilder got whoever he got. Earl got fucking Brona, Robert Easter, Rashi Warren, Lamont Peterson. Like, it's going trickle, man. We a family or we not? I don't go to help you in camp. I don't root for you in your fight. I'm not there. I'm not going to be at your funeral. I'm not going to be at your funeral. Hell yeah, I'm going to stop fighting with you. We're going to get this shit right. We're going to sit down. Everybody going to give up 1%. The fucking broadcaster's going to match that. The promoter's going to match it. Anybody that's trying to eat off us going to give us money. That's just the bottom line. 
All I'm saying is when you're talking about a strike and you're talking about putting God and money in jeopardy, one popular story that we had come from the past week that, that you guys probably not aware of is, is LeBron James and his comments about China. He, he kind of waffled a little bit and, 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 you know what I'm saying, came off kind of worried about more about his money. And the only reason that I'm saying that is when you talk about millions and millions of dollars, I don't know if guys want to put that on the line necessarily, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't know how many times you, you're going to be able to make millions and millions of dollars every year. Listen, man. At the end of the day, man, we just wanted to make it a sport that's um, safer, more beneficial, and 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 you know, and I'm talking about for the fighters, you know, in a way where we don't have to, you know, see these fighters. And and you know, Patrick Day passed away. There's other fighters, plenty of fighters that don't pass away that are still around. That are dealing with you know neurological, uh, 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 um, you know, breakdowns and. And, and problems and, and like what happens to them you know you have a lot of fighters that you know when you step in the ring man you really do put your life on the line and uh, absolutely you know you when you see this you pay in flesh and when you see the stories about you know ex fighters you know uh, uh, all of a sudden forgotten uh, news media doesn't even mention their names anymore they're just the, the forgotten brothers man it it weighs it weighs heavy especially on, on the Bruh, fans Google, that are passionate and, and the people quick, that know quick, what it is quick, to get in the ring Hold on real quick. Don't forget, uh, if you guys want to see Canelo go for his fourth title and his fourth division, check out our the zone link and go ahead and sign up. Uh, it's in our uh, description box. The first month is nineteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety five, or ninety nine dollars for the whole year. Check out our link so we can get a little kickback by you guys signing up with our link. But I don't know if you guys want to move forward from that, man. That's a. Uh, uh that's I mean, a whole topic got, in itself, man. There's so many ideas that could come from that in absolutely. order to actually get something rolling, man. Million, Mar Million Man March, man. That shit sounds goodness. Bro, they yeah, need man. to do something. I'm telling you. They need to do I just something. Don't like it. And let me no, ask you this. So, so what's going to happen when Canelo puts the pressure on the zone, right? And he's like, I ain't fighting. Why are you not fighting? I'm not. The fight's off November 2nd. He puts out a press release. Yo, the fight's off. The fight's off. And after the, 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 the multiple passings in 2019, you know, Golden Boy's going to put it out. Nice little Golden Boy letterhead. After the multiple passings in 2000, Canelo Alvarez, the face of boxing, has decided in memory of Patrick Day and Maxim Davishoff, he's not dedicating this fight. He's taking a stance on boxing. He's not fighting this fight until his broadcaster and others alike Match him on his 1%, his 2%, whatever the case may be. Well, what's the zone going to do? No, we're going to take you to court. They're going to publicly say no? Nigga, they're going to follow know, suit. I don't know if Canelo would take that, that kind of stance because we know Canelo's all about legacy building. And when you look at legacy, you know what I'm saying, you, you think about generations to come and the, the money that he's making. It, I don't know, legacy? You, 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 you asking a lot. Of a guy to put thirty million dollars on hold. Mike, Mike, I mean, on we hold. Can Muhammad Ali for legacy. On hold, he, Mike. He, he, who, he, is it going to be like we? Who knows if it's going to be there? But we seen God, God bless the motherfucking dead, and I hate to bring it up, but we seen Pernell Whitaker get hit by a car. Anything could happen at any moment in time. You don't put that kind of money on hold. You can make a stance and, and make a public. Press a release. I'm giving one percent, two percent, three percent of my check to the foundation of Patrick Day to make a stance, and I believe all broadcasters should do it. But to ask me to put thirty million dollars on hold or or put it in, in jeopardy, I don't know, baby. I don't know. You know. Uh, and, uh, what we uh, do know is this. Do me. Yeah. Open your fucking eyes. What we do know is that uh, Bob Arum has been very vocal in his admiration for Canelo. So if DeZone felt like they didn't like Canelo's actions, I'm sure he would find a home. I remember when Canelo was upset with HBO, he went to Showtime for some time. Um, when you are the face of boxing, you can do these type of things. And it's going to take someone like him and others to come together. Come together. I'm saying him because his fight is November 2nd and he can cause that ripple effect. He, If he stops that fight 
And it's just a press release, Mike. That's what I'm saying. Like, you really think the zone is going to go up against the media and say, nah, we're going to sue Canelo ass. Not I'm not saying the zone. I, I, I'm saying I don't know if Canelo would take that stand. That, 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 that's my position. He though. ain't got to, man. If you got people in your corner, they know this ain't going to last long. It ain't going to last long. Now, it depends what they want. Are they going to go on strike indefinitely and try to get something? I mean, but if you if you just want the broadcasters to match you and what you giving up on a on a consistent basis, I don't want this. It ain't, ain't no one-off. Moving how much forward. Stock, how much stock, though, does, does, does boxing hold alongside these networks? You know, we can always get replaced, and that's 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 the whole the whole thing when I was yeah, saying earlier that, like, there's always happen, somebody bro. that, that, that can, you know, it's like it's a hydro monster. You chop off one head, another one's gonna pop up. So they can either fill it in with football, basketball, some other, ne- you know, network. Sitcom, well, you just took flick, my man know. super chat. I hope you was talking about. <laughs> huh? I hope you were saying his super chat because that's his shit right there. What is, what's his name? William says uh, that's Negative. all sounds good until the networks need content. Boxing could be replaced with more football, college football, basketball, or sport. I mean, listen, I, I love you. Thank you for the support, but champ, you're not thinking outside the box. Now, well, how now much stock y'all, y'all keep y'all like keep thinking home? y'all keep thinking that somehow. The world is going to be quiet about the most popular boxers in boxing going on strike. Somehow you think that means the ESPN could just put basketball on and they're going to stop writing the stories that Canelo took a stance, that Wilder followed suit, that Jamal Charlo said his fight is off. What are you guys smoking? So the media pressure, you're banking on the media pressure. What the fuck? Uh, being, being, being. Absolutely, the uh, uh, zone is the tipping, a the tipping the, force. The this, zone this, is a corporation. What do they always do? Every corporation settles. Every, I mean, look at all, every corporation settles, bro. They try, they try to go hard, but eventually they settle. They don't need the bad publicity. That's not what they individual want. Individual sports, man. It's gonna be the hard zone, to get these guys these ESPN, different attitudes, different Fox. outlooks on life. They Bruh. gonna look at y'all like what? Why y'all looking at us? We just put the fight on TV. Exactly. The the the, the ownership of the fight of the bout of the card goes to the promoters. Yeah, but you the they one should have the, the the required insurance. Don't come to us with it. Who was responsible in Hunger Games? The people showing you what the fuck was happening to those poor people. That's this ain't a fucking movie. Man. This <laughs> is real life. I like that. This is game. real life, and ESPN showed us someone die. Twice, man. St- I'm gonna move on, man. You, mother- you Once. motherfuckers, Once. is so. Where, where Maxim died at? He ain't die on ESPN. Yes. And what about Patrick Day? The zone. Oh, that was. Uh, you right. See, Mike is getting good. Oh um, well, yeah, man. Let's move on to uh, Julian Rodriguez, man. I think he's from New Jersey, right? Uh, call it Hammer- yes. Hammerhand. Stand up. Hammerhands did his numbers yesterday. I mean, look, he it did. was it was the opponent. You know, um, he's 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 coming back, and that's all that matters. Um, he's young still. Uh, he should be able to make some type of noise at 140. He's with top rank, so he'll be able to get a shot. You never know when he becomes a Jose Ramirez type of mandatory or but voluntary. Yeah, and you, got you know what I'm saying? Ray Beltran, you never know. Talking to the mic, Doomy. Can't nobody hear yeah, you from the y'all didn't, y'all, didn't, y'all didn't get a full 100% Julian Rodriguez either. He was sick, man. He wasn't feeling good. No, listen, okay. man. He no. spars with the best of uh, the best in New York. And he still got his tri- man like who? The, like best, who? the best of New York and the Tri-State area have to offer. I mean, everybody, really. I mean, um, who doesn't? At 140, who, who around the Tri-State area at, at 140, 147? I keep telling you that, man. I don't know who we interviewed. The, oh, I think that was Shakur. I don't know who we interviewed. Somebody okay. was saying, like, yo, I don't go above my weight. That ain't how it was. It was uh, Stephen Fulton, I believe. Okay. That ain't how we see it, bro. Like, I see. People, he was like, I, I don't go above 122. I fight at 116 or something like that. Yeah, I don't see nobody do that. Like, I've seen this kid. Yeah. He, this kid spars Jason Sosa, Tevin Farmer, Steven Ortiz. Uh, I've seen him spar fucking Hakeem Nurse. Um, okay. Yeah, I've seen him spar everybody, you know. Um, I, 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 I know his father. His father it actually, you know, old, like has his own ring and, and, and rents it to a lot of the, you know, people in the tri-state area. And the amateurs, yeah. He does no, a lot no, of the events too. Show. He does the PBC and top oh, yeah. rank events. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
But uh, Julian, hey, real quick, let me get to two super chats that we didn't get to, and I, 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 I'll be remiss if I don't get to them. Ryan Acer No says Vastic was winning the fight, lost due to fatigue. And Jared Hines says, "When y'all going to Wilder's camp? Can't wait." See, uh, this isn't a super chat, but he's a pound for pound supporter, a long time Patreon and listener. Pittsburgh uh, Brew says people have been dying in boxing forever, but now there's social media. And most fights are televised or at least has footage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we got one from Mr. J. Duke 40. I usually hate this narrative, but today he owned it. I mean, it's just true, bro. It's not hard, Mike. 1% of your check and to get Canelo and Wilder to call each other. Like, neither one of their fights going to get canceled. Ain't no network going to be the bad guy. (laughs) <laughs> like, you, you really going to tell the boxing fan you're not giving us this fight because you don't care about the fighter that's stepping in the ring because you don't want to possibly pay for their funeral? That's what you're telling the people, Mike. I'm not. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not no, no, not you. All. Not you. I'm saying that that's what the network would I know, be doing I know, if they don't follow suit. My position is I think the fighter would go through with the fight and allocate some of their fight purse to that cause or foundation or the person and ask the network publicly to match them. I think that's the better way to go, go about it. So you, you don't take money out your own mouth, but you still put pressure on the network and the promoter to back you. Go ahead. What made more noise? Derek Chisora trying to renegotiate behind closed doors or telling Eddie, yo, you got, where's the Vaseline? You trying to fuck me? <laughs> fuck that. I sell nah, the tickets. Honestly, I sell the tickets. Come on, stop media. it, baby. Stop it. Come on. To Mr. The fighters, said, Mike, yeah, hold on a minute, Doomy. Doomy, hold on. Fight, Mike, the fighters need to hear you be behind this shit. Not telling them, don't fucking, oh, 30 million on ho, oh. Motherfuckers got seven car garages, man. The Charlos about them to fight. cars don't feed their kids, though, baby. You could, sell, you could sell a couple of them old school motherfuckers if you got to, just so that when you fight, you know you, you got a backup plan for you and your family. You but, ain't doing this for nobody but you. Case, it's though, for you. You gotta, you. Realize, you, could, you gotta realize, maybe not with Top Ring, but. We could, we know what Al Heyman. They got all kind of future shit set up. I'm I'm sure they got a life plan, great health insurance, or whatever with Al Heyman because we know that Al Heyman sets up guys to do other things in business. And I know how Al, if Pritchard Cologne is with Al Heyman personally, Pritchard Cologne is with Al Heyman. Pritchard Cologne is with Al Heyman. And also, what's called is too. Uh uh uh. Uh, what's my guy named Paul Williams? And that's we see Paul Williams like IG all the time. Like he he out here living life, nice house, nice cars. And then I, I don't see him out here complaining and say I ain't got no money. He said, and matter of fact, I seen him do an interview and he said, shit, I got a bank out him because I got businesses and things like that. Who, that Paul? I can have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I mean. Now, Ham is one of those guys, one of those promoters that I see, you know, because just because of the boxers and and the way they've talked about him, they definitely always say that he always gears them to boxing after, you know, life after boxing. See, uh, look at this. It's not out of the question for him to be already doing things like that for these guys. I'm sorry to cut you off. Ramirez donates 10,000 to the family of Davishev. And this is what I'm saying. You can't just do good gestures. Because you see, this happened two weeks ago, and don't nobody know. Nobody yeah, knows. Nobody knows. And ain't nobody else give 10000 Now, but if Ramirez maybe- says, I ain't fucking fighting no more, I could have been Davishev. That 10000 multiplies. I'm going to just leave it alone. Y'all, y'all ain't going to get it. It's all good. Maybe it's just your job not to get it so the show is better. But I don't see how y'all don't get it, man. Y'all crazy, bro. Yeah, and whatever uh, fighter, whatever fighter can't avoid we get fighting. It. It's just a whatever fighter, of, whatever fighter talking about. Oh, I can't afford not to take this fight. Well, you just dumb. Because what happens when that punch lands on you and you won't fight again? You better That's hope that that shit take. was in play. Yeah. That's well, don't take. don't take that risk unnecessarily anymore. If you could set I something up, and, and I don't think most fighters are. I think most fighters got life, especially on PBC, bro. I, I cannot imagine 
them over there not having a life insurance policy and health policies set up to be like a Paul Williams when you get out where you have money coming in every month and you're able to take care of yourself. Fighters go in there. Listen, let's make no Nicosi mistake. Nikosi Solomon fighters, got dropped after two fighters, fights. Fight, you want me to believe fighters, fighters know got that health going insurance? In there risking their lives. Bruh, everybody game. can't be Michael Jordan. This. Yes. Everybody mean, can't make it to the league. That's why so, we need so, something. Sometimes you got to get another job. Sometimes you got to get another job. But maybe boxing ain't for you, homie. You was good in the amateurs. You lost the first fight. Second fight was all right. Eddie dropped you. Tough shit. Get oh. back on your bike, come back, or go find another job. You can't this, be out here and say, oh, the coach Solomon, he had one fight. He need No, dog. You ain't putting in the, the work to get health insurance. We all know that every boxer that gets in the ring, I mean, if, if they don't know, they, I'm pretty sure the promoter tells them, you know, you're in the business of boxing. It's very dangerous. You know that you're going to, you're risking your life. You're risking your life from the get-go. Um, this is an individual sport, meaning that everything you know is written up individually according to the fighters' needs, wants, uh, philosophies in life, or whatnot. So it's uh, it's pretty hard to get everybody in the same in the same boat. Um, yeah, these things can happen. This, yeah, shout we can, out, we can, shout we can, out to Andre Dragon who just 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 said Keith Thurman stated he did not have health insurance with his first soldier surgery. Shout out so to our things- resident doctor that I've met. So I don't want people thinking, oh yeah, right. How you know he's a doctor, Ned? Because we fucking met, motherfucker. Um, so anyway, Igloo says, health insurance is cheap. No reason to have to decide between a Bugatti and health insurance. Laugh out loud. So yeah, again, You can't be wearing, wearing $100,000 chains and not have health insurance. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. If that's the, the, the decision you're making, then you got to live with the bid you made. And again, like guys, like truthfully, we, we really are not talking about, you know, health insurance and all this stuff that that's needed by these top guys. Apparently, they could pay for anything they want. Absolutely. Uh, we're, 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 we're talking for the guys that are the journeymen. We're talking about for the guys that are the gatekeepers, the guys that are. And that's you know, why the top the- guys need to make the noise for the little guys. So I, the, I, I, I just so, don't know if they will. That that's the compassion. Will, will there be compassion? And because you're not, because you're not, you're not thinking with your heart, with man. A lot of characters. You're not, not thinking with your heart, man. The way you feel, this, and not 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 the way I feel, or the way my everybody's has different philosophies and feelings for what this when fight comes down about. To it, people look out for their personal interest, self preservation. It's the number one rule in life. I'm gonna look out for me first. Then I'm gonna worry about what happened. That's all. Why, why, why you see Jose Ramirez give out ten thousand dollars to Dadashev? He made sure he was right. Then he gave it what he could to a Dadashev family. You know what I'm saying? And I, mean, I commend that. I can't give. I, I can't be mad at that. I can't say he didn't make enough noise because it, he didn't do it publicly. Maybe he he didn't want to do it and make a lot of noise. Maybe you build, he just want to do you, it in silence. You build you build a relationship. It ain't about doing it in silence, bro. When you when you, bro, when you, when you, sparring, about, when you sparring different people. And you're in these gyms and you're creating these relationships amongst the boxers. You know what I'm saying? You'll have relationships that are built, you know, and and, and you really feel a connection with another guy as, as friendships and, and in life in general. And it'll be in your heart that if something bad happens to that man, you'll make that possible because you can. You feel me? But like Ness was saying, we can't just depend on on good on good will, good will you know what i mean how Bro, about if man. nothing happens that's why that's fight. why god made it that way cuz when i die i don't want to see y'all fucking posting pictures fuck your pictures fuck your pictures and your fake quotes under your fucking whack ass pictures the fuck his kids and his family nothing he can't do nothing with your pictures it's your cute your cute fucking uh um the fuck is it? The 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 font and shit. Don't nobody yeah. care about none of that, man. I'm telling you right now. If every fighter that posted a picture or for every fucking picture I seen a Pat Day, it was a dollar, he'd be good. Straight up. True. True. Straight and up. I, I do believe some some people start started some, some GoFundMe's for him, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, it shouldn't be on them, it should be on. Oh yeah, I, we I we gotta start you. a GoFundMe for the fighter yeah. and we, the fan, that we already being bled dry we yep. gotta pay for the fighters go fund me I agree. I agree. <laughs> like my man got a fucking r8 canelo got a g5 dudes hopping out of g4s and i gotta go to the go fund me and click the link man you motherfucker you know what it is y'all brain dead man go, Ness, go Ness, Ness, shut up Ness. Ness, Ness, shut up Ness. Ness, shut up you stupid that I shit ain't never gonna happen Ness. that ain't never gonna happen Ness. the promoter of that event 
was Eddie Hearn, and we just seen him on a what? On a private jet with Ammo Williams. It, it the responsibility should lie on him. That's my my stance. But yeah, let's, jo- let's go back to the docket, man. Um, Jeremy talk- Adorno, Adorno, gets yeah. UD over Yo, Mizell Reyes. I wonder. That's if, the little brother. That's the little brother. But I wonder if it's like bothering him, you know? Because what you mean? I mean, he keep fighting with his brother. His brother getting these crazy knockouts. Knockouts. And he can't get the knockout. He's like no, three he, and he got him he three he, and he one didn't get now. It this time, but he he got him the other time. Bro, he got one knockout. I mean, it's two fights he had. Um, he got one knockout. And he got a decision in the other one. I thought he had two. He got three fights, right? He got three fights, one knockout. Yeah, man. I mean, and I, these, I, your, I, these, come on, man. These the first three you supposed to yeah. be getting knockouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It you, ain't pressure, him, then you ain't gonna get him. But uh nah, it, adds, like, it adds a little pressure, but I mean I it doesn't like mean he ain't gonna get him. Guy, like, Yo, do me, is your headphones working, my man? I'm 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 loud and clear over here. No, head headphones though. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm listening to you. Okay. I I believe there probably is like some kind of competitive brother thing going on where he probably pressing a little bit for the knockouts because he see he see what his brother's doing, but at the same time, everybody has their own journey. Maybe you, you you're not gonna be a big knockout puncher. Maybe you you'll be a boxer or or a sick fighter like Penel Williams. So I mean Penel Whitaker. So you might have to start looking at that if you can't get these knockouts early. I think he's just he he's in development still, man. He's a young kid. You know he still got to develop that man strength. Um, I think that he experienced some rough boxing in his last match with this kid, uh, Misael. And um, I think it, 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 you know, like you said, uh, Mike, not everybody's going to have the same journey. I always say, it, you know, everybody just adjusts differently. He's young. Um, he still got the skills, though. He still got that 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 grit that his brother got. But his brother just has that one KO power, man. I, I've been watching Joseph for a long time, man. And um, every every time it's just that left hook, man. That left hook is crazy. The way he snaps that, that, Puerto Rican, that shoulder man. into it is crazy. And he, they even pride the, even themselves the right on those left hooks. Yeah, and um, you know, he they, they he they talked about you know he talked about how worried he was for Jeremy when he got hit in the back of the head. You know, he talked about you know when he went into the back, he was worried about his brother and um, wants to fight on another card with his brother. So, you know, I expect to see good things from I both of them. I thought he said he don't want to be on a card yeah, with his brother. They, they trying to... They, it, they, be. Yeah, they saying, like, which is dumb. Which yeah. is dumb. Like, yeah. keep keep them both Build there so up. that more people... Because so, it's like this. It's like, yo, Mike, you want to go see Jeremy? Damn, man. Joseph the one be knocking niggas out. When he fighting? Oh, he fighting next month. Man, I'm going to just wait. Put them on the same card, man. Watch them both. Like that's and then you build it up, you build it up, and then you put them headline in their hometown after you you done built it up to where their hometown is like, damn, why why y'all don't fight here? Why y'all not fighting here? Can y'all sell a, a, a six thousand you know San Seat Arena? I said we seen Top Rank do it all the time. Yo, have we seen any brothers right now in in the, in, the, in the past couple of years? Two brothers doing it, you know, doing it big right now. I mean, I know Ryan Garcia. Obviously, has a little champ. Brother. Obviously, you got the Klitschko brothers, the Charlo brothers. All right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm, I didn't, I, you know, I was, I was, I guess drew I was a blank. You drew a blank. Yeah, I drew a blank. Nah, right I get I you. Mean, I, I get you. Know you. I don't see the Charlo brothers as like exactly. You don't see them. Nah, nah that's man, it. Period. Nah, we don't get period. You don't get you nah, see him. You, you 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 because one thing, one thing that, that, that Charlo said that stuck out to me during my camps, I, I listen to a lot of boxing things. Yeah. So what what he's saying in, in these interviews, and we'll get to him. Maybe he heard your voice and is it, taken in what you said because he's calling out a lot of these guys. But we'll get to it later. Uh, man, you don't want to get to that topic. I never see the Charlo brothers as, as like CYP. Oh, <laughs> CYP, I hope you're listening. You don't want to get to that topic. It's topic three. It's topic three. <laughs> Go ahead, Host Wade Vargas, man. He, he gets a UD Fake over Johnny outs. Rodriguez. Man, this, this guy, uh, I don't know about you guys, but Johnny Rodriguez turned out to be one of those tough ass. Tough as fuck. Yeah, tough. Those dudes that you find at the motherfucking bar and Bruh, shit. Bro, you know like- what? He had me like, he had me like, damn, I thought Josue was the prodigy. Yeah. Not that not that Josue was looking bad, looking but bad. it's nah, just, but like, just like you just expect like exactly. You don't expect to be here for all these rounds with this level. Like you thinking, I right, 
This the undercard. That nigga with the whole eight, goddamn. <laughs> bro, crack, crack, crack toe sway with a right hand. They had me like, whoa. Bro, then whole sway. The, uh, into the ropes. Bro, right, then whole sway doing the shoulder roll from the South Pole. What the? Man, these niggas is crazy, man. Like, stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. There's only it's one Floyd Mayweather, okay? James Tony. Get the fuck out of <laughs> it. Not even Tony, champ. Tony on, wasn't bro. doing don't, it like don't, Mayweather. Don't respect Tony, don't. Tony, James, Tony, the man. James Tony, Tony wasn't bro. doing it like Mayweather. Come on, James bro. Tony took more punches you than Mayweather. Mayweather wasn't doing it like Tony. James, to James Tony took more punches than Mayweather. Simple as that. Yeah, Simple. Was, he was right there. Uh, because the because you seen the Holyfield because fight, Tony, and that was a big the reason, Tony. the reason Tony took more punches because he stayed in range more than Mayweather. But when he was in range, motherfucker still couldn't touch him. Come on, man. So, so you saying the only reason is because he was in range. Okay, well, whose fault is that? He was a more pressure fighter than Mayweather. They had different styles. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. But and 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 you chose to use him as a and, comparison. And him using the shoulder roll at that close of range probably gives more credence to him than it does Mayweather. I doubt it. The dude uh -huh. that get hit less dude using that defensive style is the one that I'm gonna praise. Not the one that's getting hit more. I don't know. But uh Yonel said, Ness, I work in for the healthcare. And I can tell you right now that your idea is definitely possible. All right. Well, thanks, champ. Um, mm. So, Joseph Dude, Adorno. Just, that, just, he just chewed certain shit to read. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to definitely. Who's that, who's, who's that, my nigga, uh, en Enrique? I don't, mm. wanna, I don't know. Never mind. Drop oh, he's over there. Ain't nobody even know he was in this beach. Nah, no, I heard he it. Snuck up here. I, I, I did. I did shit. hear the ooh, ooh, and I'm like, mm. who the fuck? What is that? Where is this? What are we doing over there? <laughs> 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 Yo, mm. I hear you, Enrique. I'm trying to find man, his shit, man. Intro, I'm nigga. trying to find his shit, man. This a new soundboard, man. Y'all got a bed Make with it me, man. Make it official, man. Yo, you man. still eating? I hear you in the back there eating. There's baby in the building. You still got your this sandwich. Is the voice of the this is the voice of the Yo, people. The we... boxing voice. My nigga on Wi Fi with his motherfucker. I know, too. man. Yo, Hang up on him, bro. Hang up on him, bro. We ain't dealing with that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Where, the 50, where the 50 foot cable at, man? Dude, where the 50 foot cable, cable at? Hmm. Everything, I, I guess you'll get the intro though, but nah, up, he ain't man? got no intro. I guess we ain't got it. Did, Canelo, did it? Canelo, man, is he scared of better beef? Crazy as hell. who was right? Yo, you don't get no his, crow, baby. Look at his you, face. You follow Mike. That nigga eating heavy over there, champ. Nigga eating big ass, some fat ass chicken or something. <laughs> yeah, that's chicken. Yo, chicken. Hey, that shit look good. Shout out to Blue Ribbon Chicken. We'll come back to I'll you, man. Yeah, man. We'll come back to you, man. We'll eat chicken and shit. Bro, you over there like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Word up. We're going to come back to you, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Mr. Redhead, Joseph Adorno. Yeah, the that's what I'm talking about. Knockout, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold Bruh, on. Hold that on, right on, hand, on. that right hand counter when he, he just stepped back, pop, my man went through the ropes. That was man. crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was, thought he was out. <laughs> He he was out, but he no, was. No, I mean I thought I'm, he was good. I'm good. I'm nigga, he, bro, you not good. Ref, the, the ref was right now, but you ain't fighting no more. You feel me? That shit was crazy. Like Bambi. And yeah, I like the man, fucking fact that he I'll... changes up his hair each fight. It, it makes him more noticeable. It makes the fans remember him more. In my opinion, when we got a That's fucking true. hairstyle, it, it, it like like sticks out. Enrique. That works. I, I felt it. I I know that experience. And yeah. I, I understand all the Chris Cobain and the uh, uh, um, Paulie Malignaggi. Now I understand all of them. Mm. And the attention you get out of bleaching your hair or dyeing it green or whatever you want to do, I understand it. I've been there. I felt it. And it's a whole new attraction. Mm. But <laughs> what I want to say is ESPN. Plus. Shout out to my man. Uh, what's my man that got oh, the draw? Man. With Rashidi Harris, Mike on Showbox, I think they, Rashidi I think they, Harris draw. I think they, uh, I, I think it. they, Rashidi Ellis, I think they 168 pounders. One is spawn. Well, the, the only thing I want to do is one? The, it was one real dark skin one with dress. I got a question. He's sparring with uh, Canelo for the Kovalev fight, and Kovalev is spawned the dude that he got the draw with for the Canelo fight. Pretty oh, dope. Oh, wow. Okay. See, yeah. my, see, that's that mental warfare that I was talking about. And he should do by bringing in George Wilco. You ain't even got to use him. You don't need Joey. He don't, he, he 
can't present Joshua at all. You know what I'm saying? You just bring him in. Have, but y'all kill me with that. My, have brunch my with him. Have, with that. have lunch with him. And like, hey, what did you pick up in camp? And what what are things that I, I can look for that Joshua does? What are his, right. his tendencies? You know what I'm saying? I love that, Mike. I love this topic because two things, right? Number one, you mentioned somebody sparring before. I don't remember what day. It was like we had some off-topic, undercard people. And then that was like, yo, sparring is different. So why do we, like, boast about... Oh, he spars blah 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 blah. If sparring is different, I mean, when you when you when you spar uh, people of a higher caliber, you know, you you expect to get better and get better. When they tell you you're getting better work, uh, when you sparring with these elite athletes, you know, you just getting better. You know, you you are impressed by it because you know when you get in there with a top level guy, it's not the same as getting in there with a journeyman and sparring. Obviously, and, and the fight the is different, right? The fight is different. I feel you on cash, but it um. It still means a lot. Yo, just put it like this. The simplest answer is just because it's spawned don't mean you ain't getting hit. So if the dude... That's what I'm saying. So if the dude's elite, he's going to hit you more than the dude that's not elite. Well, what I'm that's, saying is when I was sparring... Saying, if, at the end look, of the day, you got to get ready. Period. You, 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 you got to get ready. Exactly. And what I'm saying is when I sparred, I saw sparkles when I got hit. Yeah. So I'm not saying people my boy like you ready for the fight. I mean, so he got I hit by Ness. He got hit by Ness. Punch in the face. I saw lights. He got hit by Ever. Ness. You gonna see lights, man? Ness a big puncher. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Big, ups to, uh, big ups to Joseph Ardano. Keep it. Uh, I, uh, I got hit by Shane Green. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Shadeja. shout out to Shadeja. We are gonna talk about when we get to the zone, man. Keep the KO streak going, <laughs> and uh, like, I'm excited to see you. Fight. Yo, uh, what's up? What's you, up Mike? next for him, Mike? Hey, Mike, I, we know, need you, Mike. You know that we need a guy like Sonny Mike. Kanto. See, see Sonny how Kanto, baby. see how Mike staying on topics and shit. He he, Kanto, he, he keeping baby. the boat moving. What about that tag stallion from from Philly? So the problem with they that put fight, him and and I love how Top Rank did it. They put him like the third or or fourth fight out. You know what I'm saying I love the fact that they they kind of swung his belt into the the uh, main because sh- yeah, man, we gotta talk about it, bro. He look good. Why the fuck am I going from ESPN Plus to ESPN. to ESPN News to motherfucking ESPN? Have y'all shit in order or just leave it on ESPN Plus? I can watch the whole shit all the way through. Word. Football game went over like 30 minutes. Now I got to find a fucking ESPN News stream to fucking watch the fight. Bro, the I was watching it on ESPN in Espanol, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, man. Um, it was a bit uh, annoying, but I'm kind of used to it, man. And and I listened to the announcer, so you know, I heard Joe Tessitore like, "Oh, we're switching over to ESPN." I'm like, stupid. Like, if you on the app, I don't think you should have to switch. Like, why am I paying for the app and I gotta pay cable? Luckily for, real, for me, man. luckily for me, do me. You need to check. Um, I just signed in with my Xfinity now. You know, and I could watch it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's what I want to talk about. What the fuck? Don't talk about man, nothing, man. Don't talk about it now, man. We'll we'll come back to you. We'll, Get we'll, your food we'll, down we'll your finish. motherfucking belly. Yo, eat well, man, Sonny Kato. Yeah, she said there was something about Sonny that, 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 that you seen in that fight that you wanted to... Tyson Fury? Yes, yes. So... <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, shout out to Tyson Fury for walking him out because, look, we talked about sparring with, with, with Enrique. There goes something that you pick up. He built a camaraderie, a relationship with Fury. Fury obviously needs the U.S. exposure, but still, someone had to pay, and even if he didn't have to pay, he still had to travel. Traveling is, you know, fuck, they fly us out, and I don't like to travel, you know? So um, Tyson came out, and he walked him out, and... Uh, He's picking up a lot of stuff from 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 you know sparring with Tyson. What well, what's up? Uh, I just want to say shout out to Fury for being all over the place in boxing after a fight with a big slash in his eye, not looking too good, and then going to the WWE. He's doing the he's taking the the walk that he needs to walk to for that exposure. Number one, and then number two, I want to go back. Bro, bro, you can't, you can't, man. Get, get out of here, man. Get out of here, on bro. Television. It wasn't working. I had to sign in. Come on, man. Get yourself some internet, man. Come on, man. Somebody text him. Get get that internet right. He 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 got way too much uh, equipment out there not to get that but, right. But yeah, 
what did, what was it in Sonny Conto that, that you wanted to uh, 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 discuss for the third time? So he faced Stephen Loins, or how do you pronounce that? Lions. 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 All right. So he faced him right now. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man checked out. We all know. I mean, if people saying God oh, yeah. gave up. My nigga. The shit he was throwing in that fight, I said, where did they get him from, bro? No, no, I'm going to tell you. Do me. Come on, baby. We I'm can a, have you in that bitch, Exactly. Man, exactly. Oh, Let bro. me tell you. First of all, my man is from, like, Missouri, Kansas City, something crazy. Enrique, connect your Ethernet, man. Um, so you outside, cut me off. I don't have an Ethernet cable. I'm just saying, you cut you me got, off. You got to You got to tell the kids to get off the internet. You got to tell the kids to get off the internet. I'm supposed to have files, the fastest network on the planet. That'd be I a mean, slow thing. No, they they playing you, man. You sounding like R two D two. You broke up a little, Kenrika. You started sounding like a robot. You on some bit. robot shit? Look, somebody right now playing a game with the internet. Like they on the game behind oh, you, you with the internet. Like that's why yeah, you sound I, like shit. Like. Talk to us later. Look, he just, he just, I, I, you, look, you sound bad right now. Like, it's crumbling up right now. I'll I set it up. Stand by. Stand by for the star. Hold now, on. Now, he know he lying. Tell me I ain't got no Ethernet cable, but his kid playing Matten on, on, over there with an the Ethernet cable. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Guys, let's go, champ. So, so, first of all, Steven ain't want to fight. Secondly, Damani Rock fought this dude. And when I interviewed him for Damani Rock fight, bro, he was inactive then. So this is just a bring back. Remember, Michelle Rosado had everything to do with this undercard. You know what I'm saying? She builds these guys up in the floor in the, in the Philadelphia area so that these tickets sell. Because obviously, Better Beef is not a draw in Philly. But even though she did a lot of work for Better Beef, I told you she had meet and greets for both of them. She had a lot of stuff going on before fight week for both of them. She she did a great job helping Top Rank, you know, sell this thing out. That being said, um. I just don't want anyone to take too much from this fight. Steve, he was there to get a check. He presented nothing. It was zero know. resistance. Um, they stopped this fight because uh, Steven, you know, retired on his stool. He just didn't want to be there after the first round. I seen him He's put up more. I seen him put up more of a fight and take more punishment from Darmani Rock than he did yesterday. Um, so, you know, I just don't know what we learning from Kanto, what we seeing from Kanto. Also, I didn't see his trainer there. I see his father playing the role of the trainer yesterday, uh, or yeah, yesterday. So that, no, that was Friday. So that was interesting too. Um, remember we spoke about, damn, I wanted him to get another trainer because that trainer was unknown and I didn't see him work the corner. Maybe after the Tyson Fury stuff, the same thing came up because, uh, like he said, you know, he's getting a lot of mentorship from Tyson Fury. But in his post fight, he said, Do me, I have the best heavyweight jab not named Tyson Fury. Um, did he show you enough of the jab yesterday to, you know, I don't know, assess I mean, how that? much? How, I mean, that's reality is how much can we get from this fight? You know, how much can we get from a guy like Steven Lyons who. Who obviously wasn't uh, uh, um, on the level uh, uh, and the physical, uh, you know, uh, 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 ability or physical peak that Sonny was. He's a young guy. You got a 23 year old guy, young, strong, and um, he's a menace, man. I think that uh, he 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 didn't show us, I guess, more of his jab because uh, you know the, the fight stopped and it's a four round fight. But I think he uses the jab pretty good. Um, I think that uh, it's important for him, you know, especially as the smaller heavyweight as compared to a guy like uh, Tyson Fury, you know, to work on that jab to be able to get on the inside which, with these giants. Um, you know, he's 6'4". He's not that much smaller, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that he practiced his jab a lot with uh, with Tyson Fury and the sparring that, that, that they had or whatnot for, for um, you know, him getting prepared, Tyson Fury, that is, for Ottawa Wallen. Uh, he's young, man. He's still, he's still you know... You know, the only thing I can say, we need to step up in competition, but they're bringing him along the right way, and uh, he's only in his fifth fight. So, you know, I like the kid. I like his physical appearance. He looks like he stays in shape. And uh, if he lives a life, I think there's a lot of promising things that could happen for him. You know, he's Italian stallion, the Bronco, you know? Yo. It, it, he, got, he, got, he got the look. It's such a wonderful time to be a fighter right now. I know not every fighter gets to live this life, you know? But it's like Mike said, not every fighter put it in. That was Sonny who put it in over 130 amateur fights. You know, whatever nationals he may have won, whatever accolades he has gotten, 
um, he put that work in to get signed to top rank. But damn, shout out to signing the top rank. I mean, PBC fighters don't get this type of exposure unless they uh, are maybe. Vito Milalecki or some shit like, bruh. Oh, or Joey any, Spencer. Anybody signing the top rank is getting crazy top exposure. Rank in the zone. The, don't don't forget the zone. The I don't think I don't the think zone. the zone doing what Top Rank is doing. I mean, because of the, the the ESPN brand, yeah, but the zone is putting these motherfuckers on cards actively. Yeah, well, actually. you you talking about Wait. a different subject? Wait. You talking about activity? Uh, they're not building the brand. They're picking and choosing who they're building. They're flying yes. ammo around. They ain't flying yeah. everybody around. They took Haney to the big house to yeah. to to be in the UK. How many other fighters did they leave? Like. No, 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 no. Everybody ain't got what that top promise, rank, baby. What show, top rank show is me doing? that promise and you come over. No, listen, and that's cool, but that's what I'm saying. I sat down with Bob. It's on my interview in my face. He told me he didn't. He don't know what Sonny yeah. is, and, and I, I don't know if he can be. Are you kidding me? Uh, so it's like, look at all the exposure <laughs> they doing with a dude that he thinks might not make it. That was his first impression. I'm sure. Dude? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure he's going to bite back Who's on that. that. I'm sure he's going to bite back on his words in the future. But at the end of the day, bro, like he Who's said that. that? Dude, though, because I I know I know that Top Rank and I would say Top Rank is very involved with Tyson Fury being in the WWE and Tyson Fury walking out fighters and Tyson Fury on all the podcasts that exist out there that put people in. Uh, in, in the spotlight, so I don't know who else Top Ranks is working with right now. They only working with one guy with me, and that guy is Tyson Fury. No, and look, man, that's why I like having you on the show. You the casual, so to you, you feel like the you know the the, the, the overwhelming press has only been for Tyson. Um, I feel differently. Obviously, I'm a hardcore, uh, and I'm saying. That it's a good time to be a fighter. I ain't say it's a good time for the fan. I'm saying it's a good time to be a fighter. They getting a lot of love. It's like I said, bro. I bumped into Joseph Adorno in my gym. Got the privilege to watch him spar. Had no clue who he was. The reason he stuck out like <laughs> Mike said was the hair. The fact that he's Puerto Rican with waves, because my, my son is on that shit, too, and I went through that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? So we have those big, fat waves, and it's rememberable. Uh, I, made, I made that word up. And uh, then his father, and ah, I didn't ask the father what happened, but I heard on TV there's a story, you know what I'm saying? But I seen the father in the gym. Our gym, y'all seen it on Border Wars. It's small, so, like, I'm sitting in them chairs changing. I'm, I'm right in the ring. Like, I could literally grab the rope from sitting in where I change at. So it's like... I seen all that, you know what I mean? And um, boom, he's on TV. And he's getting hella love. Like, they get in love, these Adorno brothers. That's insane and amazing, bro. That's amazing. Kanto getting love, you know? Michelle Rosado was able to... I thought it was a parade for him. It wasn't, which is even better because... I mean, not really even better. It's always better when the parade's actually for you. But, um... Listen, so what was that? The little car and the him on No, the it was it. a parade, but it wasn't for him, but he was part of it. So again, oh. credit credit Michelle Rosado that she um, you know, um, you know, got him on there, man. And 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 that's all I'm saying, like, bro, Wilder told you in his interview, and I I'm you know, it might sound like overwhelming Wilder quotes, but sometimes when you say shit, it it it, 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 it just uh it means something. So, you know, he said in in, in a current interview some shit like, "Oh, I won my my medal and I had to go back to, you know what what he what was the word he used like club level fights. Yeah, fighting in ballrooms like fighting in state fairs and shit like that. He won a medal. Last I checked, the Adornos ain't win shit. They on TV. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Is is a great time to be a fighter. Wilder, I wish Joe, I I wish Joseph I got Blanche to see. Joseph uh, won the same medal as Wilder. You see, he with AJ boxing fighting on the zone actively and probably gonna be on the AJ Ruiz card. So like 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 that said, like everybody. But you ain't... think he gets this? I don't think he. Yo, out of all the light heavyweights. He's like on that Hosha Burton level in terms of fame. 
Yeah, I mean, he, he ain't big yet, but he he, he coming. He and that, and that's coming. what I'm saying. The zone not do the zone not doing. Tiafimo is a star. Like we clamoring for Tiafimo versus anybody. Well, Backflips in the ring. He doing the whole. Yeah, showman. No, show me. no show me. yeah. I tell you, I tell you all the time. I tell you all the time. You gotta sell yourself. You're absolutely right. He's he's doing his part, but so is top rank. Yes. So is top rank. <laughs> Yo. Listen, he in the final top, top, top rank shit. knows how to move he, the pawns he around. He's in a title man. fight, you know what I'm saying? So he definitely doing the thing. But, but at, uh, but at 12 of, uh, and 0, boxing. though, at 12 and 0 or 14 and 0, whatever he is, more yeah. people, um, more people know about um, Tiafimo than than you would expect. Is all I'm saying. Absolutely. Uh, but moving on to the match room, the zone side, Scott Sports Card, Lewis Rissen gets unanimous decision over Robbie Davis Jr. I, didn't, I I was like I thought Robbie Davis was the one that was pushing the pressure and landing the the more effective shot. I, I know. I thought uh, I was blind. I promise okay. you, I thought the same. Th I'm like, okay. But then again, you know how I do when I'm watching it's these close, dudes. Yeah. I'm like on my laptop and looking at the TV. So I'm like, bro, I thought the other dude was winning, and then it was like Riston gets the win. I'm like, I'm okay. Like, Whoa. And it had to do with the, the the crowd. It had to do. Even he said it. Oh like, uh, yeah, it was a hometown. Yeah. It, 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 was, it, it was a hometown fight for uh, for Rissen or or a favorable. I was not Rissen impressed crowd. with him, bro. Hell I mean, of a, I, hell of a fight though. I, I right. thought he was getting beat up. I don't know what he happened. He was getting beat up. I, so judging, I I was, judging, right? Because again, yeah, I, the, I wasn't sure. I wasn't coming in here calling it a robbery because, like I said, I didn't pay. I, like I watched Better Beef and and, and Vazdek start to finish. Without yeah, yeah. without a blink. Twice. Um Robbie and um, you know, that shit was like one eye I was like one eye on them, one eye on other things. Listen, I missed the better beef and the uh, Vaznik fight, man. Like I was trying to start I was starting to say ESPN plus play me. I logged in on my phone, usually tied into my television, and the shit started asking me for passwords. I don't know if it's because I uh, upgraded to um, Catalina, but it just got crazy. I missed, I missed all. So the what? Fights. You didn't know your password? Lazo. Nah, I don't. So you didn't do password. forgot password? I did everything. I put my phone number in. You know, I'm recently a D I V O R S E, and um. You know, I uh, you put my phone number in. It was giving me the other Xfinity. I think I had FiOS over here where <laughs> I live. It was just crazy for me. Damn. You know yeah, so man, what you uh, did? You I opened up a new account? Robert, so. There was so a phone move, right, Mike? I saw one or not. Oh, so like, you ended yeah, up. Yeah, the fight was competitive. Like, start to finish. Like, it was a close, like, mid-range kind of fight where both guys were in range and both guys were trading actively. But at some point, I was like, damn. Somebody gonna go knock each other down because the way you guys are exchanging and the shit that's landing should be enough to get your opponent on the ground. But I guess evidently that the guys didn't have enough power. It, it, uh, it, uh, Eddie said that Davis Jr. is supposed to be moving up to 147, so maybe the weight could have had a lot to do with him not having power. But Richardson, fight to fight, he he ain't been the Sandman, and I don't know how long he moved <laughs> up from from 135. He's still not getting the. The, the knockouts, in my opinion, he got a favorable hometown decision, and uh, it was for a, a eliminator for the w, WBA. So I guess he's gonna fight somebody else for the final eliminator. So Colazzo or loss. Yeah, Colazzo loss. We, yeah. we we already moved past that. He got he got hit, but bad cut over the eye. My man, but, uh, super Ritson, late. But Richard, man, yeah, man, I don't know where he goes from here. I don't <laughs> think he's gonna be a world challenger or. A world contender, or even maybe a a European contender. Yo, at Yo. least Colazzo's still bringing in the casuals and shit. Yeah, man, Colazzo, <laughs> hey, bro, I was excited because this is my first time actually like seeing Colazzo fight. So, and uh, I could see why why Thurman had had a problem with those body shots. So I can imagine a Colazzo about five years ago, and the body attack was probably more more vicious than, than it was last night. And I always repeat myself, Colazzo also stopped Victor Ortiz. You know that, right, Mike? Oh yeah. wow. I ain't know that. Yeah, see, there you go. See, see the see the casuals Cash the show me some. I appreciate it. Ooh, but uh, Scott Fitzgerald moving casual. right on uh gets the U D over Ted Cheese. Yo, Cheeseman, I, man. Yo. He who, who looked, was that guy? He looked a little bit good, man. Who was that guy? Yeah, yeah. yo. What happened though? Like 
I'm gonna be you were honest. On cheese, man, last time. I didn't like, watch this. <laughs> I didn't watch this entirely. I seen him beating the shit out of Fitzgerald. Wait, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, first four rounds it was all uh, cheese. No, I, I think moving I think well, bro. He was boxing yeah. nice. Yeah, but I think since from then I had uh, Fitzgerald pretty much figuring out what she's want to do and she even slowed down a little bit. And Fitzgerald was just getting getting the cleaner, more effective punches late in the fight, and I think that's what swung it. But Terry Chisholm came out and said he felt like he was robbed. Uh, the, the the judges need to be held accountable. And uh, he, think, he, he thinking about the sport now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he, he considered <laughs> like what he want to do. But we all, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you though, you box good. You left a good impression on that on that uh, British crowd. So go ahead and build off that. You know what I'm saying? You can you can motherfucking bake a robbery. You know what I'm saying? You can campaign a robbery until another uh, another big fight. Yeah, man. Um, I really watched this call for Bacoli. There we go. And Marshall. Really? Savannah Marshall. Yep, me too. Um, I didn't. Y'all watched it for Martin Bacoli. I, I, yeah, I, man, he heavyweight. He heavyweight. I, yeah, but I never, I never heard of this guy until this fight. Man. I mean, he he, he lost <laughs> to Michael Hunter. He lost to Michael Hunter, and I'm just trying to see the comeback trail and what kind of. Tra- but then he beat Chazora too. Be huh? Then, then he beat Chazora. No, nah, he ain't beat Chazora. Who's who's the dude that beat Chazora? That's a uh, Ajay Campbell. Oh damn! He he just signed with Top Rank. Matter of fact. Damn, so I watched this dude for no reason. Yeah, this no, I mean, Bacoli's a good guy to watch. I mean, he's a... Bro, man, a cut, bro. cut it out, I mean, bro. My man... He's going to be a world beater. He ain't going to be a world... Yo, you know what's funny, though? Martin Bacoli... He, he ain't even a state beater. Come on, man. Yo, but yo. At the end of the day... Yo, wait, wait, these wait. These are the kind of guys that get the the, the voluntary comeback sh- uh, title shots from, from an injury or from a yeah. from a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? You, these are, kind of, are, 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 are the kind of guys that get... The uh the big fights, you know what I'm saying? And he's gonna be one of those guys. Yo, good, so good. the thing you about see him, you point. see him as like a Carlos Takam then? Sort of a guy that kind of uh, he'll be lucky if he makes it to that level. I don't Yeah, but you I just him, say he's I, that guy. He ain't I, ain't gonna, I see him I see him like a Joe Washington. You, you get a title shot, you, you get beat up and you you have a career. Yeah, you know Mike, that might Mike, that might be disrespectful for Gerald Washington. So if he see you, he might roll up. I roll up too. <laughs> <laughs> Mike gave Shay said I roll up too. <laughs> Double on the hundred, no, that's all me. Yo, it's crazy. I mean, I, I, it's not my fault you got knocked out by Wilder and 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 Kornaki, but I did pick you and one money off of you when you beat Helena. So I'm not dumb. Yeah, yeah. that's that's true. I'm, I'm just I, I'm get it though, Mike. You know, yo. Sort, sort so of, sort of Bac- can I talk about Bacoli, man? And he a little stiff, man, and straight up like a motherfucker. Cheers, Mike. This fight, this fight was fought at his pace too, man. Um, this didn't really show me nothing. I think we talked about another fight on this, on this day that didn't really teach me anything, and I don't think I learned anything at all about Bacoli. Um, you know, I feel like he was changing the speed a lot, which was showing signs of intelligence. I think he was, you know. Tap in um, that, the kingpin whenever he not could. Not cutting you off. Not cutting you off. Now, but just you did. Continue what you were saying, just real quick. I know the um, the movements you're talking about, the pivoting to the side and shit. But like, how much credit are you gonna give him, knowing that my man Kevin was just standing there? Oh uh, yeah, eight days notice. But that's what Kevin does. He he goes to the ropes a lot and chills on the ropes and then throws and shit. But he's not very active in any of, of his fights. So he's the guy that's pretty much. Dare to be beat. The mandatory guy you fight on the way up for all up and coming fighters. Yeah. All of them. Go ahead. And, and, I mean, I was just saying. And it's he over was... for him. I mean, I mean, now he's being stopped by Bacoli. Like, this was yeah, a dude darn, that was durable yeah. that nobody could stop him. Only Joshua has stopped him. Like, you know. And now, one of the guys stopped him too, besides Joshua. I don't know who And he's who. very, he, he just threw very little. I mean, he literally, you know, uh, probably retired in front of us. Uh, bro, his shorts at Asbury Park. Is he from Jersey, man? I mean, y'all, y'all produce them, bro. Is like, there Jersey another? Is there another? Is there another? Probably no, Asbury. I think so, man. There's Asbury's everywhere. There's Where? all t- all types of shit. Of, uh, speaking of um, people on the come up, 
Savannah Marshall, man, she is. I mean, she big as she hell. She a problem. She a problem. That's She's a tall. Girl. She's tall, bro. I, I text my coach. I'm like, yo, yo not- Savannah. Go ahead. I was gonna say not to rewind things, but did Arthur Better be Better be look like he can be competitive? Man, Better be the beast. What you mean? Did he look like he could be competitive? I meant like, could he look like he could battle whoever's in that division? Yeah, top top guy of that division. That's like, what they calling uh, him now. That's what they calling him. Okay, well that's me. I'm just I'm just asking because uh, I missed the fight. ESPN Plus, thank you. Um, I'm just curious. Out the better be if I picked him. And uh, I just want to know what he looked like. I was dying to see uh, the fight. According to Mike and him, he looked like a beast. Yeah, man, he's going to be a problem for anybody in the 175-pound division. Oh, I man. favor him over Canelo Kovalev winner. The b fight, I'm kind of on the fence because I am a B-Bo fan, I, I must admit. But uh, I, I think that would be a close competitive fight. Maybe better be his power might get to b at the end. You know what I'm saying? But we we all seen better be on the ground, and I'm sure if Bebo connects on one of those punches, he's gonna put better be down too. Do me, Mike just said he favors better be on the winner of Kovalev Canelo fight. Easy. That mean that means that you would say if Canelo wins Kovalev, better be is a possibility opponent, and you will put your no, money he, on better. No, Beef. he's not. Canelo's not no, no, look no. That Hypothetically, way. you will put your money on Better Beef. Man, I, boy, hell yeah. Yeah, Based man. off of his performance against... Based off the name? motherfucker can hit like a mule. Mm. And he has good boxing fundamentals. Kaz, you, so, you need to go watch it. You need to go watch it. I don't know what I'm you're going trying to do. Not, and I'm Canelo's watch not it. a natural 175-pounder. But... Look, but we but can't. Gonna we we gotta go forward. We gotta go forward. We can't go backwards, yeah. champ. No, but can Savannah I be Marshall. that student? Can I be that Savannah student? Marshall. You late. You late. You like, late. Student, you late. We don't go back. He said you late for you late. We don't go back. We don't go backwards. We don't go backwards with the two, with the curriculum. We go forward. We are gonna teach you about Savannah Marshall now. I can't prepare for my exam. We got to Canelo fight overlap. Nah, we're gonna go man. back to the questions nah. you missed, and we're going to teach you going about to Savannah, Savannah Marshall. Marshall. You can, you right can prepare now. for Savannah you can prepare for the hundred and sixty eight pounds Savannah Marshall. That's what you about to prepare. The last lady for. to beat. The girl she guy. is the last person to beat. Uh, man, fucking, uh, stop saying that whack shit, man. She got to win in the amateurs, bro. Like last one to beat her, bro. They win. clout chasing, man. They that's clout the, chasing. That's what you do. That that's what you build off of. You build off somebody else's success. Somebody she ain't else even doing you that. She ain't even doing that, man. She ain't even doing that. That's everybody else. That's everybody like you. Oh, last one, last one, last one, last one to yeah. beat. Last it one to beat. Good. That shit, bro, man. It, may, it makes for a good fight, my bro. You know what I mean? I you mean, got we'll somebody. Bro, 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 how, how many fights Clarissa Shields got? How many fights Clarissa Shields got? Now we talking about Savannah and Clarissa Shields. No, nah, but honestly, we seen uh, Clarissa and Christina and thought it was going to be a good fight. And we and we seen how Clarissa demolished Christina easily. Ten rounds. Yo, Clarissa's preparing for MMA, I heard. Nah, I don't know she's doing all that. But yeah, uh, she that got a fight coming. I know. Uh, I think the Hannah Ranker fight gonna get not not Hannah Ranker, but, but what's the girl name? Or if she's fighting, gonna get rescheduled. But yeah, man, Savannah Marshall, man, she got the TKO. The the girl she was fighting was over overmatched, overwhelmed, and just not on the level to even compete with Savannah, in my opinion. So uh, she got a, another TKO stoppage, and uh, yeah, she moves on from here. Hell no, man, she wasn't on that level. How'd you guys feel about the ref allowing that to continue so damn Doomy, long? I mean, just she- grab that mic and just have it in your fucking grab hand. Grab that mic. All right. Uh, you look, there you go, Tyson. How do you go, like Fury? That. You feel me? How you you like- got the mic in your hand now. You ain't got to bend down. You It's in your hand now. You can stand up. My man like... <laughs> <laughs> he got yeah. the lean on. <laughs> got, me, got me leaning leaning down and shit. Nah, listen, put the, man. Put the listen. mic by your mouth. Listen, I'm doing it. I'm doing it rap style right now. Right? Yeah, you sound T-T-Pain. way better. I'm we hear you now. Doing a T Pain style, but now you nah. should know be you should know beat me, and I lost my my thought. 
Um, oh, damn. Yeah, what that's that's all casuals doing today. Cash, stop interrupting because you ain't adding shit. When you talk about I, something, make it count, baby. Come on. Make it I count. Said it count yeah, Ca- but okay. What's up? What's Savannah up with Savannah Marshall? Marshall? We trying to talk about yeah. Savannah Marshall. Okay, this yeah, fight was important to us. Like you, you the, see, we trying to talk about it. You don't know about it. Sit the fuck back and learn, champ. You gonna learn. It's important yeah. to you too. This is a possible bo- opponent for Shadeja Green. Yeah, if you sit I'm, down, I'm, I'm, if you sit down and learn, you are gonna be like, oh shit. See, now I can ask son. I know Shadeja, but you ain't letting us get there. Yeah, you made. Ocean days in there. I'm, I'm like, who is that? Y'all just like, yo, she did. did blah, 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 blah. Okay. How I'm can quiet. we throw Shadeja mm-hmm. in there if you talking, champ? You got all to, saying, you got yeah, to relax. All I, all I was trying to say, uh, Kaz, is that you know Ashley Curry, which was Savannah Marshall's opponent in this bout, um, she, she, she was taking a beat in at times, and I felt like the referee should have stopped it. But, um, how did you guys feel about that? You know, since we're stopped. dealing with. <laughs> No, like, there was times when she was just with her guard up, bro, and she received more than, like, 12, 14 unanswered punches. It was it really? was crazy. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm not even being sarcastic. Like, I don't remember that. Uh, but that's that's probably just because, like, you know, the <laughs> opponent, man. You know, it's it's, it's sad, man, that uh, women's boxing, dude, uh, shout out to women's boxing, though. It's a good time to be in women's boxing. Y'all getting so much coverage. I remember it was nothing like this, like nothing. But now that the light is yeah, being. On. Just from my perspective, all this shit just seems normal. Enough. So I, I know Ness says back in the day, but like since I've been watching boxing, this is what I've been getting, bro. I've been watching boxing about 2016, 2015, somewhere around that area. And I've been getting, like, boxing, like, every weekend, seeing women on TV, seeing champions fight champions, you know what I'm saying? So it's a great time to be a boxing fan just coming in as well as a long-time fan. That's why you're not bitter because you ain't go through the shit that we went through. Like, we know so much. We don't trust Bob. We don't trust Oscar. Like, you know, we... we, we you know, but things are changing. I'm here to tell you things are changing. That being said, um, there was once upon a time when, uh, you know, Savannah Marshall, I mean, we wouldn't even be seeing this, and we are. The problem with this is that there is no in-between. Go ahead, Enrique. Yeah, Professor, I just want to ask a question. I know I came late and all that. You said Savannah Marshall... Mike said, yo, I came in 2015, and this is all I know, woman and woman and woman. I came from the Mike Tyson era when there was only one girl, Christina Martin. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. It might have been Christine yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah, Christine it, Martin, right. I think, yeah. Something like that. And she was like this white lady beating everybody up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I always was like, yo, Becky from 3B will bust her ass just based off of looks. And now we got Clarissa Shields. And now we got, I don't even know what Savannah Savannah looks like. But I always base, like, a winner off of how grit they look. Like, how, where they come from looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, could walk, you could walk in a barbershop or walk into a bar or a club and be like, yo, I ain't messing with that person. They look like they packing. And that's what Christina Martin did not look like. You know what I'm saying? And you would judge um, Ali's daughter. What's her name? Aliyah? Layla. 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 Layla Lai. Layla Lai. Am I right? Am I wrong? It's Ali, man. (laughs) He said Layla Lai. Oh, Oh, Ali. I rhymed. Yo, how you you ain't get that right, bro? It's like Muhammad Ali. It's never been Muhammad Lai. You can't. You judged the awful pedigree, champ. And then, you know, Clarissa Shields, you judge her off of, like, her background. She don't got no pedigree, at least as far as I know. They ain't promoting it like, yo, her mom's a fighter and all that other stuff. Just like Ann Wolf, She's a beast. She's a monster. So my point is that, yes, women boxing right now, they showing up. Them girls that fight 
are showing up. Amanda Serrato, right? Is that I'm saying her name right? Yeah, she's Serrano? mad though. She's going on on some MMA status right now because uh, you know apparently women are getting more attention out there in MMA. Ain't no fights for her though. Nobody, there ain't no fights for her. Supposed to be, uh, supposed to be uh, Katie Taylor, but we'll see how that plays out. Last I mean, she's saying they keeping Katie away from her. Yeah, I, I wasn't even nowhere near done. I'm sorry, man. I mean, you know, Kaz is. Kaz, yeah, I, so I, he asked I me. I raised my hand. Yeah, I but, raised my but you hand. Had, you, 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 you made, made zero points. Like, <laughs> you, you, you went yeah, around man, talking about every man, other woman fighter besides. Yeah, besides Savannah Marshall, Marshall, man. Like, just, because I beat it down. I had to, I had right, to so give let's you break, back. Just, let's just, break it down for Kaz. Just for sit Cash. down, man, and like let us talk about Savannah. What is Savannah Marshall? Damn. What is Savannah, what is Savannah Marshall bringing it, bring it to the table against the likes of Clarissa Shield? Because we're talking about this already. Apparently, this is going to be a built up fight for the future. She not what ready she for bringing? Clarissa. She not ready for Clarissa. How about her style? Nick? She causes problems for Clarissa for sure. Right now, right now, she causes problems her height, her 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 her, her reach. And the fact the way she switches. Sometimes she switches to Southpaw just to cut Deep the distance. That, right? Hell yeah, I peeped it. So real quick, so real quick, that's now that you and see maybe, a lot and of maybe, fighters. And maybe her power too, Doomy. Remember, um, this could be good matchmaking. This could be the fact that she got a real promoter. Or this could be real power. I don't know. I don't I know think, yet. I, I think she's rangy. I think that that jab that comes from the from the hip. From from the downstairs, from the knee, it's a you know anybody that knows about boxing uh, and coaching knows that that jab from the knee, you know where you got it low, it's harder to it's harder to see those jabs coming than the ones from the straight guard. I really like that about her, and she can get away with that because she has the length. Um, I really think that uh, you know the only way that that, that Clarissa Shield guarantees that win and against uh, her style is just overwhelming aggression. Um, that's what Clarissa Shield has over all these other girls, man, is that overwhelming aggression. Uh, Savannah Marshall still, to me, can present many problems with that jab alone if she uses it right. Um, but if Clarissa Shield does that, you know, usual aggressive boxing, I don't know if she, um, if she can hang in there with, with the likes of Clarissa, man. Yeah, man, um... 168 pound division. I watched some interviews that she did, and she says that she can get down to 160 to make the fight with uh, Clarissa. So I'm I'm glad to see that she understands she's the B side. Um, so she's gonna get to Clarissa's weight. Secondly, everyone's pushing Clarissa at her. She's not really trying to do that. Like. I watched an interview and they like Clarissa, Clarissa. And she's like, well, I could fight Clarissa next. I could box her next. And what's that going to do for me? She said. And I don't Boy. know. I don't know if that's a cultural difference that I, that shit went over my head. That means she ain't ready right now. That, 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 that's all I mean. That means she ain't ready right now. And she, and she understands the fact that she ain't ready right now. She probably oh, needs okay. some more rounds under her belt before she get into a fight with Carissa because getting into yeah. a fight with Carissa right now would probably put you in a position where you're going to lose. And what does that do for you Like, like as far as your career, though, besides set you back? Let's keep building up and build up to that fight. Makes more sense until I get a little bit more season on my chicken. Then we can go in and say have a little more fucking buffet. Yeah, Mike I, said he wants the sauce on the chicken. Mike, I, how many how many of our fights have you seen? Can I raise my hand? This is like the third one, I believe. All so, of them been stoppages. So I, I, I want to ask you because, like, you know, I can I say I can say Kanto. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Hear me out, hear me out. I can say Kanto got power with the dude he knocked out yesterday. But watching the fight, I know that wasn't a real knockout. That dude didn't want to be there. So I'm asking you. Do you believe her power is real or is this great matchmaking? Because, uh, you know, some of these fights not even a star on, on, on um, you know, box rec. And the ones that have a star are only one. And I know, I know that's the issue. That's where I started. That Enrique didn't let me get to. It's like, you got the top. Clarissa, Savannah, you know, uh, what's her name? Francois Cruz, Alicia Napoleon. You got the top. And then there's a huge drop off to this. Aaliyah Curry, like the poor lady, I felt so bad for her, man. Like, too, yo, yo, the the, the, the bell didn't even ring, though. The bell nah. didn't even ring, 
and the fucking C on her name was already falling off her 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 waist, and her trainer had to come and take it off, and he tried to snatch it really quick and and throw it out the ring, and 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 her name was Uri for the rest of the fight. Her name was Uri, man, and that's Sad. fucked up, man. Sad. So, that's wait, fucked up, man. Y'all said two things. I'm, I'm a casual fan, and I don't want to interrupt and be all over the place, but I'm still gathering information. Y'all talking about Savannah. That nigga said I'm Uri for the fight. Yeah, I, I looked at Savannah's picture, and I'm like, of course she ain't ready. Like I said. What? Of Yo. Based on the picture. <laughs> my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy take it off. Look at the picture. And the Bruh. Ice. Bruh, Bruh you know how pretty? much taller she is in Ranger? You don't know the picture? Ah, man, she look chubby. She don't look like chubby? a fighter. Who Bro, chubby? She a Bro, go, like, watch she, a she go watch a video. Go watch a Enrique, Enrique. I, I, I go, Enrique. A... Go watch a video. You can't call someone chubby with a headshot. <laughs> okay. Nah, Bro. you can't. But what I'm saying is Clarissa Shields, I've seen fights of Clarissa Shields. I have seen them. And I have seen her work ethic. And I have seen the the moves and the fights and the poses and all that stuff that she does that when you take a picture of her fighting, it looks perfect. Right? So we can real quick. We got a super chat from wait, Ron. Wait, 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 let me finish, no. man. Stop, it's a, man. It's a super chat from a fan about Clarissa Shields. Okay, well, let me her. finish. Let me finish because you're going to lose my thought and then the super chat can come in. So when y'all say Arthur Betterbeev could be favorite against Canelo and Kovalev, right, the winner of that fight, I'm like, how? You know what I'm saying? Just just like I talk about Savannah, it's saying she not ready or what does Clarissa have for her? I'm like, she don't have shit. She have bro, but experience. you basing it off of fucking looks, man. Oh, I'm basing it off experience and look. What you mean? Oh, she no, got she got I, eight I, I, fights. Ness, 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 he's right. Ness, Ness, he's right. He's right. He's right. <laughs> we got some chat from Rod and they said, uh, me off with that. Is he's right? Nah, the, nah, man, he, you, no, don't come with me. You got with. your perspective. He, in your perspective, in, in, in your own perspective, you think why, you're right. I, so you're right. Oh, I'm not thinking I'm right. You could say, yo, you wrong because because you basing it on look. You're wrong, you wrong We're because, first of all, she beat her. Be the Canelo. No, We're trying to stay I, on some... I'm saying I'm comparing the two. You said you... What kind of comparison are you doing? One is a unified girl. champion, and Savannah Marshall just not coming up. There's I, no comparison. Mike, True. Michael... Ross, now, you just said you favorite better be over the winner of Canelo. Those are champions. Those are champions. They all Savannah champions. Savannah Marshall nowhere near being a champion yet. And she's exactly. Been, she, but, look, she's been I'm been, just saying, I don't think that she can't be even be compared to a, a Clarissa Shield opponent. But you basing Cash. it off of nothing. No, no, no but, but look, listen, Cash, look. Who who has Savannah Marshall faced right now in order for us oh, to say she, she, that she's ready at a professional level for for uh, Clarissa Shields? All right, you look at her resume; it doesn't look like much. We understand what you're saying with that. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is propaganda. She ain't. Bro, I love nobody. Savannah Marshall too. She, she she a damn good fighter. But can we get to this Charlo shit? Nah, man, I'm not fucking done. This small fucking bro. Like I'm not done. I'm not done, man. I'm not done, and I'm not going to move on. That's the problem with boxing, man. Like, give these women the, 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 the time, and I got a personal investment in this division, and I'm going to fucking talk about it. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Talk about it. Because right now, I know two fighters. Clarissa Shields. My nigga, you only know two because you don't watch no fucking fights. And you won't so, listen. If you listened, you would know I'm more. We, we trying to give talk my... to teach you more. Let us so talk. check it, Ness. And what I'm you my what, point of view? That's what all. you were saying. What you were saying earlier. We was trying to see where where does she measure up right now in her current uh, resume, right? Who and um uh Savannah, right? She's she's gone to she, she's gone to unanimous decision with two fighters. So I went out and checked Yanina Orozco because she was the the best one in her resume according to uh, uh the record. Um, I took a look at the fight. And, uh, I mean, I still can't even put Yanina Orozco at, at, you know, nowhere near a level of a, of a Clarissa Shields. So, I think Savannah needs to fight some uh, some hard competition before we start giving her the credibility that she uh, she maybe wants to garner as a professional. I mean, her amateurs, you know, she's 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 done very well for herself. But um, we, all, we all know 
we all know the pro level is a different monster, and we still got to we got to see that next level opponent, man. We 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 we, we got to find we got to find out who that next level Thank opponent is going to be. All right, SP, good, good, good. So Thank check it out. Super chat. Thank Hello, you for guys, super chat. We got a way. super chat from Ryan A seven zero. She is training for MMA. She released training footage talking about Chris Shields. Yeah, yes, but wasn't it wasn't that footage she released fucking body slamming Holly Berry? That shit don't count. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> nah, nah, Nobody, but but she could, yeah, but she I, could. I she, body slam she, Holly, Holly Berry. Uh, Pacquiao, yeah, she, she Enrique, Enrique, Enrique. I don't know if it's the internet or the settings, RDT, but when you yell, we not hearing you. I don't know if you got the noise cancellation. Oh, look, he got mad. He probably thought I was talking about him just cutting us off. Uh, but, yeah, I think he got the noise cancellation on Skype on, so when he raises his voice, we can't really hear him. That being said, I don't believe Savannah's ready for uh, Clarissa Shields yet either, do me. Um, the issue is that there's a huge drop-off. If you look, you got Franchon Cruz. She's the number one on box rack. She's unified. Uh, in that division, she just beat Maria C Maricela Cornejo, um, who's just really a a name in the division, you know. Um, and Cornejo, right? yeah, Cornejo is is a name in the division. Uh, this other female here, uh, Eline, uh, is it Eline? Yes, Eline. Cedero, so something. She's the IBF champ, right? Cedero? Yeah, vacant IBF. She won her last fight. So this girl right here is a victim. Look at this resume. One and one. One and five. Five and six. This is her first tough fight right there. Uh, three and 24. One and eight. Nine and two, right? Um, now, this girl uh, that she fought, that uh, you know, this is a top top super middleweight though that she got for the vacant i believe herman's right let me see go back to the yep herman's is number five so savannah needs to fight maybe this girl herman's i would love her to fight my girl but i know my girl ain't ready after watching savannah yesterday i'm just being real i i i sent the fight to terrific and um I hope Shadeja watched it. Shadeja's number seven. Savannah's number six. Um, Shadeja's also number seven in uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, um, excuse me. She's also number four in the W in the IBO. Savannah's number three. But that's because of what I'm saying. There's no drop. There's a big drop off. There's no in between. Like we talking about champions, and then two and oh, three and oh prospects. Franchon Cruz was a WBC champ at four. And 0 and 1. You know what I mean? So with five fights since, she already became a WBC. Now she got six fights, or excuse me, seven fights. She's the unified. So you are in a rush in this division. Now look, look how shit is. The girl that Shadeza just fought is number eight on Botrek in the world. And that's what I'm saying about Shadeza. She took a huge leap up in competition, not on television. Not on right. television. But she put herself in position, but I don't want her to take it. They're going to offer her a shot. Listening to Savannah Marshall's interview, she is going to get a title shot next year. And we see that DAZN is doing a lot of business with the IBO all of a sudden. You heard the president on here telling you he and Eddie have, are building a relationship. I think they're going to go for that IBO title because her trainer is... Peter Fury, and he don't want her to go down. He want to get a title shot up there versus one of the champions up here. And let me tell you, maybe Savannah Marshall's ready for Franchon Cruz. Franchon Cruz is very wild. I ain't going to take the dog away from her. She's from that DMV area. Maybe I'm not seeing everything someone is going to see, but I think she's wild. I think Savannah could get in, in, the, in, in, the, in between that, right down the middle. And... Um, I'm not saying she could win right now, but I'm saying, she, if anything, she should put her, her targets on the IBF champ, Ilin Cederos, or whatever. I, I don't know. Do me help me out with that? Because that ain't even Spanish. Cereduros? I don't know. And if not, you know, 
Maybe uh, Maricela Conejo, because Conejo got a name in the division. You know, plus is a common opponent. Um, this is all super middleweight, right? All super middleweight. All super middleweight. I, I'm, I got I got Emma Coz in the, in the WBA rankings. Um, I I don't think I've ever seen her fight. Me neither. She looks, she looks tough. She's uh, undefeated. Um, I I mean I just, I'm going through her resume. First fight debuted for her and her opponent, and then she had a, a, a diet of two more debuters. But again, the women's division is what it is, man. It, it, it's hard to tell. Some of these women, like, we might not even know their names. Like, only reason I know Hernandez, look, look at, she fought Hernandez twice. That's who Shadeja fought. She, yeah. she got a draw. This is what I'm telling you. Like, the division is so thin, and Hernandez was such a huge step. But even with that leap that Shadeja did, she not ready for Savannah. Savannah has a very awkward, peculiar style, man. That shit is nice, too, man. The way she cuts distance. Yo, Mike, I don't know if you watched it, but she cuts distance switching a south pole. So as yeah, what she, you be knocking me for. As she's taking... My man, because your coach told you stop changing. Man, fuck you talking up. about? Yeah, I, exactly. Oh, boxing is evolving. Yo, and you, yo, and you yo, yo hey, do me. Hey, do I mean, hey, 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 Mike, he's like, yo, man, I need a, I need a trainer, man. I need a trainer to tell me when I'm doing shit. I need a, yo, man, I need a trainer. Then the trainer tells you what he's doing wrong, and he want to do his own thing. Poor shit. Go figure. But anyway, Savannah, you know, she'll shoot the jab, shoot the left jab. Then all of a sudden, you trying to get out on the right. She fucking takes that right step forward and the right jab. Bang. Pegs you. She's long. She's going to be a problem. Um, like I said, I like that she's down to earth. She ain't in no rush at all. Uh, and I like that Peter Fury is her trainer. He's going to keep her at 168 um, before they get down. And look, uh, Clarissa got a lot of shit on her plate. You know what I mean? Uh, Savannah got to make her name, you know, a little more popping. Even she was surprised with the reception she got in Newcastle. She didn't even know. She was like, apparently, I'm a draw in Newcastle. Um, but she's a good a good person, man. I like. I, she looks in shape, too. She looks in shape. There's no fat on that body. She looks like she's a fighter fighter for real. Uh, you can see that Peter Fury style in her, though, right? Like, hands down, switching from left to right, and using the jab a lot. I was, I was impressed, man. I was impressed. Um, again, no need for her to rush. I said my bit. That's that. Yo, but look at look at the big ass. Let me go back to this box wreck and show you. Look at the jumping points. Franchon Cruz almost at four thousand, and whoever Alejandra Jimenez is is at three thousand two hundred. Look at the drop off, bro. Porsche Days is only at like four hundred and twenty nine. Savannah is at seven twenty nine. That's crazy. Yo, yo, if you listen right now on YouTube, do me a favor and go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. It helps with the visibility of the show. If you want to go one step farther, head over to the boxingpoints.com slash affiliate sponsors and click on that Amazon link. Bookmark that link, save that link, and do all your holiday shopping. I'm talking about Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, through our Amazon link. It costs you nothing extra, but we do get a little kickback every time you use that link. All right, Mike, we here. It's on you, man. This is going to be a long show. All right, Charlo, show. man. Damn. Jamal Charlo did, a, did, did like a little media scrum where he talked about Canelo, talked about fighting Golovkin, talked, t talked about uh, Demetrius Andre would be our fight, that he would love to fight uh, Jaime Magia, uh, why he's fighting Dennis Hogan. But what stood out to me was he said that Demetrius Andre was chinny and told Eddie Hearn, hey, man, call me. I'm down for a, a one-day contract, meaning, you know what I'm saying, I'm down for a one-fight deal on the zone if they're interested. And I, I, I think it's a good look to try to extend that other branch. And maybe he has been listening to some of these shows and he, he realized he's not getting the big fights. But at the same time, is Gennady Golovkin or Demetrius Andre really, really going to want to fight uh, Jamal Charlo if he comes over to the zone? I think it, it falls on Eddie Hearn's hands. And it it, it kind of falls on Al Heyman, too. Like, you've delivered for Danny Jacobs getting the big fight with Canelo. Got the big fight for Wilder with uh with uh, Fury uh, Ortiz, too. You know what I'm saying? Joshua possibly down the road. Earl Spence has had an age vacation 
when is it going to be time for J Jamal Charlo to get his big statement fight to really, really thrust him into that superstardom, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I believe in Jamal. I think that he can beat, you know what I'm saying, Gennady. Um, him, and, him and Andre is going to be a tough, tough fight. That's going to be a fight with high skill, high, uh, high... Where you, Mike, where do you think he got this chinny thing from, though? Like, we haven't seen Andrade really get knocked out or anything Yeah, we like seen that. him get knocked down by, I believe, uh, Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson. Who knocked him down? A few people put him down. Yeah, put him down? Knocked, like, knocked down in a real fight or a sparring? No. Not a real fight. A real fight. Put him down. Mm. And I, I think what he's banking on, I'm saying he has that strong jab and, and he has the power that so we see him knock out um, Julian Williams and Sebastian and all those other guys. But he hasn't had a knockout his last two fights, don't I'm saying? Looking at uh, Brandon Adams. And who he fight for, for Brandon Adams? Alantez sure. Fox. Put yep. Andre down in the seventh. Yeah, he did. Yep, absolutely. Dante Fox. The reason I'm saying is because, look, man, you got guys to get hit, and, um, you know, as they're coming back up, they on Bambi legs. And then you guys to get caught because this is a fight. They're saying caught, and, put and, and, down then, too. and then you come up, and you still got your bearings about you. I mean, I mean, there's yeah, guys that Von take a knockdown. Put them down in the first guys round. that take it bad. Yeah, Vanez put him, put him down, down in the first round, and Vanez don't got no power, and Alantes Fox don't got no power. First round uh, knockdowns, you know, you get caught cold, man. You um, you usually go down. You got to heat up a little bit, you know what I mean, to I be mean, able to take certain shots. You know, Alantes was in the seventh round, man. Yeah, but I like what I'm saying from uh, Jamal, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, what What is that? What are you seeing? Making public statements, you know what I'm saying? Let it be known that you want the big fights. And, like, really, if you're telling Eddie Hearn to call you, really to take the time out and if Eddie Hearn makes that call. Is he really telling him to, to call him, place. though? Yeah. Sit was down he... and put something in place like Danny Jacobs. If I sign to the zone or if I sign for a fight or two, then I need the Canelo fighter. I need the... the, uh, the um, a triple G fight. Like I need a big fight to try to solidify my name. And uh, at the end of the day, man, that's like what it's all about. Like these guys are gonna call for the big name because they're trying to come up. They're they're, they're trying to make their name. So at the end of the day, I like the Danny Jacobs idea. Uh, Danny Jacobs and Barclays Center. Him versus Danny Jacobs uh, on, on Showtime. Showtime. Like he said, I mean, but it is what it is. That's what I'm uh, saying. Like. Are you here to like pump up Charlo or are you here to tell the truth? Like you gonna tell, tell me you gonna tell me you ain't watched the fight hype interviews with our boy Ron? Mm hmm You gonna act like this call out is real? Like you didn't like or, or, or you gonna do what every other media dude is doing and run with the headline and not the context? I did run with the context what, what do you mean? I said the whole thing the Jackets bit. I've said everything that he said verbatim, I, I believe. I mean, but yeah, verbatim when he, when is the problem. He was telling That's you the problem. That he heard, was it regarding it to the Demetrius and Jody fight specifically? Or? I believe it, it was regarding to every fight over there on the zone. Mm, all right. Well, that doesn't seem like something solid. That means like, yo, I just need a fight. Uh, I'll fight some guy over there. Yeah. He, For, first he ain't of all, talking about give me Demetrius and Jody. Give him to me. I want to fight. Exactly. Him. exactly. Him, like, what else do you want the guy to say? You want to go on, on a I, rampage about it? Not, not a rampage, body? but make it solid. Don't tell... I, I, I can say that all the time. I'll fight him. Yeah, I'll fight him. I'll fight him. Now, nah, I want to fight him. I want to shut his mouth. He's talking too much. Thank That's you. That's different. That's different, my Totally man. different. Totally different from what we heard. What we heard... Right. What we heard was this. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Mike, Mike ain't going to tell you I mean, let's be real. I'm only, I'm only saying that shit. I'm only even entertaining it because y'all keep asking me the question. I don't even be thinking about that shit. In reference to the zone, okay, that is the context. Okay, so he ain't calling nobody out. He don't want no fight on the zone. People asking him in a question, and not only is he telling us, we don't even gotta assume no more. He's telling you like, bro, I'm only saying what you asking me, like. I'm not thinking about the zone. He literally said that. But everybody's running with this, oh, he called them out. Oh, he wants to go to the zone. First of all, he made up his own shit. I could fight on the zone on a one-day contract. And then here goes the backhand compliment that Mike don't tell you about. Psh, and I'll cancel it the next day. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's not a subscription. 
It's not a subscription. Were you canceling your subscription the next day after you fight? Or you canceling the contract? What the fuck is he talking about? And y'all running with this shit. I say everybody running with the fucking headline. Crazy, man. The shit y'all do is hilarious, bruh. For real. Yo, yo, my man out here straight capping. And niggas don't give a fuck. Why would they? Why would they? I got audio, but I'm going to wait because I know there's a bunch of little fanboys going to call him, so I'm going I'm to I'm play the audio. When he get mad at niggas, that's why I ain't go to New York for what? So him and his boys can run down on me again for asking the real questions? He mad at motherfuckers for asking him why you ain't fighting Jacob. Yo, don't ask me, bro. Don't ask me, bro. Ask him, bro. Ask him. What the fuck? Whose press conference is it? What you mean? Ask him. Meanwhile, I'll fight Daniel Jacobs on the Barclays Center in Showtime back where I'm... Oh, so you the A-side. So it ain't about going to the zone no more. You don't want no one-fight deal, so it depends who. So the real one-fight deal you want is with Canelo. What's the big fight you want? Everybody, come on, bro. Come on, bro. The fuck? You ask some dumb questions, bro. Everybody know I want Canelo. Oh, so that's the one-fight deal that you're talking about that you're going to sign, then cancel the next day? Let's stop, man. Let's stop with the shenanigans, man. Stop trying to paint this dude in a different light, bruh. Let's stop with the shenanigans, bruh. He told right. us on our face, no, I'm not done. I got hella smoke. <laughs> hella smoke. He told us on our face in camera, I been knew I was fighting this motherfucker. He told us he, the dude's a bum. He's just a number. He's number 30. He said he lost to Jaime. He said, I've been new before Canelo even signed his fight. I knew I was fighting Dennis Hogan. But you got the cheerleaders out here in full force. They, get, they in full force. Tattoos with Charlo's lines only on their fucking show, shoulders and everything. Pom-poms. Yo, give Charlo the fight with Canelo. Meanwhile, he, he already training for Dennis Hogan. <laughs> so we ain't know Canelo was going to try to fight Kovalev like a month before he, Kovalev fought Yard. Like we ain't know that the negotiations w w were going on and they broke down before the Yard fight. We didn't know that Yard had step aside money in place. So let, let, let's not play that game. Mike, can you please tie that in? I, I have no clue yeah, what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying I'm glad you lost too because I, I didn't know what you meant. You're saying that he knew that he was going to fight Dennis Hogan. I'm saying Canelo knew that he was going to fight Kovalev. He targeted Kovalev from a month before Kovalev fought Yard. They were having the negotiations. So apparently Canelo was off the table too. Absolutely. As normally it is for the A side. Like Pacquiao's off the table for Earl, right? It's until he chooses you. Okay. So you saying that he's going to fight Dennis Hogan. Like what does that have to do with, with, with anything? Because Canelo's off the table. I'm telling and you. And Gennady is going for a vacant title. Who who's left? Who, who who's left? Andre? Uh, Mike, I don't know what you thought you heard or what your argument is. My argument is, don't be lying to the people. You saying you want Canelo, but you saying you already knew who you was fighting before Canelo even signed. Before Canelo even fought, signed the fight, Kovalev, you knew. Bro, but before he signed, Canelo was still doing negotiations, so Canelo was off the table. Okay, you can't fight Canelo. Okay, but you so still, Hogan, but yes. you still actively asking for Canelo while knowing I want that fight. Okay, but you yeah, know who, you, but you he'll know who you fighting, right? But you know who you fighting. Everybody knows they're fighting. So, so are you telling me that? He was still asking for it in hopes of canceling the Hogan fight? No, 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 no. What, what I'm saying so is So then the why Hogan was the Hogan fight, fight a probably, secret? The Hogan fight probably came through when they realized that they couldn't get the Canelo fight. No, all this franchise, no that's not what this, he said, though, this Mike. All franchise shit was still up in the air. That's when Canelo became the franchise champion and the belt gate became vacated. So apparently he knew he wasn't getting the fight then. So you got to go down the, the Dennis Hogan road, right? Wrong, because he said, you keep trying to make it out like, well, he knew he wasn't getting a fight. No, no, no. He said, I knew I was fighting Dennis Hogan before Canelo even signed to fight. You keep saying, well, apparently he knew he wasn't getting that fight, so that's why he went and got the fight. No, no, no. He knew already who he was fighting before that. So it was no apparently, bro.
Let's so it just wasn't stop. Like he just popped out of nowhere and it's like, oh, I have to pick him now. <laughs> No, Listen, then this, man, look, this the other shit. Hold on, let me give you. Ticket. Hold on, do me. Let me give you more. Let me give you more of his words. words. Let me give you more of his words. Yo, bro, I run my promotional company, bro. I'm not in charge of who I fight. I don't even understand that, but me neither. Me neither. I'm not in charge of who I fight. I can't control who wants to fight. Let me tell you what promoters do. Like Eddie Hearn. They want the unification. They send over four plus million to make another rival promoter happy enough to send his inventory to that network. That's what promoters do. They pay, they pay to get a certain someone on your resume. Kevin Johnson was in Europe eight days ago, flew back home to... America and was called back to the UK eight days ago. They paid to get him there. They paid for that name on Bacoli's resume. They could have got you another name that you don't know. They got that name specifically because you know him to help Bacoli. That's what a promoter does. So if you are the promoter, you're telling me that you have no control over who you go and seek out? He could have told us Yo, I'm my own promoter, so I can fight where I want, which is what he said. I can't help if Andre don't want to take the offer. If Jacobs don't want to take the offer. Because you're saying you're a promoter, so you can't just say you want to fight Jacobs. Send him an offer. You can't just say you want to fight Andre. Send him an offer. You a promoter. Not only are you saying that you a promoter, but you acting like one too, because now Jacob's got to fight you on Showtime at the Barclays Center, back where you belong. I'm just saying, bro. Let's stop, man. Let's let's just all be real with what we heard and what we seen. So, and what hats we're wearing? Uh, fighter, promoter, which I don't know. Let's move on, Mike. I was getting excited for the next one. Reno Regis is your boy. Uh, I saw the gloves off, um, little face off, man. I was really feeling that, man. Uh, both guys kind of respect each other, but at the same time, you could see that, you know, that sort of like not this like, but I almost don't know. like, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to mash you up. No, I, I mean, look, they have I some don't intention. think Josh respect Regis for some reason. That shit. And did you Did you see the gloves off? Uh, of course. So you didn't you didn't see Josh Taylor a little more uh, humble? No, a little a little less, especially when they was talking about uh, the time when they was wrestling around and just kind of like nah. you know Re Regis Regis told him like yo come on man cut that out man stop, stop and, he's, like and he really still real. and he still ain't say that the way Mike would have said it if I was out here capping told my Mike I had you in the headlock in Vegas nigga your energy was. That's how you was going to say, yo, come on, Ness. Stop acting like oh, that no. shit was serious, Ness. Re Re Ness, why you acting like that shit was serious, Ness? Bro, Regis was saying, like, you know it was on some friendly shit. So stop acting like it was something else. Bro, all like, I'm saying is Josh Teller, I don't think he respect him. But I I'm still riding with Regis. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't want this to come off any other way. But listen, Josh Josh don't respect him. But you, it's like I was dying for Regis to be like, yo, I don't got to intimidate you to whoop your ass. Because he told me, oh, you, you think you intimidate. You think you intimidate. Yo, what's all this intimidation? So I was like, he did say all the good things. Because he's like, look, this is all talk. Like, that shit don't matter. What matters is in the ring. And that's what I love that he told Josh Teller to his face. But I feel like yeah, Josh, that's what, hmm, he got that. That's what I like, too. He got that dog in him, I think. He let him know, like, man, all this shit is good and fun. All this shit is cool, but. This shit don't really matter, you know what I'm saying? When we get in the range, that's when we really settle and see who who becomes number one. I thought Josh Taylor, you know what I'm saying, kept the same energy he's been having. I don't think he was any more humble than he was before. Uh, but I did think Regis held a, did a whole headlock and shit like, like, bro, like, really? My nigga, you, 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 I saw you were serious now. I was serious now. All right, all right, we'll see how serious we is. When Josh, we <laughs> Josh you know is like, saying? I'm just trying to let you know I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for it all. I mean, and then, I'm like, like man. you showing me you ready by putting me in there, bro. Come on, what you ready for? Chill, champ. Huh? Chill, champ. Chill, come on, champ. Yo, Find Josh Taylor. Else, champ. Josh Hang your Taylor, head on. Josh Taylor feel like he's better than him in every department. Now, come on, guys, let's break That's this how you're down. To feel. 
let's break this down on, 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 with, with no bias involved, right? Who's the better boxer? I I test just off of what we've seen. Depends on the fight because I, I I've seen Regis change up his styles. That's times, what he but say, but we always know he's the come he's forward, the come forward bruiser kind of fighter. Yeah, Josh but is the boxer. Time. But is he a, a better boxer in his I'm, style than Regis is in his style? Well, I don't, I don't know, know this man. Is where I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna compare the uh, the the recent unification bout between Arthur Beater Beef and uh, G- Vazdik. It was like I see Regis as a better Beef, and I see uh, uh, um, Josh Taylor as Vazdik. You know, in that comparison, one was the boxer. That's a good point. Well, one was the with the hard puncher, right, Mike? And then what we found out is that the 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 brutal hard puncher turned out to be a better boxer in his own right and his own style. So, yep, in his own style, like he was better within his style than what Gavstick <laughs> was within his style. Yeah, yeah, I like that you changed it to style because you can't. Say oh, yeah, he was I mean, a, yeah, because this was the better down, boxer. You know he like, wasn't the better boxer. He just no, uh, no, 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 he wasn't a better boxer. He just he implemented his style better that night. Um, listen, I normally pick the boxer, but Regis got that dog in him. I see Taylor has it too, though. Don't get, I'm telling you, this yeah, is going to yeah, be, yeah, you can see it. This is going to be a bomb burner. He's kind of, though, too. Like, them motherfuckers tough. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm he got that man. scar on his face, too. What's up with that scar? And nobody can give us that story on that scar. Nigga, knife crimes, nigga, knife crimes. That shit like a hook, and, man. He got like a fucking, uh, 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 like they carved a C in his face. Let me find out he that's cripping UK, out there. UK, right? That's, that's UK, yeah, or man. Oh, they got knives over there, but I'm done playing no game. But that's what yeah. he said? It was knife crime? I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i just guessing. You know oh, saying? you're like, just making them he, extra tough. If you got a scar like that, nigga, you got it. Somebody had to catch you. I mean, he fell nah, on his tricycle, dog, man. <laughs> Could have fell on his tricycle. All right. <laughs> As a tall fell, ass tricycle. Fell off his skateboard, dog. Yo. Come on now. Nah, uh, man. Yo, but Johnny Nelson, and, yo, they got. I think it's time to find somebody else. He's like. Yeah, his questions just it, yeah, they ain't slapping. And, and and all he's saying is like the they, same stuff, like oh, the pressure, the you. What are you gonna do with the UK crowd? You know they're gonna be they're gonna be pumping. How did you get your start in boxing? Like, where did you come from? Telling your story. Yeah. We know him, nigga. We, we we watch YouTube, all right? We we know what he did when he came through. Her kicking, training all this. And that's just not face off talk. That's not gloves is off talk. Oh, like, man. give me your backstory on gloves is off. I thought we was taking the gloves off. Like, do you gloves, think you don't knock this motherfucker out? Exactly, gloves is that, off that, talk. That's what, been, that's what you've been saying all on your fucking social media. That you you don't think he he better than you? Can you can you really knock him out? Josh Taylor, you man, you been saying he ain't got no skill. You the most skillful boxer, the better boxer. How do you put your style against his style and show that to the public? It's easy, bro. These motherfuckers got corny ass people reading out scripts and teleprompters and shit. But anyway. Yo, real quick, let me just read the super chat. Um, <laughs> it's coming from Rod870. Ness and Doom hating on Charlo Brothers 24-7. Dot, dot, pitiful. Hey, yo, let me tell you something right now, man. I'm not a hater. I'm actually a Charlo fan, especially ever since they ran down on us over there. <laughs> you know, I like their style. Um... And listen, man, we just want these boxes, and especially a guy, you know, a guy like Charlo that we like, we want him to go get it, man. Everybody wants this red head Canelo Alvarez ticket, golden ticket, and nobody want to earn it. Everybody just want to kind of get it right now. Up, There's so up many. Lufkin, he brought up Andre, and he brought up Jake. He yeah, but you, you bring, listen, I could bring up all the fighters. I'm talking about chasing greatness in every aspect of that saying chasing greatness that means you i'm can't chase a motherfucker on foot when he driving a motherfucker ferrari you ain't okay no so i'm not talking about chasing hey, Canelo. I'm, hey, I'm these talking niggas, about, they, they 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 on a high plateau they don't want to give Charlo a chance but that's what it is like, that's why like, speaking about what, what it is that's like, why he needs to that's why he needs to do what wilder did when AJ didn't want to give him the shot, when Joseph Parker didn't want to give him the shot, he went to the baddest in the division. And he fought Luis Ortiz when nobody else was giving him his shot. He did that twice already. He went to Luis. He said, bro, ain't nobody want to fuck with you. They don't want to fuck with me. Let's do it. Let's do it. He went to Fury. Hey, Fury, man, they got you as a joke. They got me as a joke. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. That's what you do. Charlo needs to be a man. Contact Andre. Andre needs to be a man. Take that phone call. They need to agree to get this fight done. Josh Teller, bringing it right back, bringing it right back, bringing it right back to Josh Teller and Regis Progray. They went into it on on Gloves is Off and mentioned that. They said, we texted each other early on. We knew Mm -hmm. we would be here. Mm -hmm. 
We it's knew not a we would be of, here. Uh, uh, why, uh, of wit, will we fight? It's when. It was a win. Exactly. Yeah. So that's win. all. That's all. Instead of Charlo saying, oh, he had his shot. Why he left the contract? Oh, oh, oh. Instead of Charlo saying, oh, come to Showtime. Oh, one fight deal. Nah, text Andre. Bro, let's get this shit done, man. Let's get this shit done. I got to commend the World Boxing Super Series, though, man. We we we, we, we getting some hell of five matchups in, in the finals. You know what I'm saying? Brady's daughter coast. Uh, uh, a new way down there, and now we're getting Regis Pro Gray and Josh Taylor to you know what I'm saying, kick it off for the fall. Yo, so Mike, you up? just reminded me of Dordicus, man. We're oh, ready. yeah, man. Wow, bro, that's <laughs> I like that. Hey, guy, last man. scene, last scene, he let he let the motherfucker out. God damn it, bro, like, like. yo, yo, why I ain't mentioned Dordicus in this whole light heavyweight matchup mess? Nah, nah, cruiserweight, nah, cruiserweight, 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 cruiserweight. Oh, he's cruiserweight. Oh yeah, man, champ. Yeah, champ. damn, he looks so light. Oh yeah, he did. He did crack everybody. Yeah, like six four, six five down there. But moving uh, right along to the news and notes, Andy Ruiz says Joshua will run and try to get a decision. And he would not touch, be touching my belts in, I in the build-up. I think that was up. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, man. Like, <laughs> he, he, he ain't nice, man. He, nah, he, got, nah. he, got, he bro, got that smile, you. but he mean as fuck. Yeah, but that ain't how he dude, said it. Bro. Did you watch the video? That ain't how he yeah. said it. That that quote makes it sound like he was like, he ain't, t- like, he ain't say that shit. They asked him like, hey, are you going to let him you touch the belts? He was like... Nah, I don't think so. You know, like he was mad, chill, and playful he with it. Be kind of like I know he said it like that, but like the way he smiles and says this thing, like he got one of them conniving kind of smiles where you really don't believe it. Like this dude is mean. Like Andy got some some sick intentions. Like when he get in the ring, I could see it in that first fight. Like he was he was trying to aim for a specific spot on, on AJ's head, and those punches was like coming right towards the, the temple. So yeah, he, he's he, he he's definitely a mean dude. You want to destroy AJ. But going back to what he said and discussing it with you fellas, man, like we all even spoke about it after the fight, you know what I mean? That, hey, maybe AJ got a fight on his back foot and uh, maybe he'll have some success with that. Um, <laughs> do we really see uh, Anthony Joshua, the bigger guy, uh, fighting on the back foot? I mean, that's Hell something no. that I was if just If you see the about. referee from the Joseph Parker fight, beware. <laughs> Beware, bro. That motherfucker gonna break up everything. AJ can't last twelve rounds. I don't know. Trying to be I don't a know. boxer. We seen him. We seen him lighter. We like. We seen pictures, and he looks a lot lighter. And he lasts twelve rounds against Parker. So I, I think. If he <laughs> so now you lighter, gonna say Parker's gonna bring the the pressure to Andy? Bruce? I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. But we know Parker was a world class fighter who beat Andy Ruiz. So with that being said, and we did a lot of fight chat on him. We had it not even close. But at the end of the day. Josh was like he's coming in lighter, and that tells me that he might try to box off the back foot and more and, and lead Andy into something big. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that he he's going to prepare to go twelve rounds, but I think he's preparing to be more of a boxer than a bruiser this fight. Yeah, and all I'm saying is my man's always had stamina issues, visible. Um, you know, now he's in with a pressure fighter. He's already got the mental pressure and stress on him. I just don't see him being able to keep Andy away from him for 12 rounds with the stamina that we've seen him have. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, stamina has been questionable for AJ, bro. Um, maybe because he packed on all that fucking muscle and he looked more of a model than a boxer. Uh, maybe that's why this, uh, this time around they try to knock some of that weight down. Maybe some of this weight was just mostly... All that bulky muscle. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing how many stones he's going to come in for this fight because, you know, uh, just because you lose weight doesn't necessarily make you weaker in a fight. You know, it depends on how you lose it and what you're losing. And um, even though he's coming in as the lighter guy, I think he's still going to carry the power. And because he's lighter, his stamina is going to um, shoot up a little bit. Uh, back foot. The whole fight, I don't think you can... Uh, I mean, how big is this ring going to be? I mean, the last one was huge, wasn't it? Bruh, man, uh, based off that fucking Usyk ring, woo, you better be careful. You that better shit looked like a dance. Like a dance uh, Bruh, that uh, Usyk off. ring was huge. And if they did that for Usyk, what do you think they're going to do for AJ? That oh, shit was uh, huge, bruh. They're going to put the Klitschko ring in that mug. <laughs> bruh, I, I believe that was like a 20, a 24-foot ring. Easy. Easy. Real, Ten we got seconds. Notes: uh, Carlos Ocampo blast out Adrian Perez in five rounds. Quadratillo Abdakurov 
He says he wants Earl Spence title fight next. Uh, Avani Yerdum gets clear of adverse finding. That dude gets stopped. Let's due, just stop right there. Due Earl, to muscle inflammation therapy. Earl Spence stops him. Earl Spence stops him if he comes back and everything is Earl Spence normal. Yeah. Absolutely. You kidding me? My man takes way too many body shots to be in the ring with Earl. But Avani Yeardum is a guy who uh, had a fight with the real controversial. Say he lost, but he petitioned the WBC. And I think he's going to get the fight with Benavidez next. I can't he believe lost to that Chris shit, Eubank man. Jr. But they, he had, he failed a, a body test, but due to uh, muscle inflammation therapy that he had in Germany, the WBC cleared them of any wrongdoing. Yeah, it's just like because... the Lewis Ortiz shit. You know, they presented their information and they was able to say this happened because of this. Cool. Uh, you... We also have Mean Thing Long is next for uh, yeah. Better Be. That, you know, that's... we get excited, right, Mike, when we hear, when we hear uh, the, uh, I know, these guys I, I, from I, the Chinese national I, team? I wait on Ness to say something about Mean Thing Long. I well, mean, I don't know if he mean. I don't know if he mean man. though. But I've watched some spar some mean people. You know what I mean? So we'll I've see. I've been watching man. man for long on uh, that since um, since over there at, at Global Global Boxing. This mm -hmm. is like I say four years ago, five years ago. And you, yo, bro, I've, I honestly tell you, him and Zilly, like I've seen them, like the evolution. You feel me? And they were and they were good then four years ago and and now and you've seen all the sparring they've had with top guys like these guys that are flying under the radar bro a lot of people are not you know on just, these guys because they're so you know they're, is they're he gonna be able to radar. take that better beef punch that's all that matters man that's all I that mean, matters i'll tell you what and if you didn't know i'm gonna tell you now fang long got power he got crack in his punches, man. So, you know, we've seen Art to Better Be hit the deck with Kalen Johnson. I mean, let me tell you something. Mang Fen Long got way more uh, I don't range. Know. I don't know. He got Kellen, way more. Let bro, me Kellen tell you. Let Johnson me, can punch. I, I, that's what I'm going to tell you right now. Mang Fen Long, bro, got long range. And to me, I could give him a comparison. And I'm probably going out the window with this one. But remember, just in body type and punching, the punching uh, style, I think I could uh, compare him to a, a, a Hearns. You know, tall, long. And he really knows how to dig in those body shots. So uh, I'm expecting uh, uh, to see Meng Fen Long do okay against Better B. But, you know, Better B is that, that bear of the division right now. He showed the power that he can do, that he can uh, display. I'm sorry. And uh, I don't know. I I'm not going to say Better B walks over Feng Long, even though Feng Long hasn't, you know, faced that type of opposition. But I, I mean, I could expect him too. He's newly signed to top rank or going to be a top rank fighter. So. They going I think they're picking Mean Fang Long as a touch up fight for him. Yeah. When was the last time Mean Fang Long had a fight? Uh 2019, October 5th. Oh, wow. So he just fought. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, man. Uh both of them just fought, so it should be a good fight. Uh hopefully they get it in by the well, maybe early next year. And last Yeah, but, not but the least, biggest name on Fay Long's resume is Fran Buglioni, you know. I uh, be Frank too. Yeah, but that's it. That's a good win. But that's, that's a common it. opponent with Callum Johnson. But that's it, though. That's it. He knocked him out in five. Callum, I think Callum got him in like one or two. Mm. That's the Callum biggest win. But he, I'm telling you, bro. Round one. <laughs> yeah, man, Callum can punch, bro. That motherfucker, he can hit. When, when, when he hits you, you're going to feel it. Like he, he beat the shit out of uh, Shawnee Moneyham. And Sutherland Barrera could even beat Moneyham like that. Like he battered Moneyham. Like Ness was saying Moneyham was a tough guy. Nah. Not that not 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 that not that tough. So we Last, can't be mad at Peter Peter B for taking that um knockdown, man. He's a, he's a hard puncher. Shit. Oh man, count him man, count him touch you, man. You're gonna feel it. Cheers. Last but not least on the docket, Dana White. Guarantees a partnership or a working relationship, relationship, relationship with <laughs> Al Heyman. I think that's good. Oh, so he guarantees now, huh? Yeah, he says he's definitely gonna be, be working with Al Heyman. Uh, they've, been uh, saying, the, they've been saying that since the McGregor. I know, uh, right? You know what I'm saying? So. I'm excited to see like what Dana White has to offer Al Heyman. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can you bring to Al that's not already there? Yo, how, Yo, how is like the the tight knit boxing community gonna feel about you know uh, 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 Dana White coming in you know from the MMA side and kind of like you know I mean look there's there's only put so much money right um, how 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 is a new entity 
going to be received, right, from the, um, you know, existing entities that have been here forever. Nah, man. I mean, look, if he's saying he's going to most definitely do business with Al, that means his fighters are going to get, you know, uh, fights with Al fighters and, and they're probably going to do TV with Al and, and do shit on UFC Fight Pass. I don't know. I don't know. So Dana White, Dana White must must be already like probably from the Floyd Mayweather fight. I mean, I think man, that'd I be think a smart he's move. just so trying to stay relevant, collecting. though, man. I think he's just trying to. He's been throwing these little oh, I'm coming to boxing for like two years now, bro. Like, where is his talent? Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, October. Be? What was he supposed to like unveil all this shit? But yeah, it, where, where's see, the we, fucking? We haven't seen it. Where's the debut card, bro? Like, get out of here. You know what I mean? I, I think he. But just they are building chasing. like a little uh, mini uh, arena next to the. Uh, Sports Performance Institute, like like six uh, or seven thousand seat uh, arena, where they're gonna be putting on like uh, smaller MMA events and smaller like boxing events. So mm. I'm excited to to see the the uh, unveiling of that little sports complex. Dana Dana got a lot of money backing them up, man. Uh, oh yeah, man. Dana making money hand over fist, but you see the the paper views that they they sell and the amount of money that they're paying. I know these super. Fighters. Sufa sold it to the the talent company or the modeling agency. I forget, I forget the name. W M E. M E. Yeah, exactly. So they they have a ton of money, and the way as soon as that transition happened in the UFC, man, the the way they they put their fighters out into other entities like acting and and just so many positions, man. That W M E. Yeah, commercials and things like that. Ooh, yeah, bro, everything got time, so good. They ain't paying these guys like they. I, Two hundred and fifty thousand for Nate Diaz or three hundred, however much it was. I just seen fucking Jesse Vargas make more than that, and I think Nate's a bigger star than than Jesse, right? Bro, they gave you know what Jesse is, like one point seven a fight to Law, man. I think I think there's more stars. <laughs> there's more stars in uh, MMA than there is in boxing. I think that's what it is, Mike. I think that the uh, they're but paying how you a, a star more... getting paid a quarter mil? Diaz just they got, got a, a quarter mil like that making those type of checks than they do it. Like, in boxing, it's like, Floyd Mayweather's the 1% of boxing. You know what I mean? Like, guys making that type of money is, like, just a few fighters. I mean, nah, but, 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 nah, but nah, everybody nah, got nah. Floyd, but, the, like, you got guys, guys making a, a million plus yeah, every fight. Like, every a fight. Guys. A lot of guys make a million. I know like, UFC, me, me... UFC has their out there, like, Ronda Rousey and, and fucking uh, uh, Conor McGregor and what's the guy's name from from, from Canada? The one Sunday, Sunday, uh, the, the, Look, the, the lower weight divisions are, are making a lot more money in MMA than they are here in boxing. You know, when you got TJ Gillishaw and you got all these other guys in the very light, even, even my man who just left the one, uh, Mighty Mouse, and all these Demetrius guys. Demetrius Johnson. Yeah, Demetrius Johnson. So all these guys making all this money in the lower weight divisions that you don't really necessarily see in, in, the, in the lower weight divisions Why inside not? the. Uh, what in, division in the is boxing. that? What division it's is like, that? It, it's like the hundred and thirty pound. My nigga, bro, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford made money in one hundred and thirty. A mil yeah. plus every Jonathan fucking fight. Davis. What I'm saying is, shit, uh, 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 Terrence Former. Is everybody, right everybody. You can't compare it, man. I'm saying Boxing, like, like I, I don't understand it when I see them sell more pay per views like like, like monthly than, than than boxing does. Just got saying, no, because this too that. I that I, that we've been hearing about in the UFC for for years, bro. Like, Twenty five thousand for a knockout, fifty thousand. That shit don't make up. They don't yeah, make nah, up. Them, them listen, shit. Terrence Crawford said it live on Joe Rogan. Go listen to that interview, bro. He he knows MMA well. He trains with an MMA fighter. He went to see an MMA fight because he was supporting his friend, and he felt bad for his friend. Dude made like a hundred and twenty five to two hundred fifty thousand for some shit. And, and, like, his friend tried to argue with him. Like, yeah, bonus. He's like, bro, you kidding me? And they take more they got, risks. Them niggas getting yo, knees to the face. But, what, but, but, but at least when WME took over, like, they actually have portfolios for these fighters now. You know what I mean? They push them a certain way. Before this WME, when this Sufa was only around, bro, I, I say it was a little more grittier. I'm talking about post-WME. I mean, that now it's like these guys are getting a portfolio. You can... You know, be on the telecast today. You can do a P3 uh, Lunchables commercial the other next day. You could do this. You could do that. So they're they're getting money from different ways. So they're getting they're getting a lot more options. You know, oh, it's you not mean just you mean purse. you mean the way that fighters are announcing he, on television? No, the, way, 
The way, the way they're commentating, the way they're getting commentator checks now for yeah, television. Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That ain't had number, nigga. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get out to these calls, man. We've been shit talk, talking shit about three hours. Yeah, man. I mean, you know. It's boxing, bro. Hey, boxing. I love that Canelo little thing, bro. I can't believe y'all think. I don't know if Dummy feels that way, but I don't, I don't think he does. But Canelo cannot be the number one guy if he beats Kobe there. But we'll see what the calls got to say about it. Mm. Only way, th- only way he does that is is like it better be fights like he got to go in there and knock over that out in one round. Exactly. Then I like say, that. okay, goddamn, then Canelo over shit. You might be the best at one seventy five. Then you, if you're doing that, goddamn, then boy. But if he don't do that, if he go twelve, and it, it's a tough fight, and it could have went either way. Yeah, can't be the best big dog. Gotta let these fights play out. These calls yes, are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. Don't only rate us, you know what I'm saying? Leave us a, a five star a, a review and tell us how you feel about the podcast. Also, if you listen right now, smash that thumbs up button, man. Let more and more people find the podcast so we can grow, grow and get bigger and bigger so we ain't got to do shit for the rest of our lives. But talk boxing. All righty then. Heading out to Boomerang CYP. Uh oh, here we go. Did I, did I ring that bell? Oh um, my! Ring that bell! Ring that bell! Damn. Man, we, we got a couple things gonna get out the way here. For one, stop being so damn sensitive, okay? People say fuck me, call me names every single day on this show, especially in the chat. It's okay with me. I got thick skin, no issue. So if I call you an idiot, mess, don't take it personal. Don't go timing me out because I ain't your goddamn son, dog. Like that I, disrespectful I shit didn't type, is weird. I didn't time you out, champion. Well, well some, somebody time me out. Man, you and, see and, how many ranches in there? And listen, and, and I don't even be complaining about the super chats I send y'all that y'all don't even read. I don't even trip. Like, there's money I've been getting y'all, and, and, and I don't even be going through. And I don't even be tripping. So don't time me out for saying, for saying one thing when people, when people jab on me all the time. Man, uh, stop that shit. We're going to move on from that because I can move on from that. Now, second, I swear to God, I saw Doomy. At the LA press conference for Wilder versus Fury. He said I wasn't him, but it was a TVB shirt on his Mexican dude looked just like him, and he had the camera. I'm like, that looked like Doomy when I saw him. Now, why I say that is this some of the hate that you give some of these fighters, some of their fans, and some of their entourage can take that personal. Doomy, you roll with mess. If I was Team Charlo for real, I could have I could have whooped your ass when I saw you walk by me. We could have beat you to death. Now I, I'm not talking about something I would Never. do. That's that's not me. But you would have got your ass whooped. You would have got your ass Never. whooped in LA if that was my boy. We would have beat your ass. First off, I'll beat you up. I don't need my boys, so stop that. Don't get tough. Because I we, cause you, we, we, me and you could do border wars. We could me and you could do that. Let's go. So don't Let's get tough. I, I'm talking hypothetical. But if you want to do, uh, you want to do border wars with me. No, don't cry about weight, size, none of that. I'll take you and I'll beat it's your so fucking ass. Man, and that's real life. I, I don't know if you know what cloth I'm cut out, my bro. <laughs> I'll fight you right but now. I don't care about your cloth, nigga. Fuck your cloth. Let's get it popping. Like, I, you, you don't know shit about me. I don't know nothing about you. It ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't want to bully you or none of that. Let's just make the fight. Let's just make the fight. Let's just make it. I, I came to battle Ness and Border Wars. I'll take the lightweight. I'll take his lightweight. I seen you in person walk by me. You you can't fuck with me. I seen you. Like I I seen you. You left in. I mean, yeah. oh, we can say what? How you pumping yourself up right now? <laughs> my guy, my people already know me. Like if you, if I can have somebody call me here that can vouch for me. I throw these oh, hands on a regular. It's nothing to me. I'm dead serious. Team. It's I nothing. Like, I like your style, but if you want to get in the ring, we can do it. No listen, problem. stop saying if I want listen, stop saying if I want to get in the ring. If you telling me border board, me, you, I'm down. Don't start asking me. I came here for next. I'm coming for the heavyweights. I don't want you, but if you want me, I'll take you. Hey, That's what I'm saying. Don't play you games. Me up. Huh? Well, I, can't hear you. I didn't bring you up. Yeah, that's what I thought. You backpedaling. Like I told you, if you want me, I'll take you. I'm here for the heavyweight. I'm here for the next. Mr. Diggs, that's who I want to go to work. I don't want his lightweight. But if you say you want CYP, you got me. I CYP. I want you. Let's go. I'm afraid of CYP. I am. I don't want CYP. 
Uh, Boomerang. Oh, shit. Troy dropped off. Troy couldn't wait. Uh, Donald, Richmond, California. Talk to us. Man, I'm going to say this. Canelo is not going to fight better BS. If Canelo beats uh, Skobalek, he's probably going to hold that bill until they strip him, or he might find him a cherry at 175, or he might get, or he might get stripped for it. And that, that dude, uh, Mean Fei Long, he's trash. I'll tell you, better be able to stop him. I know that guy because when I trained at Yaki Lopez Gym in Stockton, there was a guy in the gym that trained with me. And he fought, he fought that Chinese guy, even though he did get his ass whooped. But um, that Chinese guy is not that, that great because that was on the – it was on the undercard of uh, Andre Ward and, uh, and Paul Smith because the Mexican guy that I trained with in the gym fought the Chinese guy. And then my other homeboy, uh, Aaron Coley, he fought on that, um, he fought on that car too. But uh, I got better be of stopping <laughs> that Chinese dude in like six rounds. Um, there's no way that Canelo would be number one at 175. Like you guys said, I mean, he would have to really, I, I mean, I will, I'll give him more of a benefit of a doubt. He would have to stop Kovalev. I would give him five rounds. If he stops Kovalev in five rounds, then we do got an argument that Canelo would be um, number one at 175. But I mean, we all know that this is just a maneuver for Canelo to get a to get a belt. I mean, it's a good name, but I don't think Canelo wants any real smoke at 175. You know, I just I just don't I just don't see it because I have my money on um, better be of two for a knockout. I have to log into my account and see how much I won because I did put it down for a knockout and I think it was like in a in a um, in 11 rounds or less so I got I put a hundred on there I don't know how much I won um for that though but uh yes you gotta stop <laughs> you and Canelo man you like that dude huh you 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 be you be rooting for Canelo I mean oh, god he damn he I, I, Ness be I'm telling you Ness you sucking Canelo off you gotta stop that shit dude for real I mean, I I like Canelo, but I'm being realistic here. Canelo is not going to get in the ring with Better Be of, and I and I'll tell you this, and I promise the guy for you right now, if Canelo gets in the ring with Better Be of, I will fucking bet you a thousand dollars that Better Be of will fucking stop Canelo. Canelo is not going to rob Better Be of on the scorecards because that shit ain't going to the scorecards. Better Be of is going to fucking maul his ass. That shit going to be like a fucking rock roller and a chihuahua. I, I'm telling you, you keep. Campaign in Canelo, I got a thousand dollars on that fight. That if he fights better, be a he gets stopped for real. We can make that bet <laughs> if you want to do that because you campaigning the hell out of Canelo. Man, y'all need to make that fight with that dude. That, that dude called he hostile. Next, you gonna fight that dude that called in? He won't. Nah, we, we, we need to find out what wrench. <laughs> What wrench uh, is responsible for CYP's uh, nah, I'm not, timeout? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not fighting CYP. I'm afraid, and uh, I mean, there's a lot of wrenches, man. There's a lot. Every you know, Southside got a wrench. Fucking uh, what's the we border all, wars? I, uh, Jemmy we, got a wrench. Plenty of wrenches, man. We ain't the only mechanics on here, CYP. Uh, Info Joe in the building. Mr. Info Joe. Tell the truth, yo. Tell the truth. <clears throat> this portion of the show we call In Mr. the Info Know, Joe. presented by my Don't brother. Tell the truth, yo. Tell the truth. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, my boxing brothers? What's happening? What yo, up? let me get that crow, man, for uh, Vasek, man. <laughs> Put some onions and uh, all that shit on there, too. Yo, uh, shout out to Better Vibe. I got it wrong. Hey, y'all, but pump your brakes, man. I've seen a lot of holes in dude's game. Man. I ain't hating on him because uh, I didn't pick him. But I thought he was being outboxed by Vazic, man, before he got hit with that body shot. And uh, that changed the fight around, man. As long as you keep a jab on him and was punching the combination, dude kept his hands at home. Uh, it was that body shot. And I think that slowed everything down, though. But I do see a lot of holes in that dude's game. You put a good boxer puncher in front of him, uh, I, I think he'll get the business. Yo, but uh, shout out to Better Beef, though. Uh, am I wrong? Is he the first uh, 
person at 175 to be unified at, with only 15 fights? Am I tripping? Uh, shout out to him for that, man. I think that's the that's the first, right? In Probably. boxing, am I wrong? Probably. Yeah, shout out to him for that, man. But I do think that Canelo will still kick his ass. I think Canelo can outbox that dude. Canelo got a chin, and I'm not even a big Canelo fan like Ness is. But I still, I've seen a lot of holes in this game, man. I've seen a lot of holes. He is a, a beast. I give him that. He's a, a hard puncher. Uh, but far, he's just a plotter and something. I've seen a lot of plotting around, man. He's just strong. I did like how he break the clinch. Uh, if anybody's watching boxing, that how that dude broke the clinch every time, that's how it's done. Yo, Ness, what you was talking about, that's a great idea. Uh, donate a percentage from your purse. And then uh, the promoters match it. Boxing needs some type of union, man. I don't know how, but it does need some type of union to watch out for these dudes, even after their career is over, if they have any elements that, you know, they can't speak right, need speech therapy, all kind of shit like that. It does need some kind of union. And I do believe, like you said, if all the fighters would strike and would go for a union, it had to be the right person because somebody has to allocate how, how much, Money goes to certain people for the amount of their conditions, whatever, how hurt, how bad I hurt they are. But uh, you were right on point with that. Uh, hit those thumbs up. You're listening to the number one pound for pound boxing podcast. And I'm out, brothers. Peace. Joe, thanks for calling in. We're going out to Boomerang Stainless in Detroit. What's good, champ? Straight to the point for those with attention deficit. I'm so repetitive, so, so I gotta repeat. Stainless from the streets to the D. I'm coming with that heat. All you need to know about me, I'm coming with that heat. Yo, give me just a second. Uh, I just gotta cut my Bluetooth off right quick. Alright. Alright, TBV, what's good? What up, what up? What's good? Can you hear me? Loud and clear was good with this B to B Vosdick fight. What you think about that? Oh man, man, don't don't judge me, man. But I've been at work all day, every day for the last four days, man. Yesterday I worked uh, one in the afternoon until one thirty in the morning. So I I didn't even watch the fight yet. I was gonna watch it when I got home. I already knew who won, but I, you know I me, mean? I still want to watch the fight. Uh, who'd you have? Who'd home. you have but, going in uh, though? Even though you didn't see the fight. I have those dick. That's the main reason I'm on this Ooh. bitch now, so I can get my cuff. Yo, serve up that plate, Ness. <laughs> you can give it to me raw, man. I'm at. <coughs> yeah, just give it to me raw. I'm at work. I cook that shit up myself. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have any uh any perspective on the Volstick uh, better be fight yet, because like I said, I haven't watched it. But I did want to call in on the other topic you were talking about. As Info Joe just said, and some other uh, callers have said, that is a great idea. Personally, I think maybe it should be on the on the commissions uh, or the sanctioning bodies to create some kind of health insurance thing or life insurance policy for these guys. I mean, they already given what three, is it three percent or ten percent? I'm saying that they are they winnings when they fight. They already paying dues to these people anyway. And if all it gets you is a is a belt, that don't mean shit. If you did, you know what I'm saying, like. Somebody needs to to uh, have these these fighters' best interest in in their family's best interest. You know what I'm saying at heart. You know what I'm saying because it's just like uh it's just like with uh with uh football and stuff when they when they tell you in, in basketball when they tell these guys when they come in as rookies like you have to set up your financial you know what I'm saying your your financial role. You know what I'm saying otherwise you're gonna end up with a with a fifteen million dollar contract or broke five years after you retire out the league. So. I think that it, it, that does need to be something put in place, especially after the, you know, saying the, the tragic deaths that we had this year, this year inside the ring with, with uh, Maxim Dadashev and, uh, you know, saying I can't remember the other guy's name and, and uh, the latest one of Patrick Day. You know, it, there does need to be something done, and I'm I'm happy to hear you guys addressing it because this is the voice of the people, and our voice uh, rings the loudest. So. You know I'm saying let's let's keep talking about that and make sure that we keep promoting this issue because it, it is something that. I'm saying time goes by, and then it gets swept right back under the rug. And yeah, not everybody dies. You know, not everybody's in a Paul Williams situation, but some of these guys do end up with what's that CTE? You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Where they got the shakes for the rest of their life, but they got speech impediments and everything else. And if there's no insurance or, or any countermeasures that are set up, 
then you know saying are we really are we really being fans of these champions and these fighters and these you know these these warriors the way that we say we are you know i'm saying like so it's going to fall on us, you know what I'm saying, as fans to also vocalize that. So I thank you guys for doing that. Shit, unfortunately, I got to get back to work. So as always, say, please make sure you push that thumbs up. Share this in every other. And if you ain't on TVV, I'm sorry, and if you ain't on Patreon, it's because you're stupid. Shout out to El Camino. TVV for life, fellas. Peace. Stainless hit me with the pause. I want to fuck up his outro. Uh... Uh, DJ, or is it D John? D John on Skype. Deja. De John. You on mute, do me? Can hear you. All right. Uh, we'll go to Davidian. What up, Davidian? Talk to me. Hey. What's, what's, what's up, Mike? What's up, Ned? Who got, who got, who got uh, that Doomsday. static? What up, champ? <clears throat> what up? Um, yeah, y'all can, uh, y'all can hit me with that crow. That's why I'm on here. I did pick, uh, Alex or Alexander Vosdick or whatever. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I was wrong. Yeah. Little crow yeah, dumplings for you? But it was... <laughs> But, no, nah, it was a good fight, though. I was happy to see, like, you know, two undefeated guys go at it. They was really cracking each other, though. It was it was a good fight. I like – it was like a real chess match in there. I was I was on the edge of my seat. I was kind of scared. I didn't want to see nobody get their head knocked off. But, you know, um, better be a – yo, he's, he's nice, though. I like him. Like, he – like, every time I've seen him, he looks like a better-looking version of Khabib. Like, I was just – Joking like, yo, that's like Khabib's cousin or some shit. Like, that dude is, he's a beast, though. He's coming there mauling your ass. When he was wrestling fucking Vostick around, he was like wrestling him around. And, <laughs> man, he, he's strong as hell, man. He put him in a, did a double leg on him. I was like, damn, this is UFC now. But, uh, not just in boxing. But, yo, the way but, he was uh, ragdolling nah, him, right? He's it was, good, yo, it's physically yeah, imposing him. Yeah, it reminds me of Khabib, and he, you know, he's just a better looking, you know, and he's from Russia too. So yeah, he's a he's a bad dude. I don't know. Um, you know, Vazik was doing good at first, but then it just, I don't know, he just got wore down, man. The physicality was just crazy. It was a good fight, though. Like. A lot of the fights was good though, like the Adorno um, brothers, them two. That was that was cool to see. Like they had the younger one, and then the older one came out. That's just, they was they was good. Um, Vargas, I'm trying to think. Uh, the Colazo fight, I tried to watch it all. It was good though, like. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, better be. I don't know. I don't know if. Could, I don't know if Canelo, that would be cool if Canelo actually did challenge him because I'd be like, whoa, yeah, Canelo, that dude. Um, but we'll see. I can't wait for November 2nd because, um, yeah, I'm I'm one of the few people, you know, and I'd get crow for this if I'm wrong. I don't know. I think Sergey, it's not going to be that easy, though. I think because, you know, you be hearing people saying that Canelo just going to run through him. I'm like, I don't know about all that, but. We'll see though. I like Canelo. We'll see. He is a bad boy. He can. He better be in there like uh, Mexican Pernell Whitaker moving his head. But um, yeah. And uh, I guess last thing is yeah, we need to do something. I like the idea that Ness had about you know. Hello. P money. What up, P money? Yeah, what's good, guys? You hear me all right? Me sir, good. yes, sir. Word, word, word. I'll take that crow real quick, since I did pick balls there. Little, little crow wings. Yeah, man. Uh, respect to Better Beef. Like I said before the fight, he's now the number number one uh, light heavyweight. This is a great fight. Um, as much as things change... Things stay the same. Better Beef was uh, 
always the guy in the amateurs. And I feel like the whole time he just knew that he was going to, he was going to get to Vosdick at some point. And he didn't come out and trade like he did in the Callum Johnson fight or other fights where he got put down early. He, he just kind of waited and got out boxing the first two rounds. His, his like head was getting all red and shit, but just ended up wearing him out. Like, he has to be strong, though, to just toss uh, Vosdick around like that. Like, that to, that saps the energy out of you. There's a reason why everybody, when uh, when Vosdick was coming in like that, everybody will tie up. But he was just tossing him off of him. Like, that, I'm surprised he was still able to throw punches after that. But he's built like, built like a brick shit house. Uh, <laughs> um, straight up. Canelo is not the number one in the division if he beats Kovalev, though, and Ness. I see what you're saying with the casuals, but TV, TBV is not the casuals, Ness. If you're a part of TBV, I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think you consider yourself a casual. But I mean, uh, I mean, even Mike said if Canelo go up there and beat the dog shit out of Kovalev, he might put him number one. So nah, but Ness, Ness, even what you said, he, you said it's a cherry for Canelo. He's cherry picking Kovalev. That's what even ca- like a bunch of casuals think, man. He had the two Ward losses, the, then he had the he, up two or the Alvarez. He got knocked out. He this, almost this, got knocked out by Yard. Only, you know, you understand Yard this is the only fighter. Himself. You understand this is the only fighter who's moving up two divisions, and people calling the fighter he's fighting. Moving up two divisions, he he fought at one sixty eight. Where was his last fight? He had All to right, lose I'm, the weight. I mean, he he's already fought. I, I he mean, had to was, lose I'm the just weight. Saying, right? You're saying it like he hasn't already fought at one sixty eight though. Bruh, he just unified at one sixty, man. I know, but he's fought at 168. Okay. But since you guys were talking about it, since you guys were talking about it real quick on UFC, they uh, they have, like, the – it's set in place already. It's, like, 18% of the profits the fighters get, which is pretty fucked, even comparative to um, the other companies in MMA. I wonder what uh, boxing, like, what percentage of the profits go to them. Shit, because I know the NBA – NBA probably got like a 50 50 partnership with the uh, players get 50% of like TV and like revenue, and uh, the owners get 50% or or a little bit less than that. I think maybe like 46, something like that. But NBA players uh, get a lot more of the revenue split than most uh, most uh, sports leagues. Kovalev has unified in the, in the division before, correct? Cause I Twice. Think, yeah. I, think people, yeah, once. Yeah. I think people just forgetting that. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you can't take an L, man, because people are already writing you yo, off. Yo, yo, champ, champ, you shit. have a windstorm with the mic right now. You, God damn! What the fuck? I'm man? very, I'm very sorry. I was adjusting the stand. Here, Turn it off gotta... when you're not like you know to do that. If you just turned it off and then turn it on when you had it in your stand, champ. Yeah, yeah, totally got knocked off my thought. But go ahead. You were saying something about better beef. Nah, I forgot. All right, Steve, talk to us on Skype. Steve gets crow too. He picked Vazdik. Mm. Steve, is that? Yeah, right? I did. Yeah. Oh, they got. But you, you know, they got your number, Steve. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I. You know, he was actually doing good until about. Uh, uh, he was, he was actually, I thought he was actually winning up until maybe, say, the eighth round. Those last couple rounds is what kind of did him in. Championship, right? But anyways, hey, but I had that fight against Colazzo, right? You guys aren't talking about that. We talked about it and, and the fact that if Colazzo's bicep wouldn't have fucking gave out, we would have seen, was- seen a different story because we definitely were seeing a different story with one arm go watch that fight you know he didn't throw the left right fifth round yeah I, I watched it all right so that, you, you, that i'm not impressed with uh kudratilo not being able to stop a 37 year old one arm Calazo. well he's definitely on elite level that's that's for sure i mean i don't know man if Calazo's 100 percent, I, I i still pick him to beat him that dude could not deal with Colazzo's pressure, bro. He was breathing like he was a scuba diver. Yeah. 
First time like uh, that, you know, when you're sucking on a tank and shit. <laughs> like, nah, man. I don't know. Hey, but I want to talk about this uh, this Canelo bashing. You know, we got to see first what he does with Kovalev. You know, if he goes in there and he beats Kovalev, Ko- Kovalev's resume is way better than Better Beef's. I don't know what all the hype is with Better Beef all of a sudden. We're talking about resume. We're talking about right now. Right now, does Better Beef beat Kovalev? I don't know, man. I don't Kovalev, know. Kovalev, man. Fuck out of here, bro. Kovalev is the better one be, knocking people better out, be man. You're going to stop Kovalev. What? I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. No, I don't better know about be that. Better B would stop no. Kovalev. You, Mi- you Mystic you Mike face. is speaking. <laughs> better B would stop Kovalev. That's your pick, man, not Steve's. No. I got to see it. I'm not going to say that. Kovalev, to me, is the man. And if Canelo beats him, then I don't say I don't think saying that he could beat Better Beef is too far out yeah. at all. Yeah. Did you see any flaws in Better Beef last night? A lot. What? what a what? lot of flaws. Damn, Boxrec has Sergey Kovalev as number one. Just saying, he's number one at one seventy five still, even with the unification. Yeah, so, better be. He ain't got no. He ain't got no defense. He ain't got no moves. Well, we'll see. So, uh, what? Oh, damn, I wanted him. You know, well, he said he ain't got no moves, no defense. I, I want. I want someone to tell me what flaws they did see, though. You know, like what did y'all see? Uh, let me see. We got checkmate boxing. What up? What up, checkmate? Checkmate. Done walked okay. away from his phone. Checkmate. Going once. Hey, give me a second. Oh, all right. He got pulled over. What's going on, champ? Ordering? Hey, uh. You want us to yeah, come back? Give me, uh, like five minutes. Yeah, I'll come back. All right. From the store. All right, all right, all right. We got. Ruin the 504. Right? Am I right? Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, that's real. That's Rod, man. Oh, Rod in A70. I'm on. Yeah. I'm tripping, man. What up, Chant? What up, man? I got three got three hitters real quick. First off, Clarissa Shields, her training, I, I read up on this on Friday, and I went and looked at the video. She's training on her takedown game and her wrestling game. She thinks she could be more profitable in the UFC. I think it's a smart move also. She probably won't do it for a year, but she's working with a coach right now, and she's in a training class doing it. It's not one of those Holly Berry, whatever you said. But uh, I think it would be a smart move if she did that along with continuing the box because UFC fans are already – building up their their women's fighting with uh, Amanda Nunez and some of the other guys, Holly Holmes. So if she could go over there and grab some of those fans, then bring those, those fans back to boxing, I think it would be a good move for her if she could do it and pull it off. She's young enough to do it. Um, second thing, uh, better be whatever his name. I can't say his name right. In that fight, I had him losing going into the last round. And I kind of knew he was going to win because you could tell that the other guy was getting tired. But he was landing the sharper punches. He was active. He was landing the jab. Better V would get in sometimes and land like a body shot, land like a head shot here or there. But it was nothing really impressive. He was just straight up and down, kind of how Floyd Mayweather said Triple G was a, a few years back. It wasn't anything that really impressed me about his style except he was doable as hell. And sometimes, like Mike said, that's all you need. It's like... Uh, I think his name, Nazir Muhammad, or the trainer for uh, Mosley, said that Mayweather's best gift was his endurance, and he was right. So that could be this guy's endur- uh, best ability is just to continue to come forward and put pressure on you, where no matter how good you box, he's going to eventually wear you down. But there was nothing special about him. I could see Canelo fighting with him and giving him a tough fight. Even the punches that, that landed that knocked the guy down was like bullshit punches. He just pretty much went down because he was tired as hell. It wasn't like he knocked him down with a clean shot. So that's my thoughts on that fight. And then the third thing is uh, Canelo and this Kovalev shit. 
everybody out here talking about Co- if Canelo be Kovalev, he won't be number one. Bullshit. Mm-mm-mm. Damn, champ. Uh, Dijon, I don't know if you know, you're the only one that hasn't spoken. I don't know, like, you. I don't know if you know your screen name says D. Johns. If you haven't spoken, there you go. Skype, we're talking there you, to you go. Yo. Yo. Oh, man, it's Fresh to Don. Fresh to Don, what up? What up, Fresh to Don? What's up, fellas? You the man. Yeah, first off, man, let me give a shout out to Stainless. Shout out to Detroit. Give a shout out to Blade Icewood, straight out of Detroit. Tony Harrison, straight out of Detroit. And Carissa Shields. She ain't from Detroit, but we adopt her. So uh, I'm going to start off with Mike. Mike, I agree with you on about 60% of the stuff you say. I agree with you more than anybody on the show. But when it comes to to Terrence Crawford, I don't agree with you. Uh, He needs to fight better competition, and that's the end of the line. So one thing I want to tell Mike is uh, Mike always says one thing. He says, since I've been watching boxing, I don't think you realize back in like 09, 2010, they had this thing called the Cold War, which was top rank versus Golden Boy. But now we realize what it really was. It was Bob Arum versus Al Heyman slash Richard Schaefer. And back in the day, we wanted to see all these great fights, but we could never see them because Bob Arum was preventing a lot of these fights from happening. So when you say, oh, well, Terrence Crawford got to do this, Terrence Crawford got to do that. No, Terrence Crawford has to leave top rank. That's what he has to do. That's the only way he's going to get these fights. And that's bottom line. And on that note, that's all I got to say. I'm out. All right. All right. CYP. Gotta boom. Love, oh, gotta love hold on. Terrence Crawford fans. Go ahead, Mike. I didn't mean to cut you off. I said you got to love the Terrence Crawford fans. Yeah, we do love you, Mike. Uh, CYP Boomerang. CYP, man, calm down. Take it easy. You were saying you know, he was I'm the one who wrenched me out. Like, I'm not, I thought that's what you said, man. <laughs> if you didn't wrench me, then I ain't even talking to you. Like, I thought, swear to God, I'm like, who, who does that weird ass shit? Like, you, y'all know I take punishment from them cats every day, and there ain't nothing to me. <laughs> So Bro, see why like, I'm so. I'm really active on the chat too, but I see what's going on in there. I see, but there's I a mean, whole bunch you, of wrenches up you there. You see? Yeah, I, I had no idea what the wrench, what that wrench should do. I don't, I don't, I ain't into it like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but I, I'm gonna cook a little bit. But look, honestly, in all honesty, in all honesty, you are not the troll king that's that's leading these motherfuckers to disrespect me. Okay, I don't, I don't think that you don't like me. I ain't got no real problem with you. I think I actually think you a nice guy. I don't really think you a dude to go out there picking on people or bullying folks. Like you, you, you a nice dude in my opinion. Like straight up, like real talk. I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't feel good at all going up in there, no headgear, throwing hands because I, I have nothing but bad intentions if I put them gloves on. Nothing but it. And I, I'm being totally honest. Say to intimidate nobody. But if anybody knows me or can check me out, they will know real, recognize real. When you know a dude is serious about his fight game and about throwing hands, you know it. You ain't got to ask no questions. That's why I get Stanley so much props, because me and him started off on the wrong foot. But we get along so well now, because real recognize real. There are certain people you know, I ain't H money, and y'all know that. Y'all know I ain't H money. I'm about that life. If Wilder will tell you that and Wade will tell you that, there's those some real famous dudes that tell you, man, that dude don't play no games. He's serious. And I don't want to bring that kind of shit to the show, to the host. But I do want to bring it to the chat and anybody bold enough to show their face and come out of that troll and really, really get these hands. Really, really, really. Now, I'm going to skip to that. I don't believe that Kovalev can beat beating uh, um, Kovalev, or excuse me, Canelo beating Kovalev makes him number one. Only because there's a unified champion now. Before that, before a unified champion was crowned, I said, I was, I was in the opinion that, yes, that fight could determine it. But the fact that that fight just took place and there's a unified dude, you got to beat the dude who's unified to be king, especially if he's undefeated. So for me, he got to be better be. That's the only only way he can be number one. That's just in my opinion. But y'all can argue everything else. Yeah, that's what we kept on saying to Ness. But Ness feels like Canelo's in such a position that if he gets rid of Kovalev, especially he says if in a certain way, 
that he's uh he's number one and that the that well, everybody's gonna no, recognize no, no. Him Mike as number added one, right? that. Mike added that whole certain way. Oh, okay. And I'm happy. I'm happy that Mike is, you know, sm- you know, he's smelling the coffee. So he's like, well, it depends how Kovalev loses to Canelo. Um, and, and don't forget, it depends on that weight uh, rehydration clause. There too. is none. There is okay. none. Okay. Okay. There is none. There was. Okay. There's an interview too about that. There's an interview. Specific well, questions about um, before and after. And uh, um, yeah, man. Nah, there is none. Before. Put it in chat. Yeah, you can find it. You can find it. You, you can put it in chat for me. It should be on, on, on your history, right? Possibly. I'm going to have to find it. I'm going to have to find it. But yeah, it's, you know, it's out there. It is out there. We got Stainless on the boomerang. What up, Stainless? Uh, sorry, again, man. You know I got to take my Bluetooth off. I'm still at work, man. Uh, I ain't got nothing, man. I just, again, want to say thanks for the show, man. Last week was a long week. I ain't had no deaths this week, but I've been at work the whole time, so I'm completely exhausted and, and spent, man. So, and this last, what is it? Well, we've been on like two, three hours now. Y'all done made that shit a blur, man. So thanks for that. So I always say, man, please make sure you push that thumbs up. Share this in every episode of the Boxing Voice podcast. And if you ain't on Patreon, it's because you're stupid. Shout out to El Camino. Peace. Hey, go back out to uh, check me, boss. Remember, we got, we got to check back in with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forget I got fans on here, too, bro. Yo. <laughs> man, I'm actually going through the history, bro. You be using my shit, too, bro. <laughs> it's hella shit on here. Holy sheezness. Yo, check Mad that. Mad basketball to shit, too. Uh, yeah, I-, I was watching the highlights last night. I see I'll shit be on with your LeBron. shit to, like, uh... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, hear sorry, me? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Oh, okay, because I kept saying, oh, okay. I, I was muted, brother. Okay. Yeah, listen, <laughs> maybe I'm I'm, I'm going to be a, uh, a part of the minority, but I wasn't. Better BF, he's strong, he's big, he's strong. We got to give him that. He did his job, but I didn't see a lot of skill. I saw like a caveman fighting for me, and he did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> Oh, oh so man. so you on so you on the Ness side of things, huh? Ness, I agree with you on a lot of stuff, but when I don't agree with you, you want to be erasing my name off the list or who calling? Oh, this checkmate! I ain't know it was you. Bruh, anyway, bruh, um, yeah, so bruh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm messing with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, um, but I, I, I don't know that it wasn't a lot of skill there. So when I look at this. I see that division, believe it or not, I, I don't know if y'all going to agree with me, if Marcus Brown was focused. Man, stop, and, and, and stop, he, he's so stop, about his skill. stop. Let me, let me say, like, listen, Marcus Brown, if he was focused, he could get it done because I don't see a lot of skill. Better be of it, very strong, very big. He reminds me of that weight class Yo, of Canelo. listen to me, So therefore, listen to me. the hope was mowing down me. people because of this. Yes, sir. Check me. Yep. How you going to say yeah, bro. that Better Beef has less skill than Marcus Brown when Marcus Brown couldn't even adjust in the ring and raise his hand and stop getting hit with that hook, man? Okay, now let me say this. Was, was, was Marcus Brown winning the fight before it stopped? Even with the knockdowns, was Marcus Brown winning the fight? I, honestly, honest, honestly, I was not scoring it like that, but I, I doubt. I mean, wasn't it like three knockdowns, bro? Yeah, but I'm saying three knockdowns. Knockdown, nah, my point yo, was, listen, if listen, it, listen, no, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm googling listen, it. I'm googling it. I'm googling it. Fuck it. Listen, mine is, just do me a favor and watch the fight over. My problem with Marcus Brown, and I don't know if he gets he lazy, chinny? but his skill is there. He chinny? He's very yes, yes. He can get hit. He's chin, but he's and, lazy. And you talking he's, about he's him like, beating? He's, he's like arrogant. You talking about him beating a monster? He's like arrogant with his power. You talking about him beating a if, monster? If he stay, if he stay, if listen, Floyd beat people who were bigger than him. He but Floyd, smart. Floyd ain't if had Marcus no Brown, Floyd ain't had no Floyd, chin issues, champ. I, I no, know just, this. Listen, just, listen, listen. Just what I'm trying to say, Pascal, like, how do you? Look, look. He just lost his Pascal. Yo, but he was bruh, bruh, the fight was I mean, only was eight rounds. Long. Listen, listen. The fight was only eight rounds, and he went down yeah. three yeah. times. 
Yo, I'm well, telling you, I know this. Not even think I was about fighting my fucking uh, 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 better be. Okay. I don't know, okay, man. Okay, listen. Better... I would definitely put my money on Marcus Brown versus Better Beer. <laughs> so yeah, you, so you one. definitely picking Canelo to be Better Beer then? No, well, Canelo can outbox Better Beer because Better Beer didn't show a lot of skills. He's like a caveman. He's if he catch you, he's going to hurt you. Canelo slows clubber. down at the end. Canelo runs out of steam. Canelo... Get that boomerang status. He is a clubber for real. Um... I mean, I don't know about caveman, but I, I hear what you're saying. It's a tough fight, man. It's a tough fight for anybody. But that's everybody. Um, I got to go. Got to pack. Going to be at the WBC convention tomorrow in Mexico. So uh, I'm going to bring you as many updates as I can. Hopefully the internet is gravy. So, you know, you really get all them updates as they start ordering shit. And uh, I'm bringing my equipment, man. So we're going to try and do some shows, too. Hopefully the internet is good over there since they got, like... Uh, Little gala or whatever. Um, but yeah, man, want to thank everybody for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Definitely won't be a morning show unless Mike and Doomy hold it down. Um, yeah, Doomy will have the keys to the studio. Let's see if he going to, you know, rock out. But yeah, man, that's GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. Mike, follow me. Follow me on IG at Gross1911 or on Twitter at Gross2312. And big ups to Arthur Better Be for the unification fight this weekend. All right, and uh, you know me, Alex Doomsday Linus. Catch me on IG, Alex underscore Doomsday underscore L A I N E Z, or on Twitter, Alex Linus TBV. Uh, yeah, man, that's just heading out to uh, Mexico, man. You know, bringing uh, TBV to Cancun or wherever the heck, you, what city you gonna be at, Ness? You, do you know? I think it but, is Cancun. So you gonna be walking the beach out there with with Suleiman <laughs> and shit? Uh, <laughs> I'm be so, recording, you know, man. I'm be recording, man. Hey, you know we appreciate it, bro. There's gonna be a lot of big things being talked about out there, so I'm excited to see what you can get. And um, yeah, man, hell of a fight. Unification bound the light heavyweight division. Uh, I think Arthur Better be, uh with this win uh, has solidified himself as a true challenge to anybody that's coming up for that title. Uh, Gaz Vazdik was a, a formidable opponent, opponent that I personally thought that was going to actually give Better be problems. You know, I usually go for the hard puncher, but, you know, lately boxers have been... Um, you know, getting beat by these by these power punchers. So hey, kudos to him. And yeah, man, catch us tomorrow, Mike. Man, maybe we could do something in the AM, bro. Let's see if we could just you know go over things and see how we can make it happen, man. Because uh, we still want to uh, bring you that morning cup of coffee with TBV. So good night, man, to everyone. Bless and uh, bless to all the fighters out there, man. You know that at the end of the day, you know maybe one day we'll get something that uh, will truly take care of us and. Uh, in ways that we haven't in the past history. All right. Do say. Peace.